Anyway, going off on tangent, as is often the case with OpenTTD, let's get back to it. Even though it's not a streaming day, I can't resist this game. It's invading my thoughts and dreams, very literally. So, decided that uh, I've made good progress in all my preparations for emigrating. So I can reward myself with a lovely afternoon and evening of expanding the USA's colonization efforts. As we've uh, already set out, the whole world got completely flattened by the Great Depression. But hey, we started to save in 1930, it's now 72. It was up to the USA to recolonize the world, and it's done most of North America. There are a few bits to fill in. I need to add British Columbia, Saskatchewan, Nova Scotia, and Newfoundland. And then I think I'll be done, and I almost have the money to do that. In South America, there's a lot more to do. We've decided that Tierra de Fuego is going to be the crown jewel of South America. And I've also decided that every continent will have its own crown jewel, one place that we dump all the resources they could ever need to and watch them grow like a weed. We have done that with Greenland, and we will continue to do that with Greenland. Although looking at that, they're going to need more fish, fruit, and or livestock before long. Everything else is ultra covered, but not that. Uh, so that's it for North America, Greenland. So, uh, South America will be Terra de Fuego. What will it be for Africa, Europe, Asia, and Oceania? We don't know yet, but we will know once we get there, I'm sure. Yes, yeah, sorry, certainly was a code wizard. Sorry games are all probably considered the best, or at least top three in their genre. It's only two games that come to mind there, right? Uh, Transport Tycoon and Roller Coaster Tycoon. Damn, Roller Coaster Tycoon's good, but save that for another day. Right, what are we doing right now? I need to make more money to finish off the colonization efforts of the New World. Once we've done that, I'll probably put up a poll for where we next go to. Africa, Europe... Asia's a bit of a big thing to undertake, I don't know how I'd segregate that. Maybe leave Asia for later, so Europe, Africa, or Oceania, and that's where we'll go to next. But for now, we need money, and we need to extend our grip into the last remaining vestiges of the new world. Now I'm in myself a to-do list, because even on my off days, I like to fire this up and just look at the map and go, ah, and then I start noticing little problems that I need to fix. First of all, Greenland. We have this airport that is absolutely chock full of passengers. That's because it switches to passengers for the return journey to Alaska. Now, that doesn't seem so f so bad so far, but there's only a few planes running this route because they only need to bring Greenland a little bit of alcohol to sustain them. But all the passengers go, oh, there's a direct flight. I'm going to take that direct flight. I actually don't really want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my... Do, 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 do. I'm going to grab my planes here and switch their orders. When they get to Greenland, I'm actually going to tell them to refit to... Mail. It'll take a wee bit, but when they get to Greenland, they'll stop taking passengers, so these passengers will eventually go away. And it'll find, it'll take care of the bags of mail that have been piling up pretty hardcore here. On top of that, mail pays more than passengers if we get rid of that. Mail always pays significantly more than passengers, even if you take an Aeon to deliver it, and that will not be the case with our planes. So, better money better handling of the cargo at the stations, because I really don't like any of my stations piling up with loads and loads of uh, goods or passengers or what have you. So great, taking care of that. Uh, what else is on my to-do list? There's a Hawaii Shoals. Explore the, exploit those and take them to California. Well, notably, there's also a sand bank. I wonder if I want to do the same for them. But true enough, there are some shoals here, and shoals can become food. And again, sand can become all sorts of things. So, let's get on that. I will put you here. And then, I reckon they can just have a fairly easy run up to the boys over there. And there's somewhere to go and get, um, get recovered. So, if I put you down. I'm also going to put you down here, because I actually noticed that there was a ship going back and forth here who'd had... Uh, Loads of breakdowns and is going very slow because for whatever reason they haven't decided to go and get repaired over there. I don't know how far a boat will deviate to get a repair, but it's probably a good idea to keep one near a boy at all times. So, Hawaii Shoals, let's have you taken care of, please. We'll sort you out with some fish using the trawler. The Josephine trawler is pretty good. It's got a lot, uh, a lot of spare space just for the dedicated cargo. And we'll have you head over to the shoals. Uh, probably go there and 
who will load if you don't mind. And then we'll have you head back to the boy. Then the other boy. And then where do we drop this food off again? It's over to California's fishing place, which is over there, isn't it? Maybe take that kind of boy route as bad, because there's a more direct route if you go this way. Hmm, quite likely, isn't it? Alright, in that case, it's no biggie to just set you up with a different sort of boy. Hmm, actually going up there seems about right. She'll be heading up in this direction. Then you can head over to Hawaii Boy 3. And then just over in that general direction, you should be okay. Yes, to the Mexico boy. Alright, very well. So come out of here, head to there, head to there, and there, and there you go. And then on the way back, hunky dory. It'd be really nice if the game could give you an estimate for how long this takes so that you can set up the right amount of ships from the get go, but we'll just go with. Oh, it doesn't have a huge capacity. I reckon six should do just fine. They'll bring extra food there, which is fine, because I already have boats that come here and grab the food, don't I? Tell me about the food boats. Yeah. Four boats of reasonable size that take that food and bring it over to... The Washington docks, which is... Nah, not going to be difficult for them, of that I'm certain. But then we also have this sand bank out here, and far be it for me not to exploit everything we can find. Yep, no boats currently taking care of that, so... Whenever we have sand, we bring it over to Greenland, because Greenland loves the sand. Not to mention that the sand pays the damn good money, so I'll be taking that if you don't mind. I think I'll just do it a one-way journey, rather than returning with anything. It hurts, but there's plenty of uh, ships that want to take goods from here and bring them back. I think this is one of them in particular. Yeah, refits to chemicals and brings them back and has a sizable hold for it, so that's okay. And that being the case, let's go here, let's get ourselves our, our big old sand ship. I think I'll just take the huge one. Hmm... Then again, we've got this faster one, but speed is not really a consideration with sand. Sand doesn't lose much capacity whatsoever. So if you just full load there and head on over, we'll be okay. Bit of a journey, I admit, but at least we only need to plot these things out once and we're generally okay. Uh, then again, how do we get you over there easily enough? Right, we need to get past this way, don't we? So take that Washington boy. A journey that Alaska boy might be a bit of a trek for you, but I'm sure you can figure it out. Even if they claim that they're going to get lost, they won't stay lost, and I've already disabled the game from telling me about ships that are lost, or indeed any vehicle that's lost. Uh, I might have that turned back on though, because I think I have a solution for that problem. It's not a solution I like, but it'll be a solution I'll roll with anyway. So get over to the Greenland Fishing Docks, which is going to be expanded and renamed soon because I reckon soon fishing won't be the primary role of that area, but we'll get to that. Hello, Fist Time Watching, says War Gunny 43 Well, welcome, Fist Time Watcher. <laughs> We're midway in a campaign here, so all context I'm sure will be lost, but that's okay. We've got a whole world map, and the USA is going to be colonizing it. Well, is actively colonizing it. There we go. How many of these ships? Well, that's a long journey, but it's not a ton of sand, is it? So I reckon four of them should do fine for now. And if it's ever not enough, we can go and fix that. So off you go, go. Uh, did I sort all my ships? No, but maybe I should stay on top of that. We've just made a bunch of sand ships, and these guys are the fishing ships. I'll stay on top of it. Everything else appears to be sorted out there. Okay, we've exploited the goods. More fruit boats from California North. So apparently, I don't have enough fruit boats picking up fruit in California North. These guys try. And they've got a, got a good deal for it. <laughs> Refit to fruit. Maybe it's not a bad idea to always have that on the starting one. Nah, it's redundant. Anyway, 
let's uh, add a few more. Curiously, your automated timetable spacing out, so you keep good ratings, but you don't wait till full. That's fine by me. I'm growing more and more towards automating space out for cargo vehicles. It's just quite good. Mexican fruit to Tierra de Fuego. Refit it to alcohol, take it to a hotel on the way back, then grab farm supplies and return. Hmm, it's a bit elegant for a plan of something I just saw. But, true enough, there is fruit made in Mexico, and one of the problems that I was looking at was Terra de Fuego needs fruit, livestock, or milk in order to grow. It currently gets none of those. It's fine, it has all the scrap metal it could need to grow when it gets to the 1000 population bit. But right now, I really like them to also get the growth from getting their raw food goods. And I can take care of that. It's going to be a long, horrible journey for that fruit, though. It's going to get all battered and bruised and fermented on the way down. I mean, would you eat an apple that had been in a cargo hold for uh, God knows how long? Probably takes half a year to make this journey. Maybe so, maybe no. Doesn't matter, though, because we are having it. And it looks like with a little bit of docking done right here, we can grab those goods and ship them down. We made the Panama Canal. We might as well put it to good use. <laughs> United States of Central America woods. No, that is not the right way right way to call this. This is the Mexican fruit docks. And they're gonna take a trip through the Panama. As is often the case, I'll give them somewhere here so that I can quickly spawn them and bring them down. And these ones will be spaced out. It'll take a while for them to space out properly. It's like these ships that go up and down carrying the scrap metal and steel. They're bunched together, but after a few journeys they will spread out. It's just that until then, we're going to have some pretty poor ratings at the bone yard here, because the scrap yard isn't considering these being picked up, which is fair, because they're not being picked up. But it's one of those problems that will solve themselves, I'm not fashed about it. Anyway, I do want that fruit down there, so let's get to it. Now, what do I want to bring it down with? Do I want uh, smaller, more regular shipments? I think I do. But the Cadet's Freighter wouldn't be fooled soon enough. Although it will reach gung-ho in triple production, so it's at 3, 4, almost 500 a month. It's nice and all, but maybe I want a smaller one. A Marstein, perhaps? Still a sizable Marstein. I do like the fact that you've got that extra speed on the Cadet's Freighter, though. Mm -hmm. Regular shipping is better shipping, though. Yeah, the Marstein will... Well, even then, I'm a little tempted to use the Meteor. The Meteor is far smaller, but far more regular. Yeah, what the hell, lots of little ships going up and down, especially for things at a low capacity like this fruit. So your job is to go to the Mexican fruit docks, and I'm already going to tell you that at the Mexican fruit docks you have to reload for fruit. Otherwise this could get complicated for uh, for vehicles that sail around here. So, you refit the fruit there, and then I want you to head down to Columbia Boy over to other Columbia boy. Just get out of my way, it's cluttering us up with all these windows. From there down to Ecuador boy, Peru boy, Tarapaca boy, still don't know how to pronounce that name though. Most fruit is transported by plane, which is dumb enough. We really transport fruits by plane? That seems bizarre. Sounds like it would add a whole lot to uh, the expense of them. Now, notably, I don't have somewhere to put the fruits to, but I will probably just add the fruit processor right here. Fun new industry. Fruits are going to go into a cider mill. Well, the cider is going to be plagued with the delicious fumes of the Terra de Fuego steel mill. Is that really the best place for it? I mean, I could just squeeze it in here. Would be kind of cute having it next to the hotel. Nah, nah. Give them, give them the lovely, healthy um, exposure of those fumes. Oh, I did not want to get rid of that. You 
your orders. I need them back again. So you're going to ter uh, Tierra de Fuego Boy. Drop off everything at the docks. And then at the docks, I want you to refit to alcohol. Then you're going to pick up the alcohol that the cider mill processes. And I want you to take it to a hotel on the way back. I don't want you to take it to that hotel, it's right next door, so there's no real value to be had in that. But if I'm not mistaken, there is a hotel in one of these South American cities along the way back. Just keep heading along the boys. Am I mistaken? Maybe I am mistaken. Ah, Haiti has a hotel with my name on it. Well then. How about we head over to Haiti Hotel? And then... Haiti gets the alcohol. Wonderful. And then we're going to refit for farming supplies. And then we're going to go and collect some farming supplies from the United States of Central America. And then we're going to go back to Mexico, fruit docks. And... I don't need to tell you to do that because that's already your first order, so I can just delete that. A little bit complicated, hopefully very profitable. But most of all, it's important to bring Terra de Fuego their fruits. Now... I will timetable automate that, and there are going to be a lot of you, and it's going to take a couple of years for this to actually be reasonable. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 of you? 17, 18, 19, 21 of you? Let's make 24 of you. I know that's overkill to begin with, and it'll be a loss for a couple of years, but I reckon it'll sort itself out and be a very good and regular journey taking care of many people's needs. Steel mills, at least the one in the US, have massive filter houses to reduce emissions. They still smell bad. You wouldn't know you'd live next to one for the air quality, but the noise. Ugh. Ever since I went to Krakow, I find air quality is no joke. Okay, that took care of that. Fix your signals at Ecuador. Didn't notice this at the time, but Ecuador has no exit signals on this station. That is leading to my trains backing up here. Terrible. This has reduced the throughput down by 66%. Won't be having any of that, and it's easily sorted. Just always make sure we have the exit signals, and just like that, there won't be the pile up here anymore. Um, fix the horrible road stops at the furnace and others. Okay, that's a bit of a bigger thing to take care of, but it is true. I have tolerated the backups of traffic here for too long. And I should stop tolerating it. Look at this awful mess that we have here. What can be done about you? I think I might just have to bite the bullet and make myself a parallel setup for the Minnesota Furnace. And I can do that, as long as I have a bit of space for this road to come out. I won't, of course, because roads are in the uh, cars are in the way. But let's imagine a situation in which we can do this. Well, no need to imagine. I just need to take one of you and stop you. And stop you as well. And then we can... Bring you up like so, and to get rid of you. If anybody's going to turn in for maintenance, they can do it a little bit beforehand. And then let's finally make this parallel rather than sequential. Still a bigger lead-up than they ever need, but there are a lot of vehicles here, so I don't want to guff this up too hard. Um, you can continue on. I'm still keeping this blocked off, though. I just need this to clean out a bit. More than a bit. Get out of there, guys. Okay, let's make sure that's all connected up. Hunky dory Now, 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 we shall take these and bring them out considerably, and then these ones back here will be gotten rid of. 
I still want this to be the steel waypoint though. So collecting steel will be done from one end and not collecting steel can be done from the other. Then again, correct me if I'm incorrect, but somebody on YouTube told me that these can be made two ways so that both sides could be used. So I wonder if I could take advantage of that. Oh god, how do I turn off two-way? I can't remove it like other kinds of road. I can't drag over it. How do you remove two-way? Does anybody know? Well, I don't know, so I'll just get rid of that for now. That opens up an interesting option. Could be that we have one, two, three of them for feeding in, and then one, two, three of them for feeding out. I wonder if they split into using both sides if I make it two-way. Kind of cool that way, because the, the people coming in with coal can come up and down and use these, and the steel guys come in that way. Hmm. You know, I think I will try this, because I haven't tried it thus far. So let's see how you like having two-way going through this. What is this monstrosity, asks Cal- Man, you're in a contentious mood today. Feels like you walked straight out of that skit for I would like to have an argument. Which is a good skit, still. Right, let's just try and have this cleaned out. I want these guys to skip and get out of here. I need this cleaned up a bit. You as well, out you go. How did you even get in here? I thought I blocked traffic here. Maybe they're doing a bit of overtaking. Oh no, they're probably coming out of there. All right, 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 right. Away these go. Out you here. And then, of course, you happen to be in the way here as well, but that's okay. Now, we already tell the coal people to come in this way. Have them come down and use these. They still come out to this, but hopefully it doesn't get too chock a block. And, and, and. Sort those waypoints. So I still want this to be coal waypoint. They don't come in this way anymore. And I want this to be the steel waypoint. Number one. No need for two steel waypoints anymore. As long as they go through steel waypoint number one, they can use any of these. So... You you are without guilt here. You're just, uh... You just grab... Livestock for me. You, on the other hand, have all these guys who go into Minnesota Furnace by Steel Waypoint. No longer by number two, we don't care about number two anymore. Full load. I guess full load is okay, it's a little tempting to tell not to and just automate them, but there should be enough space for this not to be a backing up problem, right? Mm, I don't know about that. Maybe I'll get rid of the full load and instead automate their timetable and spreading out. That could create its own problems, though. Could, but let's uh, let's go for it. What about the coal guys? Coal guys come in as normal. They've already been told to spread out. Okay. Let's unpause these. Let's also notice that I didn't connect up this road, which is pretty vital in this setup. Now you can go, and let's see if that sorted things out. I want to see this in action. Well, they don't appear to be using both lanes. But maybe it's not been backed up enough for them to even consider it yet. Things are flowing considerably better, though. Huh. Didn't expect that to end up flowing as well as it does, but it keeps this uh, this rolling nicely. Almost to the point where I think maybe I should do the same for the Iowa Meadows. 
the Iowa Meadows has for a long time been a horror show of a setup. How do they how do they even decide coming in here again? Right, some of you offload and some of you onload, but it's been a long time since I've noticed any problems with these, probably because they are timetabled accordingly. The only thing I would consider doing, I suppose, is getting rid of some of you. Because it's it just never does me any good having them back up all the way out here. It's too close to the road and clogs up too easily. Even three is probably overkill. I would like to see them use both sides with this one-way setup, though. I'm just not seeing it. Because you come in, you come in, and you just kind of back up there, don't you? Hmm. Not what I was hoping for. I was hoping you'd overtake. Ah, maybe that's where the setting is needed. There was an overtake. Articulated road vehicles may overtake. So if that is on, maybe they will start using both sides of it. Ah, there we go, it just happened. There we go, so they will use both. Excellent, excellent. Don't know why you're coming up along here, though. Feel waypoint one. And then Minnesota Furnace. But you're not coming through here and do it. Why did you end up out there then, I wonder? This is definitely the cold waypoint. Why are some of them coming up this way? Oh, they're still using the coal waypoint. Right, I should be getting rid of that because it's just causing some weirdness. The stamp and plate is its own issue, but it still seems to be flowing alright, so I'm not going to stress out about it. Okay, that all seems quite agreeable. Start adding maintenance stops to your train's orders. Implicit keeps breaking timetables is another thing I might to do note. So. Every so often, the timetabling here just completely breaks because one of these trains goes, hmm, I don't want to uh, stop at the station, I need maintenance. I'm going to pass through the station, get my maintenance, and then, oh, let's say they pass through Alberta to get this. They go, oh, I now need to go to Alberta. And they go all the way around and back up, and then they go through Alberta, and then they go, oh, my next stop is, uh, is Idaho, so I'm going to go there as well. And then they go all the way around. There are... another way I could solve that is by making all of them non-stop so they won't take implicits. But another alternative is to actually add the train depots in and tell them to go and grab the maintenance only when they need it. Going back and fixing my existing ones is a bit of a pain, but also making everything non-stop is another pain. But I suppose if I tell them to actually go and use the uh, the stations, I have a bit more control over how they do things. It just stops me using my double stations like this, which I do quite like. Mm. You know what? New orders non-stop by default. Let's do that. That way there won't be the implicit issue. It does mean I have to go back and change these orders though. That was a nice looking new ship. What was that? The new port container thing. Decent speed, very high capacity. Lots of things it can't take though. It's still called a small container ship even though it's uh, 1.2 megatons. Alright, let's, let's try this then. So if I tell you that all of these are non-stop, that should kill any implicit orders. Oh, cripes, I just made you skip on your orders there instead of doing non-stop. I don't know if there's a hotkey for non-stop, but... 
That's okay, you just went out of uh, Alaska without picking up any passengers. Or not, uh, not many at least. So, there we go, that's nice money because you brought back just mail. So it's just mail and alcohol for these planes. Greenland's desire for alcohol is so high that they will charter planes with only that in mind. These passengers will eventually melt away. They will die because they stood in an airport that has no planes ever coming to it. Well, not for passengers, at least only their Amazon packages. Notably, though, they're staying on top of the packages. Still generates quite a lot of mail per month. But your capacity for mail... Well, actually, let's see one come in here. Here's one of our planes come down. When it comes to it, I would like to replace this with a metropolitan airport instead of a city one, because that'll be able to process twice the amount of planes, which means twice the amount of alcohol for our denizens of Greenland. So there we go, you grab those, you switch out for mail. You switch out for mail, there we go. And jinx, they load up a mail pretty, pretty quickly, don't they? So no more faffing around with passengers, they grab the mail and away they go. The mail rating will continue to stay high, and as Greenland continues to grow around the airport, there'll be more mail for it to suck up and deliver, which is good news for us. But yeah, Greenland grows like a weed, and we do like Greenland. We also like making money. We need more money. How does non-stop fix the issue, says Quintuple. Aha, good question. So the big problem is that implicit orders are what break the schedule. And when you have non-stop, you don't do implicit. So let's say it was Alaska, non-stop to Alberta. Well, to get there, you have to go through Yukon Central. There's no bypass, so they're always going through. If it's not non-stop, then they'll stop inside here, implicitly, and then they will fill up and unload and whatnot. But with non-stop, it would just go through Yukon. Wouldn't stop there, just keep on going all the way. And that means that even if they pass a station to go and get their maintenance, they're still told to non-stop go here. So they will go back around to Alberta and then back around to go to uh, Idaho because that's non-stop. But it won't add the stations along the way as implicit. So I still have some dead time on my trains, which is annoying. But it won't break the orders for everyone because then everybody goes, oh, they're implicits. And then timetables don't work under implicit and, oh, it's a headache. So, I will stick with that. But with new ones, I think I will still add a an order to go to the train depots if they desire. In fact, why don't I do that for our South American route? So, everything starts in Colombia here, and then they go down to Ecuador, and then after Ecuador, I should... I should pause to do this just in case everything goes wrong. I should say, go to train depot, and I should say, service if needed. I don't think they'll go there unless they have to. Hopefully it works this way. If it doesn't work this way, then I'm in trouble. Then they go to Peru, and then before Tarapasa, we will have the same thing here. Go there. Mm, I'd actually, I actually don't like non-stop being on. It's easier to add it than take it away. There we go. Go to the train depot if needed, and then as they continue their way down, there's another train depot before Tierra de Fuego, and again, service if needed, and then on the way back, just need to keep my eyes peeled for any more potential service stations. When you add service stations to their orders, they will no longer go and do servicing on their own. So after Tarapasa on the way back. Go to this service station if needed. And then, and then, and then. Peru Central. Go to this place if needed. So none of them, none of these uh, trains on the South American PAX network should ever think for themselves if they need to go for servicing or not. They are already told to go here if they ever require it, which is good. I'm noticing a lack of signaling there. Ah, glad to see Jake finally adopting my design. Which design would that be, Ninjin? Maybe it's the, um, maybe it's the design for 
these coming in. Still not sure I entirely agree with your ideas, but... Hmm, there we go, just doesn't show all these, I suppose. Oh, crikey. Oh, double crikey, what are we even doing there? I don't know what that other one was, it looked like a you shall not pass kind of setup. Anyway, this road seems to be flowing a whole lot better ever since we made this parallel rather than sequential for the beating heart of Minnesota Furnace. The steel continues to flow as well it should. Ratings continue to be very good, but I feel like there needs to be more here. Actually, what is your problem? We don't have something not getting steel, do we? There we go, go and, go and get that steel. Matthew Steel. They seem to go around in an odd way around here sometimes. Maybe I should be making it one way. For example, if I make two of these one way and two of these one way, then you can only come up that way and these guys going around can only go that way. Whatever, it works. I'm not gonna, not gonna tinker around with it if it's a working solution here. One way lengthy road where you can back up the trucks, expand by making it wide. I wish it was something cleaner. Cannot figure one out. This is fairly clean. It does lose, uh, use up a lot of space. We could make the maximum size station and it would still be smaller than this thing. Granted, I could tuck this in, bring this forward a bit, but it feels good having the space because road networks back up real easy. Anyway, seems to be working. Uh, there was something I remember seeing, and I, even though I didn't write it down, and that was something to do with milk. I've got a really awful milk setup somewhere. My heart says it's Washington. Yes, here we go. Washington Meadows is backed up with two million liters of milk. It's uh, hurting the rating here. And they got zero percent bonus due to cargo waiting. Um, I don't know why they're. Oh, I remember why. I brought um, I brought farm supplies here now. Don't really know why. Maybe it's for the livestock that we bring over. In any case, too much milk needs to be dealt with better. And uh, rather than better, I'm just going to double down on the vehicles that I have here for transporting it. Doot doot. Grab that milk, grab that milk, grab that milk. Those are some tiny capacity milk holders though. And that's going to be some real old foosty milk by now. Do we really not have anything better for transporting milk by tram? Sort by introduction date. You guys are Strongbox Courier Trams, which are apparently our latest, greatest version of it. But the refrigerated tram has about the same cost, slightly slower speed, but much better capacity. Well, that's a shame. In that case, we should go to all of our milk vehicles, group them by shared order. These are the only milk road vehicles that we have. All right, you guys are about to repla uh, be replaced with these guys because, yeah, that's just a much better capacity for it. Replace. Stop replacing those. I'm not going to feel too bad about the loss of speed here. I mean, they don't get up to a good speed courtesy of this setup. They are going to, um, they're going to change out, right? Ah, yes, only when they go for maintenance, and since a lot of them are new, they're not going to take that. That's okay, they will eventually change out, and we'll have better capacity through and through here. And good, they're glugging down that milk now. And that should improve the rating, which gets us more of the milk. So, all should be well and good there. Bonus works that waypoints in the one ways. I still like to have the waypoints, though. That way I know exactly where the, the vehicles are going. Especially when I have two different kinds of vehicles coming in here. Now, well, one thing I also did is I went across the world and I purged all the industries that were just not in the right place, as in we would have Greenland's new industry popping up in Russia. It's not going to stop them continuing to pop up though, it looks like Greenland has its own iron ore mine. Yeah. Well, I will just purge these between sessions. Be really Ooh. Oh no, I can't use them, they're not in the right place whatsoever, I haven't actually expanded to do the 
east coast of South America, but I will. Grow, grow my little republics. Cuba seems to have a little bit of a problem growing. I wonder if I can help them with that problem. Not really here to do land reclamation, but you need opportunities to grow, Cuba. You don't seem to be wanting to grow whatsoever, despite what I'm giving you here. Okay, all seems to be fine. Jamaica gets a lot more love than I think it deserves. Oh, you're not going for Jamaica, you are. Wait, are you? Looked like you were. I think it was you. Someone was going to Haiti docks instead, anyway. Anyway, these little buggers are seen to, and we can tell from our map of the world and checking the PAX network that generally everything is flowing fine, nothing is overburdened except for some inner city stuff, and I will probably do a big American pass on inner city PAX later on, but that time is not now. Cuba struggling without regular goods injections from Eastern Europe. Well, that is something they're struggling on. Nobody, they're not even getting passengers and mail delivered. They apparently want some, and they've got full coverage here. It's just nobody seems to want to go to Cuba. T tell me, you've got a lot of passengers and things waiting here. Who wants to go to Cuba? See? Some people want to go to Cuba from Lima and Hawaii. Wow. People from Hawaii going to Cuba. I guess they just wanted to change the scenery, huh? There's a lot of, uh, a lot of engineering supplies here that aren't going anywhere decent. That's okay though, I mean, it's no big deal if they pile up there. It's always going to be new homes for them. Right, looks like the fruit boats that I have sent out and to do the rounds finally come back. They're still going to huddle together for quite a while, but after they do their second round, I strongly suspect they're going to start spacing out a bit better. Hopefully we also eventually see some better spacing out for some of the South American supports that we see. Here's one such. We have our 1,400 tons of scrap metal from the Florida Boneyard going into the beating heart of South America, the Terra de Fuego steel mill. Just making sure you covered that for their need for fruit. How much money do you think this makes? I'd say a lot of money. 1.4 million. That's pretty good. That's about a hundred dollars per ton of steel. Uh, not steel. Um, scrap metal. And if you check out this, disable all, show me scrap metal. For 200 squares, uh, sorry, for 20 squares, they expect to be paid $238. Let's just call it $200 for, uh, for ease of use. If they'll be two, paid $200 for that, for, uh, for 20 squares, how long have they gone? They're giving me about a thousand pair. Useless math that I won't even do. The point is, this appears to be making, my, uh, making me money. What's a little bothersome is that you turned all of that scrap metal into only 319 units of steel. If we got iron ore and coal down here, there'd be a lot more steel to take back. The steel would make great money being shoved into the... where is it? Mexico? Here we go, it's the Mexico Metal Workshop, which does produce lots of goods. Do you guys take those goods yourselves? Yeah, you do, and you bring it over to the Florida docks. And that's just great money all around. Here, here is one such of them. Even having made all those millions, they even make me more by bringing the goods over from Mexico. It's called a scrap metal boat, but I don't have a good naming convention for vehicles that switch. There we go, another cheeky 67 grand right there. And then he heads over to go and grab yet more of the scrap metal. Now the rating for scrap metal is down at mediocre. I hopefully can improve that by doing a large advertising campaign in Florida. Uh, which didn't seem to affect that place at all. Interesting. It's meant to have a long area of effect when you do that. Well, it doesn't matter too much. This will improve because we're going to get rid of all that waiting cargo. All those tons of scrap metal are going to be picked up by our big old boats. Isn't advertising just for packs? Possibly. Passengers and cargo to transportation services boost a station rating in a large radius around the town centre. Doesn't say that it's only packs. 
but maybe it is only packs. Did it affect, say, the docks here for passengers? Oh, it certainly does, so maybe it only does that. Damn Tampa. I'm going to have to deal with Florida at some point. Too many people there. So there we go, now scrap metal is going to trend towards about 90% because we took care of all the goods there. And these boats are starting to spread out, as they will do for the Mexican fruit as well. And when the Mexican fruit gets some of their farming supplies, they'll go to gung-ho, and it'll be more fruit. It just folds into itself nicely. Doesn't solve the problem that I want Tierra de Fuego getting more iron and coal. Now you might reasonably at this point be thinking, why is Jake caring so much about these individual industries? There's lots of industries, and he has lots of money, it would be an endless thing. Well, I'm looking for the biggest earners for me, because although I have about 400 million, I need about 2 billion to finish off my American aspirations, and I do want to get those done today. So we're focused on money making until we have close enough to that 2 billion, and then we're going on a big construction phase where we finish off Canada, and it is only Canada that needs finished off in North America, and all of South America. Because one of the problems with South America, <laughs> problems with South America, right? is that we have all of this land that will spawn resources and industry, but they're not going to be the right ones. For example, this is Tarapasa's dairy farm, but it shouldn't be Tarapasa's, it should be Paraguay's. So even though I really want a dairy farm here, I will not accept industry that is not linked to the correct city. If Paraguay had existed, it would have been Paraguay's, but I haven't established these cities because I don't have the money. Same for you, this is not Peru's steel mill. Although, fair play to the game for finally spawning me a steel mill. Do we have any industry here that is going to be correct for us? We do, actually. We have a fishing grounds and a another fishing grounds currently under construction. Fish is not the big money, but it is, it is goods that we can exploit if we bring it over to a fishing place. And then we can make food and bring it down to other places. But... The reason I was talking about this was because I want to scout, not you, although you will eventually get some fruit. I want to find me some coal and iron ore to bring down there. What a treat, I just finished last vid yesterday. Your streams are a bliss, says Saul Miris. That's uh, generally the feedback I'm getting on these. This is hardly an exciting thing for a lot of people, but people just seem to be relaxing to it, and that's okay. People can use my streams however they want. What was I looking for here? That's right, iron ore and coal. We've been really lacking in both of those goods, haven't we? Iron ore... Wait, this is the wrong thing. This is showing me my PAX networks. I'm looking for industries. Show me the iron ore mines. There are only four in the world. Let's get rid of these names so they can show up better. Three of them are in the old world and one of them is already exploited in the new world. That's a pain. And I don't want to take it away because it feeds the beating heart of North America's steel mill. So if we ignore iron ore for now, what about coal mines? There are three of those. And again, none of them in good locations. So unfortunately, South America is just a bit of a barren wasteland when it comes to resources for us. I won't be able to feed the steel mill here more until we have some spawn. But that's okay. We are always on the lookout for more money. And more money I shall find. The fish here could be useful. Unfortunately, Terra de Fuego is not interested in fish. But we could grow some of these other cities if they have a hunger for fish, like Tarapasa does. And hey, we've got... Hey, it's Tarapasa's own shoals, right? With a production of zero tons of fish. That'll update at the turn of the month. So I could have them brought over here if Tarapasa were to have a fishing dock. And then we could bring that food. Hello glassworks, you say. We could bring that food down to... Is that plaza linked with a dock? I don't think it is, but that hotel would take food. Terra de Fuego will need food at some point. I don't see a good reason not to give it now. If I link you up with the plaza there, then we'll be able to get that hotel some food from Tarapasa. I do do a lot of things by boat, but hey, the world is mostly water. So I will accept no blame for this. 
Right, Tarapas has small weaknesses, it doesn't have the industry, so I gotta fork out for that again, but that's okay. Compared to establishing whole new cities, making industry is quite a bit cheaper. So Fishing Harbour, let's just slam one down here, and then give you a port for it. Oh, well, that's a great name, the Tarapasa Fish Market. I like it, so I'll keep it. What we will, however, need is a route over to the Fishing Shoals. I'll just periodically add those and give you the boys to help you out. No fish to be had here, but that's okay. We have our dedicated fish trawler. Is this a new kind? Hello, 160 tons of fish in the holds. Well, that sounds very good. And I think it's faster than the Josephine. It is! Oh, that's very good. In that case, I'm actually going to go to all of my fish trawlers. Huh. Very different kinds of fish trawlers around here. Oh, these must be old ones I used way at the start. My god, they're terrible. Anyway, we're going to manage this list. We're going to replace all the things with a new Kwantung trawler because I can't imagine any of these being worth our time compared to that, so... Replace with Kwangtung, replace with Kwangtung... Replace... Yeah, even the Meteor, much as I like the Meteor. Hang on, for all I know, some of these guys actually switch out what, uh, what kind of goods they take. Maybe I should investigate the Meteor, because I often use that for ones that I want to... Change. No, those Meteors are fine. These meteors? Maybe I should never use fish to change orders. Mm. Okay, doesn't matter. We'll still get it all switched out. Or some of those trawlers dual purpose? Something about Maryland. It's not impossible, but the game will warn me if someone's trying to change out. That does ring a bell for me, though. Here we go, we've got refit to food. However, this dedicated trawler of mine can handle food, as I recall. I was just looking at it moments ago, but I'm pretty sure. There we go. 52 tons of express freight as deck cargo. So it can hold the other goods, it can still refit. Probably worth it just to get the, the much better fishing on everything else. So that'll switch out. Doesn't change the fact that I need some of them handling this. 280 tons of fish is a good amount. So go and full load here and then head on back with it. Nice thing about all this empty sea is it's quite easy for the pathfinding, or so I'm led to believe. Excellent. How many of these are we going to need? I don't know. Have six of them. Six might be overkill, but boats are slow, even these fancy newer ones. Ecuador Shoals, we need a little bit of time to see if they're going to be any good, but uh, I will also exploit those shoals. I want you to have a route over to here, then over to Peru, and down your way to the Tarapasa Fish Market. But I always feel that I should add those, ever since I saw an issue with my boats um, having a hard time... Oh no, no time for cloning. Ever since I saw them having a hard time with maintenance, it's just better to have a maintenance shack near uh, near one of their definite destinations and not just vaguely on the route. Because boats are already slow, last thing I want them doing is going even slower. There we go, again, yeah, six of you should suffice. Not going to space you out, just going to tell you to full load. Keep the ratings high and keep those fish shoals working well. I really need to go through my VODs and see how much the rate of production changes. Because we've been seeing the New York fishing grounds since the moment it spawned, and it's still at 216, which seems awfully low for somewhere that's had every opportunity to grow. Maryland's looking nicer at 324, but I just don't know. Maybe I could check it in the map editor some way, somehow, but um, it's beyond me. Okay, that seems fine, and yet we still need more money. 
So, what I'm going to do is turn my attention to Greenland once again. So, Greenland? It's doing well? It hasn't really spawned any new industries. Well, that's a lie. It has. It's just... Here's your new Greenland iron ore mine, bro. No. I want to give Greenland a dedicated freight train. Coming in and giving it all the goods it could need. Might be a little difficult, given how hard it is to bridge over there, but surely not impossible. So, I want it to link up with the Greenland fishing docks, because it's already got the docks there working in with, uh, with goods. Might be useful also. Wait, I thought that was a port. It's not a port. Mm. Even so, it just seems like the best place to bring that kind of stuff in. So, let's just see if we can get a little bit creative here, shall we? Let's bring this down a bit. More than a bit. There's a lot, to, a lot that needs to be done here. Greenland fishing docks. It's going to be pushing our luck a bit, but I'm quite certain... You know what? Greenland deserves the best of everything. Let's give you electrified service here. Um, are we still run to, wanting to run with five length? Couldn't we have seven length for you? Nah, we should standardize, keep everything five length. You never know when. Ah, but five length is just so wasted for freight. Make it seven length if we can. Might be a bit of a big if. Okay, that that is perhaps too big of an if. And yet. And yet. needs flat land, so it's going to accept that. Thinking about it, if that's where the dock is, it can come out by... I've got measurement for this, don't I? That's our limit right there, in terms of spread. So, what can we fit in here? Ooh, it doesn't look impossible, does it? doesn't it? If we just get a little bit cheeky with the land here. How's about that? And if we just get real cheeky over here as well. Slightly more land reclamation than I think I promised I'll do, but... Let's flatten it out and see what we can work with here. No one knows exactly how Greenland is laid out. No one will notice. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, Greenland wants some extra what exactly? Fruit and livestock. So if I can get them a stockyard and a cider area around here, then that could be good. It's also nice because this is such an industrial area for the ports that I want it connected up. Anything made can be brought back out there. Of course, this brings in new problems. How do we connect all this up? You know, I still don't think this is enough. Could we just be extra cheeky? If you're getting away with being a little bit cheeky, be a lot cheeky. That's how I see it. Uh, can I delete you, by the way? Just pow, and the dirt is gone. Let's make you single track length, because I just prefer that. I want another one over here, if you don't mind, game. Let's give ourselves a 1-2 space. Somebody recommended to me a mod which changed the appearance of the stations. And it sounded really appealing because the stations would actually fill up with cargo, so you could immediately just look at them and go, oh, it's full of grain, or it's full of goods. I found that really cool, but actually using the mod ended up feeling very unpleasant to use. It's hard to really put into words how exactly, but it was. Okay. As I like to imagine it, we're going to come in here, spread out to these. Is this even going to work the way I want it to? God knows. And how exactly it connects up here is a problem for future, Jake. But...
Okay. Which means that that won't be necessary. So let's imagine we're coming in this way. La 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 la. And then I want you to be able to split off. And then you can get into any of these. And then on the way out, could I just chunk, chunk, and then tunnel my way through? And then give you a similar sort of deal here. I have no idea if this works or would be efficient in any way, but in they come, and then they have access to all three stations, and then on their way out, all of them can come out and round them back into here. Ugly junctions on the electrical lines, I do agree. Hang on, hang on, this seems like wasted space. I have a cunning plan. real cunning. Yeah. Oh, that looks a lot better. That looks a whole lot better. The entry signal's probably gonna have to be here, so that way you'll make your decision at this point which of these stations you go into. And then the exit signal. We oh, know that's an entrance signal. Then out you come. You're going to be length, whatever. And then you come into here. This may or may not be enough space for those length seven trains, but hopefully it works out. And then down this way you come. Also, phone of mine has got to be silenced. I don't know if you heard that or not. Come, out we come. But uh, while we're at it, could we not just wedge in that industry that I want here? We are going to need a cider mill. Oh, there we go. One of them decided to squeeze in. The stockyard is much too large, but the cider mill should fit in rather nicely. And then, and then, and then. Well. First thing is a, a wee bridge over here, followed by a considerably less wee bridge all the way over here. Oof. It hurts. It really mega hurts. But this is going to be the great freight train. So what's, what's even going to come in here? Well, we do happen to have a dairy farm and a piggery. If they are so inclined, they can come up and join in around here. There are all sorts of atrocities hidden under the Greenland ice cap. <laughs> uh, they'll be on to me before long, I'm sure. Right, how does this all connect up? Are we going to switch our way down or what? Because this is what I'm looking at, I want these resources to come up and over, but there's no good connection point for it, is there? Are there any goods over here that I want to bring in? Because it would be kind of nice if you just kind of got over here and then carried your way along, and then any of uh, any of Northern Canada's resources that spawn can just be drank by Greenland. And I can actually finally have intersections on a main line. Yeah, yeah, I can get behind that. Intersections. Let's pretend that I know how to make those, that'd be rather nice. B for bridge. That's not what I wanted it to be. Game also doesn't want it to be. Oh, 
God, I hate these ugly, ugly bridges. Fortunately though, with this mod you can have signals on bridges, so it's not going to be a constant concern that the throughput is murdered just by bridging and tunneling. Well, the game isn't yelling at me for problems with my ongoing network, and the money is still going up, so I'll just assume everything is continuing to go well. That's rather nice, that's almost two whole settlements of medium size every year being generated. And it's good to see some more alcohol being brought over, but you're still not at max capacity. Those Alaskan docks... Wait, why are you sitting there at 100? Why do you take alcohol from the dock? Come to think of it, why are you... Why do you have alcohol to begin with? Oh, maybe that's why we're not getting enough alcohol, uh, enough fruits over here. Everyone coming over here is just... You're coming over already full of... No, you're full of fruit, that's fine. Perhaps just some of them have, uh, have themselves set to alcohol, which is a shame. Hmm. What's the easiest way to fix this? The easiest way is to take their order and tell them when you are at... Uh, where is it? California North. We want you to... Just unload everything and make sure you're fit to fruit, because I think they wouldn't refit to fruit due to the alcohol on board and nowhere to dump it. Now they're just going to dump that alcohol. Actually, to that effect, wouldn't it be better if they unloaded all their alcohol at the Alaska docks? Yeah, unload all of that. And then when you are at Alaska docks again... No, just having them unload and leave empty makes sense in Alaska docks. There you are, you've got that fruit. You'll unload and off you go. And anybody coming back who is, for whatever reason, full of alcohol will hopefully take care of that. I must have just cloned someone that had alcohol for whatever reason. No idea whether they went for an absolutely mad shade of red and open GFX then again. They also made the water pretty awful. Well, the, the water's awful at this zoom, because you see it flashing like that. I think the design of it just tessellates to make it look really light at some point. Even so... Yeah. It's one of the few things that don't look great in this game. For the most part, though, I think the game looks fantastic. I feel bad for this orchard. No farm supplies, no awesome growth. And it wouldn't even be that hard to bring them farm supplies, I just don't. Uh, what was I working on? Yes, the the grotesque train line over to uh, to Greenland. Let us continue. But must we? Right, if I can just get you running a straight line down here, then it'll be a lot easier to plug things in and out of you. So, to that extent, you are just going to have to deal with this for a bit. Although, yeah, I could flatten you out a bit here, just so that you can get yourself repositioned a bit better. And then if we equalize this land, then we can bring you down like so. as much as we can without destroying the levels here. Oh, this looks good though, because we can come to the end of this. Again, with our expensive electric rails. The lengths I go to for my freighting. And there we go, now we have progress. Except the progress is immediately halted because we just ran face first into Nunavut's dairy farm, which is convenient because I think I wanted livestock in Greenland. I do want livestock in Greenland, it is something they accept, and look at that, Greenland has grown so much that one, we almost don't transport enough people, 
In fact, by all counts, this shouldn't be enough people to simulate growth. What was the percentage needed? Thirty percent? Okay, that's not so bad then. In any case, they're now not getting all of the fish, fruit, and livestock that they need by a hair. Well, they're getting more than they need by a hair, but that'll change very soon, I'm sure. Now there's stuff like this that I need linked into the main network, and you that I need to get past. And that still doesn't change the fact that I want these guys brought over onto the main network. How I can put a junction here? I would say I don't know, but I do know, and we will make it happen. So, 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 so. One thing I have shot myself in the foot with a little bit here is the length seven trains, but I still want seven length trains, so we shall have it. There you go, the Nunavut Meadows. Shouldn't need too much tender love and care, but it'll still get it. Simple as, you come in. So make my life a lot easier if all this were just nice and level. So level it shall be. And very simply, I just need you to be able to hook in this direction. I don't even need to worry about people coming in this way and being able to turn left. As long as you can get over there, everything is A-OK. -okay. And that's easily done just with a very simple bridge right here. Good old girder steel helping us out. And then you can just slightly regret the elevation problem here. Uh, there we go. Come on, just out one little touch more. And then... Ching. You'll come in like so. You just need to kill me with that perception. A little painful, but again, nothing that can't be sorted. Just need to bring you up a touch, using the right hotkeys for change, please. There we go. No harm done. It's not going to affect anybody going uh, along the main line, as long as we signal it correctly. Why do I feel like I set up something recently and didn't signal it whatsoever? It was probably this. This is the only real freight line that I've made, right? Yeah, probably. Nowhere to get um, maintenance on, but that'll be seen too soon enough. Now, let there be... signaling. intersections to speak of, so I should just be able to go whop, and down it all along goes. Ah, right, I did miss a spot. Okay, hopefully that's good then. Continue on with the signals pretty please. And continue down with the signals. Look at that, even the little tiny signals there. What is that? I think that's only two pixels wide, but it's enough to show us that we indeed have signaling going on there. And, 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 and... This seems like a great place to take care of anybody needing maintenance. And there's enough space that I don't even need to Humpty Dumpty it. Well, need is always a relative term. I will not Humpty Dumpty it, how about that? Downside is the sheer size this thing needs to be is uncomfortably long, courtesy of us now using seven length trains. Mm. So how about you spit off here, come along for a ride, and then make your way back in. Go. 
That's good for going that way and getting maintenance. What about on the way back? A little less ideal, isn't it? Loving the open TTD content, by the way, says Caffeine. Very few streamers doing our beloved open TTD these days. Why do you think that is? The game is so good, why would anybody not be playing it? Tell you what, we have an opportunity to split you off here, I would dare to say, if the levels are just a bit more agreeable. Maybe people have just had their fill with it, I don't know. But I also don't care. I am having a lot of fun with the game. And the last thing I need is to run my desires by anybody else. <laughs> Within reason. Right, let's pop you down. Make sure this is correctly signaled, because you do come along this way. We use glorious left-hand drive. The king would be on my case if I did not. So oh, there we go. This will be the first place to see any real attention, and it's that live stock that we want back here. Problem? No stockyard. Solution? Have a stockyard. I don't know if you have a stockyard already, but I'm not willing to wait on you. I will just pony up the money. That was not meant to be a pun, but it was actually a pretty good one. A lot of goods waiting here, though. That's actually becoming a growing issue, but don't you refit to goods? Yeah, there we go. And you're not even coming along with that much sand. Hopefully it's not hurting the rating too much. No, there we go. You're going to dump that sand and then all of those goods are going to be drank up. It would be nice if there was a bit more leeway in terms of uh, the amount of goods they're willing to have sit around at dock. But look at those goods just get drank away. I love seeing this. I don't know why, it's so hard to put into words, but just visually I can see those goods being taken away. And it's not just that, I know the money that it represents. Boy, do I know the money that represents. It's a long way to go with goods, so I will probably get the minimum payment for them. But that's okay, because goods are still pretty great on the money. Even after a long time, they have the highest value. Oh yes, um, stockyard, stockyard. I might as well just flatten this out so I know that I have space for said stockyard. There's a slight chance it could spawn outside of where I need it to be. Oh, there we go, it's right next to it. Oh, it knows what it's getting then. So then, for sure, once that stockyard's set up, they are going to be wanting that livestock, fine by me. And that means we need to design an electric train for carrying such cargo. Sort by... no, not that. Sort by introduction date, because usually the latest is the best. We've got the Zibidi. The Zibidi has good power, good speed, 168. You do not have good power. General Purpose Express. Do they have any that are specifically freight? You say you're good for freight. But you're so cheap and your power's so low. Plus, I want that speed, so let's get the ZBD. The ZBD is going to be carrying all the livestock we can manage, and there'll probably be... I should probably only need two of them, right? This thing isn't going to make that much livestock. 44 livestock refitable. Sorted by introduction date. Show me what the best one is. 44 livestock and smaller. I like that. And we also need the maximum speed to be up to scratch. 100 and... Ah, that'll be why you weren't so hot there. If we can only get up to 120 kilometers per hour with those uh, cargo things, what's the point in having a... But I need power to haul this thing, and you have power in spades. It's just very expensive to run. It's strange that a freight train would have such low power, isn't it? I think I'll stick with the ZBD anyway. I trust the... Uh, I trust the power here. Remember, these are size 7, so we can just slam all of that in. Your job is to go to Nunavut, full load. And then I want you to go here. If and only if you need service. 
then I want you to go to the Greenland Fishing Docks, which is going to be renamed to something. The Greenland Industrial Heart. And it certainly will be that. And then I wish for you to head to this maintenance station again, service if needed. Says sir, I wish it would say service if needed along here. That way I'll know it's actually using the correct one. And then it will return to full load, and we will have just two of you for now. I mean, what's your capacity? Probably huge. Hello, Jake. I'm new to the channel. If you look just like someone who would stream Kenshi. <laughs> I streamed Kenshi once. I did not enjoy it, and I haven't been back since. Simple as that. It is my type of game, you're right, but Kenshi is just so rough. You know, I, if I would say that Kenshi is Dwarf Fortress, then I want the Kenshi equivalent of RimWorld to play. The 120 km per hour reduction in speed due to the cargo vans is a pain here, but... Oh, I didn't check the capacity, which is a big question here. Total capacity of 572 items. You're actually too big. The... well, actually, maybe not. You'll be full, full in just over a month, and whilst cargo for livestock does have the fastest drop-off around, I reckon you'll be able to get fa uh, back fast enough for that not to be an issue. Yeah, the big drop-off happens after about 50 days. That is still a considerable drop-off, but I reckon you'll be okay. You'll go there, you'll fill up as fast as one can, and out you go. It would be better if the production were gung-ho in Nunavut Meadows, though. And trust me, there is some temptation. If I just had a very convenient port nearby that had farm supplies that currently weren't being used, it would be great to bring those over to Nunavut Meadows. If only I had some kind of nearby port with unused farm supplies that I could bring over. I could even make extra money by bringing said farm supplies over. But, alas, the world is often not just going to work out the way we want it to. I'm being extremely facetious in case it's not incredibly clear. By incredible happenstance, exactly what I wanted is happening here. So let's get those engineering supplies brought over in... What exactly, though? This Quang Tung... No, it doesn't have good capacity. I think I'll still go crawling back to... Ooh, I do like the tiger shark. It's nice and fast. But that speed comes at a cost of capacity. Mm -hmm. I might get you anyway. Tell you what. I want you to go there. And I just want you to head on back there. And we will have two of you, three of you, three of you. And you're going to automatically space out. I made a mistake. I made a big mistake. Please don't do whatever you're doing. I want to grab all three of you and tell you to return there. What was my mistake, chat? You're right. I had them set on engineering supplies instead of farm supplies. Rookie mistake. And I'm not sure the game would have told me that uh, I'd made a mistake there either. Go back to the Northwest Territory docks, please. About turn. And now, now they think they have engineering supplies to send to people, but uh, sadly not. That rating's going to die. I've got nowhere to put those engineering supplies that I can think of. Hmm. People still bring up Terra Invicta. It's early access. Got no time for that. Right, those farm supplies will come in. This gung, this production going at gung ho could be of real concern for these trains, though. I might need another one to bring in even more livestock to good old Greenland. And on top of that, we're going to have a lot more food piling up in the Greenland Industrial Heart. 
we'll have uh, alcohol coming in when I match up that fruit as well. <laughs> Gear City. I have looked at Gear City. It just looks so, so unappealing. Even though I'm quite certain the gameplay would be right up my alley. The game just looks like ass. Right, how long of a journey is this for you? Show me the timetable, please. Fifteen days to go back and forth. So in one month he'll do two of those for 90 goods. So yeah, these guys are going to get plenty of uh, goods to go gung-ho. In fact, they're already gung-ho. At the turn of the month this is going to say crazy amounts of livestock. There we go. Oh, good gravy. That's a lot of livestock. In fact, you're going to come in, fill up, and very quickly away you go with more. To the point where, yeah, I think I'm going to want a third train. Where is my other train? Ah, here it is on its way back. Heading for Nunavut Meadows, but you might just be a little too slow, my friend. If you take so long, that uh, rating is going to go down because it takes too long for the train to return. Look at that time since pickup, two days, it's, it's lowering in uh, lowering in its rating. You need to go there and grab it all. Glug, glug, glug. I do reckon it is insufficient, however, so I'll have another one, if nothing else, just to keep the rating high. I'm curious how much money that makes, though. Let's, uh... I don't know if Andaris's nephew is still here wanting to watch the train go, but we can watch the train go. This one's full of cows and horses and pigs and whatever. Cow goes moo, pig goes oink, whatever goes uh. And they're all going to a faraway magical place where they're going to be happy for the rest of their lives. And they're going to make a lot of other people very happy too. If the kid was not asleep, they would love to watch the train go, says Ninja. <laughs> And where is it going? It's going to the laughter yard. Ah. I suppose it's not the end of the world that the train can't reach max speed because of its cargo wagons, because it can't reach max speed along suspended bridges anyway. Suspended bridges create a maximum speed of 112 kilometers hour. I'm glad that boat came along just to look pretty for us. Things things just seem to be working out A-OK -okay for us today. Just being aptly rewarded for taking care of the, uh, the many packing things I need to do. So it should be able to even speed up at this point. Good power. Eight whole kilometers per hour more, and hopefully it filters into this just nicely. And there we go, it reserves the track, in it goes, and... Good, it doesn't start slowing down until it clears that signal area, and now it's going to drop off all this cargo very swiftly. It's one of the nice things about trains. It has so many things that unload in parallel that uh, just nice and quick and efficient and oh catching! Now granted its running costs are very high but it very swiftly makes us some good money on all that livestock and it can make that journey many times a year. I suspect this will be quite profitable. That said, though, boats are king. <laughs> boats are still king. The uh, the trains will be waiting around quite a bit to pick up livestock now, I reckon. But in doing so, they'll keep that supply rating really high. And now our trains are going so fast that we're starting to get a uh, bonus to the ratings, which is good. Oh, you don't need me to tell you that, but it is good. Now... Now, now, now. That was only part one of my master plan. The other part is that we have this uh, dairy farm and piggery, which are in need of similar treatment, and they need to be plugged into this. Now, do they come over and join in here? That'd be kind of cool if they did. But this would require a little bit of remodeling for that to work, I think. But that's okay, we can remodel. Um, and don't worry about all the flattening we're doing. Mother Nature will sort everything out. They'll reclaim the greenery. Besides, the world has too many trees. It was so sparsely populated with trees when we started the map, but they just keep 
growing and spreading. I wish they die. Well, I wish they die a bit more. Can you say Kaiser Schmarn, says Arnold. You have the strangest requests around here, but at least you've stopped talking about Gabriel Knight. Too bad Gabriel Knight is on his way out. It's all about Laura Bow these days. Looking forward to uh, grabbing a Laura Bow game. Right, these guys are uncomfortably far apart. Can still capture them both with one station, though. If I'm happy about going over that river. And I don't see a good reason why I can't be happy with it. I'm happy with a lot of things. So I reckon I'll have you here. And here. I might need the Quebec Valley to be even larger than this, all things considered. We're going to be bringing fruit and livestock and plenty of both. So I will always want at least three stay. I might even just go for four stations. It's going to be the waiting that uh, that gets people anyway. With a setup like that, anyone can go anywhere. Do I want it like that? Then you come in, you have access to there, 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 and there, and everyone coming out can go out that way. Probably not the most efficient, but I think it works out fine. I think some people just complain too much, I'm sure. I wonder if it would be more efficient if these guys had the option to go directly onto there without taking this middle part. That way they could leave without getting in your way. I mean, I know there's easier ways to do this. Well, not easier, but better ways. I'm just not so sure I've got great space for it. So I'll just make do with this budget option. Poor for throughput, but better for my sanity. Do, do, do. Just carefully and calmly bridge our way across here. And then, and then, and then, and then. I reckon if we just come along here. Be for all the trees. Looks pretty clean for us, which is great. It wasn't actually the road I wanted to, or the train line that I wanted to drag out, but that's okay. Now you, you. I need this connected up some way somehow. That looks uh, connect fine there. But you need to come into here without disturbing everything again. You don't need to bother with this direction. So really... Really, really, I might have a bit of a slippery solution for you. Actually, I might have a really cool solution for you. Let's try bridging one step lower. Okay. And then when we come out of here, we tunnel under you. Almost works, but it doesn't quite work. Uh, hmm. All right, alternative approach. Tunnel like so. This, you can join in without disturbing the main line, and then you are even simpler because you just branch off onto this. Uh, no, not at 90 degrees though. It's not how we roll around here. So they come down and along, and then boop -boop 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 -boop, and then they come back along over the bridge and then link back up. A ghetto solution, but I feel like we need more of these, not fewer of these. There's been a bit too much painting by the books on my station design. And I don't want to be like a Factorio player who only plays with blueprints. <laughs> Which is 
contradiction right there, because when I play Factorio these days, I mostly use blueprints. I've already done loads of spaghetti bases, I'm past that point now. Then again, I recently saw Alpha Gamo from the community playing Factorio, and he ran a... What was it? Double Death World? So Death World, but the settings were twice as deadly. And he was still using makeshift spaghetti. And it looked great, because spaghetti does look great in Factorio. It's got soul. Soul by the spades. Uh, let's see, we need you to extend out from here. Signal R to destroy. Get rid of that one. Alright, not only that, but you can also use the existing um, stations for being seen to. So great, we can bring out livestock and fruit over here. The downside, I suppose, is that you do not have access to farming supplies, but could we just sneak... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, Yeah... Help me out, Neptune. Oh, oh, Neptune's not gonna like that. He is not gonna like that. I'm not monstrous enough to delete rivers like that. Um, could you perhaps come out just a little touch? And then maybe... Oh, dang, it's too far away with that. Um, gosh darn. How about here then? There we go. Quebec Valley can be happy with that. It's a bit of a leg to get more farming supplies from here, but it does look like they're piling up a wee bit. <laughs> Those engineering supplies don't get used at all. The farming supplies, however, we do want. And these fast, sharky-looking boats seem well suited for it. They're going to wish that they didn't have to go around this. It's a little tempting to canal them here. I wish I could tunnel with these things. Wait, maybe I can. Oh, no, no, that's bridging, not tunneling. Mm. Mm. Yeah, if they could just sail through this, they'd cut out a lot of this journey. Not sure if that's an option for them. Well, says who? Says who? How fast do those things go over um, over inland water? It's usually lower. This is for farming supplies for farmers. Oh, would you look at that? It goes fairly fast even on inland. You know, rivers and aqueducts and that. I reckon we can throw them a bone, don't you? Let's see, they're going to come along here, find the narrowest point and deal with that. This seems pretty narrow. I wonder if I could just... Oh, that's, that's the wrong one. That is most assuredly the wrong one. Let's be very cheeky. <laughs> create our own ravine here. Alright, I'm not going to chop the land in half, although I could. I definitely could. Neptune would reclaim that, and then they could just go along. But this goes against something that I'm fundamentally wanting to do in this game, so that's a no. I very specifically don't want to uh, reshape countries like this. Uh, don't look too hard at Florida when I say that. The people of Florida wanted to be disconnected like so. Plus, that wasn't me putting in river. That was uh, glorious man-made 
What is this even called? Waterway construction. And we shall construct more waterway here. Over to another lot. The tiger boat shall make it through. Can I raise this up a bit? It looks a little off. Probably not going to look any less off with that. But there you go. And when you come out here, we're going to need you to... Just... So it was just a little track through here as well. You'd have an easier time pathing. Save some time on those tiger boats that already exist as well. Just make sure that you have what you need to be seen to here. Okay, that should be everything you need to get around. So, another one of you. Set up for farm supplies, of course. I want you to go to the docks, then the boy, then the other boy, the other other boy. Needs one of those wildlife bridges. Wildlife is thankfully not a concern here. This isn't like Factorio where we have to worry about pollution. Or RimWorld where we'll soon have to worry about pollution. There we go. I want you to automatically spread out and we will have four of you do this journey. Four is probably overkill, but hey, it's all money in the end for us. And of course, what would this be if we weren't actually taking the end product over to Greenland to become the other end product? Oh crikey, that's piling up. Um, I'll solve that shortly, but not right now. I need some more of my glorious seven length trains using the Zibidee. I do feel like the Zibidee is a bit of a waste, right? The Zest. No, I can't. <laughs> the, Ze the Zest is so much cheaper to run though. I'll try the Zest here. It says it's made for freight after all. Now there's more livestock to be brought over. How much livestock again? Uh, ooh. You both do livestock. It's going to be rather a lot of it, I reckon. So we've got space for a tiny, tiny little livestock train on that, but I'm not sure they come that tiny. I'll just leave it at 3.6.9, uh, I won't worry about it. Uh, Quebec Valley, full load. Head along. Go to the Nunavut train station and service if absolutely needed. Head up the end point there. Go here if needed. Is there a way to click on it and tell them to... Ah, that's nice. When I control click, it does service as needed, which is great, because that's exactly what I wanted. Great, in that case we will have three of you. Please activate, and I need to make another one of you for... Well, I'll probably make two of you for fruit, because the fruit production is going to be considerably lower than the livestock production. So, let's try that zest again, this time for frucht. And it's another sliding wall van, apparently. Fair enough. And your job will be the same as their job. There you go. Activate. Now, the goods piling up is not such a big deal. It can wait a while and it does get periodically seen to. And by one of you, for example, here you come. Ready to take another 1120 tons of goods away. Sometimes I wonder though if we don't need more of those. How's a sandbank looking after all? Well, it's not piling up with sand, but the goods still need to come back. Poor guy's got his speed reduced, but that's why you go there to get seen to. Breakdowns on boats don't seem that frequent, do they? Still, I'm going to add another couple of you to it, if nothing else, to improve with the goods being moved around. Uh, that doesn't solve the food problem. Who is taking this food? Sort out by food cargo. I swear this wasn't here before. It's very useful, though. Let's see. You apparently take this good, these goods all the way down to Tampa? It's a long way to take food. 
I wonder if I can take that food away by train somewhere useful. No, food is only used by... Um... Food is only used by places like hotels and that. It's a shame, we're so close on that coverage, but the, the hotel's not to be... not to be trifled with. And I'm not just putting down hotels wherever I want them, that would be cheap. <laughs> Imagine bringing that food all the way down to South America, which I will have to check out and soon, it's had a long time to uh, fester and grow. Where deserves this delicious Greenland food? I mean, finally people are eating things that aren't just fermenting fish. Not only that, but we have alcohol being made that we need to, to deal with, or will soon. <laughs> well, Labrador Central could get some food. It wouldn't need it for a while, but there's a lot of space for Labrador to grow into if it ever went that way. Unsure if we can actually reach Labrador from here. Yeah, it might not look too possible yet, but with a little bit of ingenuity, I'm sure somebody would want to go to Labrador. Okay, pro oh wait, I think I know my problem. There we go. My cheap tricks undoing me. There we go, Labrador can be brought that food. It's not very far, so it won't go off. At least not so much. And it's a fairly straight shot over there. Take them out to the Nunavut boy, then over to the Greenland Industrial and we're okay. So what's the best food thing we have? 80, uh, 48 kilometers per hour with food is quite good. High capacity for food though, perhaps too high. Regular uh, servicing is better. The really fast ones do not hold much food whatsoever. Refrigerated improved payment for perishable cargoes, 300 tons of food. Incredibly expensive though. Um, I think we tested this before, it just didn't seem to give very good payment. But you know what, I'll give you another chance, Helsinki. I want you to go Greenland. Uh, I shouldn't be spawning you over here then, should I? Nope. Away you go. What I should certainly consider is having another place to tend to ships around here. Uh, I don't know if anybody knows the mechanics behind this improved payment rate for perishable cargoes, but I would love to know. Just some numbers, right? How much is it improved by? Does it just slow the degradation, or what? I don't even think I want you to bring anything back, just go there. Um, you don't do alcohol, but I will space you out. And we will have five, six, seven, eight of you doing this journey, because I reckon there's going to be a ton of food being made. I just imagine it slows the cargo drop, well you imagine, sure, but uh, we don't have the numbers. I ran with these earlier and all I, w all I noticed was that it wasn't very cost effective because there's a big cost on these boats. Also, one, two, three, four, I'll have four more of them going. What are you bringing in here? More livestock is more food. A whole heap more, wait, where'd the food go? I. We'll have to assume that somebody actually came and grabbed that food at the same time, otherwise where'd the food go? Yeah, there we go. Pile it up. Pile it up for me. Where does OpenTDD uh, save its new GRFs? Uh, it's stored in the same place as most everything is for there. Hold on, I can quickly check this. Uh, OpenTTD... Yeah, in the... Hmm. What is it under? Content downloaded new GRF. Yeah, so documents, open TTD, content underscore download, new GRF. And what was this one called again? Uh, furs, of course. So if you find furs and start combing through its stuff there, I'm sure you'll find it. Uh, I could do that as well, just not doing it right now. It's under local share on Linux. 
Uh, what you call Linux is actually GNU Linux. Right, off you go. God, I love seeing that money come in. I haven't even needed all these stations, but it's more set up for the future, because I do want to drink more of the resources from Canada and uh, throw them into Greenland. Greenland continues to grow nicely, but it's starting to really hurt on its lack of passengers and mail. Once that drops a little lower, Greenland will stop growing, and at that point I will redo Greenland's uh, internal... Um, internal? What am I trying to say? It's local packs. It's inner city packs, that's what I'm trying to say. And I'm actually running out of space to, to rejig this. This is meant to be where my metro turns around and deals with up here. It's okay, I can always destroy things if they get in my way. But yeah, Northern Greenland will get Metro, Southern Greenland will get uh, trams, and other parts of Greenland will get other kinds of transportation. Should all work out very well for them. And would you look at that, we're actually, we're actually dealing very well with the sheer amount of people that Greenland throws into its central. Oh yeah, this place is huge. It's a boat thing, so it should be in shark. Ah, good point. It won't be in furs, it'll be in shark. Excellent point. Well, there you go. Oh, the alcohol, of course. You make alcohol and I don't transport any of it. Where can we put that alcohol? Well, Labrador also happens to have a hotel that would be only too happy to take our alcohol, right? So we need only set up a another kind of boat, but this one specifically takes alcohol. 450 tons of express trade at 48 kilometers per hour and a hammerhead. Well, that sounds cost effective. Alcohol, for some reason, doesn't keep very well, but that's okay. I also want you just spaced out. We'll just have... Honestly, that's probably overkill. There's not that much fruit coming in, is there? But there might be in the future. For now, Three of you will suffice. Why are you waiting? Did I tell you to... Wait, no, you're waiting because you're on automated uh, timetables, aren't you? Yes, you're 11 days early, so you're going to hang around for a bit. And then you're going to grab the food as it's ready and off you trot. My god, the amount of money that Greenland makes me. I wish I could segregate, like, the cities depending on the amount of dosh they make me. But it doesn't work that way. It would be based on stations and vehicles and whatnot. In fact, that's kind of what this is all here for. The six aircraft I have make me about $2 million a year. My 361 ships make me $131 million a year. Of that, 8.5 million come from the PAX, which only really deals with Hawaii and the Caribbean islands, right? No, not true. There's the exchange from Maryland to New York, which may or may not be overloaded by now. In fact, that's a ton of the money right there. 227 trains making us 61 million. PAX is making most of that money, but then I don't use freight trains very often. Well, all these new ones that I just made are freight. Perhaps I should group them accordingly. You guys are the... Well, which ones are you? If there's two of them, then you're the fruit guys. And if it's these guys, these are the livestock ones. I didn't watch the crappy smaller engines to see if they're running okay. Let's have a look at you there. Struggling, I'd say. 95 kilometers per hour. Really? 95? I don't think I'd taken such a weak engine here. Look, the Zest can supposedly reach 140, it just doesn't have the power to um, to handle. You, for example, are running back empty and are 112 kilometers per hour. It's still reach... Oh, okay, now it's struggling coming up here. I don't think these Zests are really made to... The, the Zests are also going to slow down the Zibidis. I'm not convinced of their merits. 
So I'm going to go to cargo and I'm going to say anytime I'm using a zest, please replace it with a ZBD. There we go, get replacing. Then they'll automatically take care of themselves next time they need to go in for service. Otherwise though, livestock's piling up, don't tell me I need another livestock vehicle. You're coming in and you'll grab like 500 or so of them. At least the ratings are really good. Oh, that's nice. We need another livestock and another fruit train, I would reckon. So let's grab them. Which one are you? You're probably a livestock, if I had to guess. And uh, good thing I was only guessing because I was wrong. You're fruit. But the one that just came in and left, you are livestock. Of that, I'm certain. There we go. There's plenty of space for everyone. Don't need to worry about having such an inefficient entry and exit where they kind of block each other. And I love to see it. It's also really nice that the doors close as they fill up. So all the ones at the front here, they've got the 44 tons, but this one, it's a 30 tons. Come on, you can do it. A little more. Come on, we've got all that, uh, oh, it's fruit, isn't it? There we go. It's full, so it closes. Full, so it closes. Full, so it closes, and off they trot. Hmm. <laughs> God, it's so good. Eh, uh, this is fresh run, says Johnny Pennies. Weren't you here before saying that this game blows? Anyway, um, no, it says the fourth session. It even says four in the title. I bet this game is fresh, so to speak. Cuba's growth, on the other hand, Cuba just refuses to grow. I transport everyone I can out of Cuba. Tell you what, let's run ourselves a little advertising campaign. Running on the line of Leave Cuba Today. The source code mentions the reefer gets refits to limited range of refrigerated cargoes with improved cargo decay rate. From what I understand, it doubles the time before it starts decaying. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but whatever, they're making money, surely. Uh, not much. That incredibly high cost to run is uh, rearing its ugly head. Let's go and check the aggregated ones. Ungrouped, shared orders, Greenland to Labrador. Is that you guys? It's probably you guys, right? No, you bring the alcohol. You guys bring the fruit. Well, it's May, and together you've made me one and a half million pounds transporting that food, so that's got to be good, right? God, look at all that alcohol piling up. Maybe I didn't uh, put down enough alcohol ships after all. Ah, no, they've just got massive capacity, so it's okay, they do grab it. And alcohol, it does drop off, but surprisingly fast, I might add, but... It's still very valuable. And actually, around the time that I reckon it's going to be taking, it will be the most valuable good. What's the most valuable right there at the top? What's this one here? Very dark blue. Goodness, it's, it's kind of hard to tell. That's engineering supplies, isn't it? Yeah, engineering supplies are huge money. Hello, streamer. Does the world contain Eurasia? Naturally. And as is the natural order of things, the USA shall dominate Eurasia. And Oceania, of course, as well. Since I knew I'd forget the Oceanian locations, I already put them in. But, of course, they're uncolonized. This is just a placeholder. Reminding me to put Western Australia there, because, you know, I wouldn't know what to call Western Australia at the time. Right, we are building up that money. Once we hit two billion dollars, it's time for us to do a large-scale um, colonization of South America. And once South America is done, we set our sights to greener pastures. Do cities only evolve where you put your transport to? That's correct. 
I don't have any city that I don't touch at all, but if I did, it would just do nothing until we uh, linked it up. It would just sit there, it wouldn't grow, it wouldn't shrink, it would just do nothing. Once you do connect it up, then it will grow provided you give it enough goods and services. California, for example, it is linked up to my network, but here's the problem. It produces two and a half thousand passengers every month, and we're only gathering 820 of them. That is far too few to stimulate growth. You need to do, I believe, at least 30%. Mail as well. You can produce that many, but don't pick them all up. And the reason for that is that the Central only has this amount of coverage of California, which was great when California was relatively small. Now California has grown. The question on our minds is, do we really want to help California anymore? And my answer is, no, I do not. It's a never-ending job. Cities would continue to grow and we need to continue seeing to them. I'm happy if they grow, but uh, the ones that I will pay the real attention to are the star children. There'll be one per continent, Greenland for North America, and man, Greenland's looking good. I remember when we were only barely able to fit their demands for fish, fruit, and livestock? Well, now we give them 20 times their demand. Same for the sheer amount of sand we give them near enough. Same for just about everything. Greenland will be good to grow for a long time, except this little problem. We don't, we almost don't collect enough passengers and mail, and I need to fix that. Thankfully, we're taking care of mail at a southern airport, but Greenland needs an improved, um, an improved inner city packs network, and I will give them that. So I'm going to tell all of the inner city packs to go to depot, and I'm going to remake it. Those trains, though, it's so lovely to see them just rolling everywhere. I see them rolling, says Larissa. We all see them rolling. But what I really like is the fact that we have it baked into the city. The city has grown around Greenland Central. When we established Greenland, it was just a, a few houses around here, and now it's spread around. I'm glad I bought this land, or else it would have been growing there as well. Once the last of the trams are here, I'm going to rip up my tram network and give them a new, potentially more modular network here. Cargo payment rates go down to 0% on big goods and furs. That can't be right, Naffel. Otherwise, the scrap metal I bring all the way down to Terra de Fuego at incredibly slow speeds wouldn't amount to anything. And speaking of, there they go. Bringing back the steel, and bringing in that scrap metal. Uh, how's the boneyard doing, by the way? Holy smokes, it still backs up with... Um, it still backs up the scrap metal. I think I need more of these... More of these guys. They do make money, overall, which is great. It's just a very, very long journey for them. In that case, we'll have a few more. I do intend for Florida to grow further, after all. But that boneyard, I want as much of the boneyard scrap metal as I can. Which means I want Florida's uh, population to grow, because that scrap metal is worth dang good money to me. Right, the game's moaning at me because all of the trams are in the depot. Will I destroy this depot and all the trams? Probably. I think I just want to make a whole new setup for them. To that extent, I'm actually going to pause, delete, and start seeing to you, Greenland. Now, what am I to do with you? Well, I reckon first order of beeswax is to delete the existing stations, because we're completely redoing this one. That starts with you, 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 and you. Why were you both the same kind of station there? I think that was all the male ones, and now for the passenger ones, you and you. See, Greenland spread out all along here, which I did not touch even the slightest with my inner city packs network. Okay, there's still a Greenland Central, as there should be. Greenland Central's coverage is in uh, in enhanced by the docks, of course. Do I want these docks? No ships even go here. Might be good still to have uh, the ability for the docks to... Yeah, yeah, this dock is probably going to connect uh, Greenland up with the New World. Probably going to have to collect 
Europeans and Africans in one place and start shipping them over to the New World in various high-capacity shipping lanes. But I'd want to spread it out on one hand, on the other hand I have a lot of places to go. Hmm, don't know, but I'll figure it out. Probably best to concentrate all of them into one or two locations. Maybe here for Europe and here for calling it Africa's not doing it any favors, but it is Africa. It's just so huge. Right, what am I even doing here? Before I start thinking about Africa, let's start thinking about our tram packs. Get rid of you for now. Now I need to design this so that it has room to grow because Greenland keeps growing. Oh, cool, I can actually just delete the tram part of the bridge without deleting the bridge. Jinx, they thought of everything in this game. <laughs> to be fair, they've had many years to think about it. Many, many years. And I'm sure there have been all sorts of asinine uh, discussions and politics about what can and cannot be done. Right, south first, because that'll be the easiest. Tramways. How are we going to link up Greenland? I th well... It kind of boils down to the catchment area of the tram stations. Unfortunately, no, fortunately, I can actually skip a street and we still capture everyone. Hey, that's muckle convenient. Well, 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 well. The thing is, I'd want trams going both ways, so I need to make sure that our best passenger tram is as fast as our best mail tram. However, they don't overtake, so that actually could cause problems. Because then uh, any kind of scheduling will cause a tram, a mail tram, to block a passenger tram. Still, they both go at 88 kilometers per hour. It's just that the slower one carries many, many more bags of mail. So I think I would use the slower, higher capacity one. Because, Jinx, it's only 16 kilometers slower, but twice the capacity. I like that. Okay, so we'll have them going on alternating rings. Even though it's a pretty indirect route, it just causes fewer complications. And my god, look at the growth in this thing. Um, let me help you out there a little touch there, Greenland. Uh, help you out a bit more. There we go, good, that does link up. So I'll probably have you in and around. And we just go down and around. Well, but there's so much to be done here, isn't there? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Two sets of tram tracks would certainly confuse things more so than we're looking for. We should certainly have a main track that runs down here. And that's a little very inconvenient, so I'm going to have you come up and along. We're going to ignore this problem slightly. And because I always want my roads and my trams to be following. That's going to make it a lot easier to expand in the future. This bridge, of course, will cause us some issues, but that's okay. If and when Greenland ever... No, well, Greenland's never going to make anything out of this. We don't need to worry about the very few Greenlanders who live out there. We're going to come along here so we can run this parallel to the main line here. And by the way, I'm going to start needing settlement names in Greenland. Quite a few of them, I dare to say. I feel a little bad that I'm not touching all these people here, so I will actually... Just run straight up here now, will I? No, plus there's that hotel that I really want to capture. I'm going to run you up and down here. Okay. Now, I really don't like a crisscross here. Could we be so kind as to bridge this? I think it's possible. I'm 
says, start to think it's a little less possible. No, have faith, have faith. I think it could be done. There we go. Plus it's kind of cool if one of these trams goes a bit off the beaten track. Uh, no you don't. <laughs> Can't let you do that. There we go. Now you can rejoin civilization to a degree. Alright, there we go. There's our tram loop. It kind of sucks to be a passenger that is here and wants to go here, but we'll have to go all the way around. But I think that's better than having a more complex setup. The people that probably get a much better deal are the northern Greenlanders who get the metro. But for now, this should suffice. I really didn't need to blow up the, uh, the vehicles inside here because I ended up keeping this maintenance shack anyway. So, 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 so... How are we gonna do this? He's thinking, he's thinking... Well, I just need to put the stations back in, really, don't I? I will have... This is where it'd be really handy if the game actually kept all of your uh, coverage shown. But anyway, Godhaven is back. And... We're going to push the... Ex oh, God goes to there. So these two are Godhaven. And then we'll just alternate these. You come out to there. So I want you... Well, I'd like you there, but I can't do that. So I'll actually put you here. And what are you going to be? I guess I'll call you Umanak or something. I am very soon going to need a lot of names of Greenlander... Um, well, places. So you'll be part of Umanak. And then you extend out yay far, so I want you to put you out here. Greenland North ain't cutting it, I'm afraid. This disjointed peak here is a bit troublesome, but too bad. Right, lay it on me. I need a settlement in Greenland's name. List of ta Preferably without a link, Harundi. Just throw me some names here. Shouldn't your mank be central? now? it's alright, Marvin. Thank you, Sissy Mute Plaza. People have just been making this up at this point, but that's okay. I'll believe it. So you come out yay far. And lay on another one, please. Not kidding, I, I need a ton of these. It's Greenland Heights. <laughs> you don't specifically need to go for the weirdest named ones. Kazi Gianbui Plaza. Why did we have to choose Greenland? Okay. Then we follow this around a bit more. You expand, expand out like so. You're going to be... Oh god, there's no flat land for you here whatsoever, is there? Right, I'm going to have to do you here and... Here, damn, I don't get the football stadium. It's all very not flat. Um, I doubt there's opportunity for me to change that. Or is there? Let me see what can be done here. So it doesn't work. Well, what if you weren't there? Let's imagine a world where you weren't there. 
Um, still doesn't work because I don't have a flat area for it. And it needs to be flat. However, with this, maybe you could be considered flat enough. Yeah, there we go. Justice. So now we can get our passengers, including our beloved football field over there. Is it a football field? No, it's a rugby stadium. That's Greenland Transfer right there, but of course it needs a better name. Alright, what do we have? Why why the why the horrible named ones here? One that's much easier to say. Tasilak. Thank you. Tasilak Plaza is now operational. God, we're not even done here. We need a whole lot more thinking about it. If you're already linking up there, couldn't I have this come out over here instead. I do want to grab this area, don't I? Besides, yeah, no, 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 no real need. We can double up, and that's okay. Right. I need yet another one here. It's currently called Greenland Halt, which is a cool name, but it's not cool enough. I need to have a word with the people in Greenland who choose their names. Il Ulisat. And the, the cardinal sin of having an I and an L next to each other. Especially at the start. I'm just going to think it's Lulisat. Also, it's not meant to be a halt, it's a plaza. Gotta stick to our conventions. Good thing we only need to do, need to do this once per giant city. Right. come out like so, and I reckon we'll have you out here as well. The supposed boneyard of Greenland, nope. This is going to be Kulusa Plaza. I wonder if we're going to get any Greenlanders tuning in here. Hell, we had someone from... was he Peruvian or Chilean? Anyway, somewhere down in that crap hole, we actually had somebody uh, tune in and give us some much-needed local information. It's going to be a new one, won't really be an exchange, but it'll be something alright. And then we're back to the Godhaven Plaza, great, then one last name and we're good. And actually I can just steal no... Actually, no, we'll use Nook for the um, for the train station, so I still do need another name. And we'll need yet more names. Uh, Ika Miu Plaza. Alright, there we go. Now for the alternating run around here. Passengers first. And they are going to... Oh god, please tell me that you're two different uh, stations here. Uh, mistakes were made. It's okay, I can undo mistakes. I guess I will be getting rid of that after all. I don't like having my maintenance area in between two stops of the same station, because I feel that that messes up with the order for them to go in and get uh, maintenance. I could be dead wrong about that, but it's what I believe. Anyway, Sissimut, you're both part of Sissimut, so I can put it here instead. Now let's get with it. Uh, passenger, these are only 1961, they're 13 years old in design, but that's okay. Now, the passengers will go around clockwise, which is the way the clock goes. You'll go to Kassigienguit, and then Tassilak, then... Ilsat, then up and over to Kulusak, around to Ikamut, back round to Godhaven, to Umanak. Sounds like something Mumbo Jumbo says. Wait, is that still part of Umanak? Umanak's bigger than I thought. 
No, it's just that Goodhaven reaches out there. Right, get rid of that. Umanak, then to Sissimut, and then go for maintenance, whether you need it or not. It's a little expensive, but it just helps keep it running around in the way that I want them to, rather than do anything weird. Maybe I should only tell you to get that maintenance if you actually want it. There we go. Well, let's just say service if needed, rather than forcing them to go in. That way they're going to stop thinking about it on their own. I, of course, want it automatically timetabled, and Greenland is a big place, so let's give them... Maybe I should generally give uh, people... Two tram... Two times the number of stations trams. So how many stations is this? Minus that for one, it's eight. So two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Off you go. For mail, I'll only do one per station because mail generates less frequently and it's higher capacity. So if we have mail coming out, and we'll get that big chunky one, we'll have you... And I'm not going to clone the order, I will just give you your own one. You come out here and you go the anti-clockwise way. So Sissimut to Umanak to Godhaven to Ika Kulusak Watsits Plaza Tassilak Kazi Watsits, and then go for maintenance if needed, and it will be if needed, right? Oh yeah! And similarly, I would like you to space out your timetabling, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of you, and go! Out they flood, and they take different routes, and they won't uh, have any issue with that, because they go in opposite directions, and with that... Oh, look at that income already flowing. It's hardly the dozens of thousands we make on the trains, but it's very frequent, and most of all, it's going to help with the passengers and mail being travelled around, because a lot of these places had no PAX access whatsoever. This game tune is from Stronghold, Soul Miras, and I bet you're already kicking yourself that you didn't notice that yourself. Stronghold, great game, great music. Right, if we give it just a bit longer, the vehicles should be nice and spaced out. Look at them stopping there because they're on their timetable. Generally, it takes two loops for them to sort out their timetabling. And there we go. Glorious, regular, pack service for South Greenland. And we've already bumped up the amount of passengers that we grab each month considerably. And I doubt any of them are going to be... Oh, wow, you're already... The Commute Plaza already has loads of people and uh, mail waiting there. You couldn't even grab any. Was that because you had so many? Yes, it was. It might actually be that this is an insufficient amount of vehicles traveling through, which is in a way a terrifying thought. Especially since a lot of them are running full. Yeah, because they got a long way to go, don't they? It might be that this is already too large to make a tram network. The problem is, anybody that wants to go from Kazi over to Kulsuk sits on the train and occupies a seat that somebody on these stations would want to go and get themselves. So it might actually be that this is not a sufficient amount of trains. Trams, rather. But that's potentially easily solved. We'll take the old factory approach of double and move along. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go. <laughs> Let the tramming recommence. Why not add a direct route across town? We'll get there. Oh, you probably mean a direct route to get them from here to here. Eh. Added complications. Uh, breakdowns are not very nice. Please don't break down. I still haven't looked into a way to just stop the awful, complete breakdown. And it really is awful. It's quite the train of people there. 
Then again, it means that there is always a tram waiting for you, Jings. Imagine this service. For Greenland, no less. There we go. It has really evolved to Sushi Belt uh, setup now. It's a shame clearing everything just so we could see the vehicles, but uh, seeing this doesn't give me a good overview. Seeing this certainly does. Oh, I see the problem here. This has the hotel, so loads of passengers are generated on this stop. But I reckon we've got South Greenland largely taken care of with that. And, well, would you look at that, we are definitely handling those passengers well. You're really pampering Greenland, yeah, and I'm about... Well, I will soon give Tierra de Fuego... Oh, good lord. Tierra de Fuego's growing like a weed because we dumped all the food and things onto them. Well, this is good. This is what we were looking for. Another star child of a... Uh, of a settlement. It's still small enough that its meagre tram setup is taking care of it, but it'll need some special attention soon enough. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I missed my tram! There are three more waiting. Always going to be the case at this hotel. But hey, <laughs> this place generates quite a few passengers. Has that one left? It's still, I've got another 40-something passengers in there. Oh, well, this is excellent. And of course, all those new road vehicles are going to go under packs. Uh, it would be nice to have packs be somewhat competitive with the cargo vehicles. And pound for pound, they're actually performing quite well. The packs here are making me eight and a half. Well, actually, no, this isn't taking into account the the year of the Greenland, is it? But yeah, I was always under the impression that packs was very weak compared to cargo, but. Thinking about it, passengers and mail have really good payout rates. Hmm, let's compare it to pretty much everything else. Passengers is the best of all the non-refined goods, and mail is up there with the refined goods. Both drop off pretty hard, but just bring them around quickly. The thing about passengers is that there are so many of them. Greenland, again, generates 12,000 passengers and 5,500, so let's call that uh, 18,000 packs from Greenland. Compare that to even my best sand bank. Wait, you used to be my best. Why are you only making me 900 tons of sand? Okay, well, I suppose that's good for the um, comparison, but didn't we have a nice gung-ho production here? Look at that, though. You're making me uh, 3,000 units or so. It's almost a tenth of a green... Well, not a tenth, but half a Greenland. And again, this is only this size. Greenland is huge. I don't know what my conclusion is out of that. Cargo is still great for money. Anyway, that was only half of Greenland. It is certainly the larger and more populous half, but I need a metro station for Greenland. I need it bad. Well, I don't need it, but I want it. How are we going to have it? It needs to be capable of growing considerably. And, uh, it's going to be considerably harder to work out as well, isn't it? Um, Greenland Central is well taken care of, so there's not a lot to worry about with that. Poor North Greenland looking across the bridge with envy at the endless sea of trams. Now don't worry, they're going to get the real enviable part. They're going to have their own metro. I just haven't figured out exactly how yet. The metro has larger catchment area, but it's not insurmountably large. I'm going to have a metro station here that runs under... Uh, <laughs> Let's not have it pointing that way, please. There we go. Uh, and you aren't meant to be Greenland Valley, you're meant to be Nook Metro. Was it N-W-K? I feel like there was like an H there, like Nook. So Nook Metro is going to run up, and I think I will preemptively make myself a tonking big metro that extends across all of this. And we'll have this as the lower plane of Greenland. 
Nowhere near as green as advertised, right? That's what they say. There's no H in Nook. Okay, thank you. Nook Metro will run through here and then pop out here. So along, 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 blip. Metro here. And then I think it will continue along a bit more. It'll need a tunnel between it, of course. Oh, don't tell me I can't... Uh... Okay, good, I can. I can signal the whole tunnel. Excellent. Uh, which way will this metro go? I think clockwise. Clockwise is good. Greenland and I'm gonna need another name, but I'll wait on that a wee bit. Anyway, I should certainly get this road out so I know exactly what I'm dealing with in terms of size and shape and whatnot. They want to come out here, fine by me. They're gonna to want to connect up there too. And it's gonna come down here, it's fine. One, two, three, blip. One, two, three, blip. I'm not just doing this because gridding is easy, the game, the, the city wants to grid in this kind of 3x3 three three fashion. So by doing this, I'm just laying it out for them ahead of time, otherwise they would fight against uh, my creations. For example, if I, were to, uh, if I were to do grid it differently, they would just run roads where they want it anyway, despite the waste of space that would be. Right, Greenland Annex A. We'll get a better name for you shortly. The two of you don't quite cover all, but I can live with the slight lack of coverage. Basically, you need two, two short stops and then out you come here. But I need you to go down yet further. Is this even gonna work? Hey, really, courtesy of you. But I can do this. And then go down a bit more. Raise you up a bit. And then bring you down. God, this is so cool. I love, love, love the metros in this game. Ah. Right, out you come. And then for the end here. There's a whole lot more Greenland to be had, but we need to we need to loop it up, don't we? So when you come out to this point... In fact, I might give myself a little extra space by having you do something like that. I will give myself another metro station here. That would be a good reason not to. But it also needs to start turning around. It's also a half decent place to um, to give you some maintenance if the need arises, isn't it? You can tunnel your way up to God knows where. You do need to come out because of tunnel length restrictions. Seems like you could skip the entire block underground. Um, you mean if I just go down further here and then skip that? Probably not unthinkable, is it? So instead of going up, we just go deeper underground. And then equalize, tunnel. Oh, baby. It just gets better and better, doesn't it? Oh. There we go. All the Lebensraum they could need. Very nice. Right, they will need or want some maintenance along the way. Oh, no, that's unacceptable. I don't do 90 degree turns. I never do 90 degree turns. Jake's getting hot and bothered over trains. Did this become a Caledon stream? They're metro trains. Totally different thing. Now, we're going to need you to come back underground. Mm 
not really much point tunneling this, is there? Because you need to meet up again anyway, don't you? Might tunnel it anyway. Just so we can have something like that. So if they come out, they get their maintenance there and away they go. No 90 degree turns to be had. Uh, it does, of course, get in the way of how the game wants to uh, set up their cities. I wonder if I could do this even tighter. Is such a thing even possible? Could I conceivably run you along here? No, because I couldn't elevate this, could I? Well... How about that? What I'm wanting to do is keep this road linked up like so. That way that's the worst it ever does. And it seems far less invasive here, doesn't it? In fact, that looks super cute. Mmm. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. And this thing's still going to come out and continue its... Uh, continue its growth like so. Alright, sweet. The, the subway system can run up here. How intermittent do I want the subways running in this way? Probably the same amount so they can skip one, two, and then have another subway over there, right? Needs to be a loop, though. And unfortunately, it needs to mix both uh, mail and passengers in the same direction, but that's okay. I can just space them out accordingly. Hopefully it alternates between passengers and mail. Might not. So you reach out and you grab that much. Really, though, it might be better to have it like so. There's only one tile of overlap that way, but the alternative is one, two, three, four, two tiles of missing. So would I rather have two tiles of missing or one tile of overlap? The answer is I'm not sure. I mean, Greenland deserves only the best, right? But that's a lot of looping... Um, yeah, that's like fifty percent more uh, more stations. I'll pass. People people just have low housing values in the places that I ignore. Ignore makes it sound so bad. Strategically underutilize. Now I rewatched one of my more painful weekly one shots the other day. Resident Evil Two Hard Mode. Still stings about that one. I was just feeling Resident Evil 2 moody-like, as I often do. Uh, I'm actually waiting on Fishlips to run that game. He's doing a long play of Resident Evils, and Resident Evil 2 is not my favourite Resident Evil, but it's pretty high up there. Resident Evil 3, I think, is superior. We are going to need so many Greenlander names for all these places. Uh, that's the wrong kind of tunnel, by the way. Had to go for a bit. What crazy names did we use for the rest of Inner City of Greenland? We haven't used them yet, but we need uh, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to need about eight of them. Uh, no, wait, Nook is already used. I need seven Greenlander province names, please. Well, Settlement names, whatever, whatever Greenlanders live in. Let's see, we always skip two, but this is hard to calculate because I haven't drawn the rest of my roads here. Also, stops dead thanks to the industrial area, but that's okay. We have some things to work with, courtesy of what the game has already drawn out for us. Mm -mm. And this place looks good enough to eat. I might have to skip Nook of sorts here. Why do I, how do I keep ending up with those wrong kinds of tunnels? How does this happen? It's because I'm drawing roads, I know, but still, how does this happen?
So this can I flatten out and get away with. Not nearly enough. That's not going to want to be equalized courtesy of these houses, but that's okay. We don't uh, we don't drive around here. Everybody takes the metro. Go. Can we tunnel here? Yes, we can. We can have our we can have our little metro station here, but we need to turn. We need to turn around here, and I don't have a great setup for turning, but I can make one. Yeah, I can make one. Kind of. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And now I need you down and down some more. And then you're going to turn your way into Nook Metro. Which is its own problem. Uh, you're going to have trouble getting down there. But this is why I bought this land ages ago, so I'd be able to do this. Do I want people to get service here if need be? Nah. It's a pretty swift route. They can just go and get servicing as they need it. Alright, that is a pretty dang sweet metro setup, if I dare say so myself. I can start selling the land that I bought, then let Greenland continue to use it for their own nefarious deeds. There we go. Mm-hmm. Set up the last of the metros and give them their names and we should be good to go. Upper Greenland and Greenland Station are going to have a bit of a crisscross, but I expect Greenland to grow out more in this direction. If Greenland starts going out here, then my god, I don't know what I'm going to do for them in terms of uh, helping them with their packs, but we'll have to figure it out. Right, we have names coming in. Thank you. Let's get going with them. We need a Hanak. Metro. We need ourselves a Upper Navik Metro. How many people live in these godforsaken places? A Pamut Metro. At least while this is going on, I'm continuing to make money. Again, we need about two billion dollars to keep South America on life support. Uh, Atu Metro. Atu. Wasn't that a deity in Danganronpa 2? Uh, Kakarot? <laughs> You're making this up now. Okay, I suppose all names are made up. We all already have a Paimu, I'll need to look into that then. Satut Metro. Yeah, thinking about it, I put in Paimu, it did feel familiar, didn't it? Could you elevate Mount Everest? I could. We can elevate up to a pretty high height here. I don't know exactly how high. Um, Akunak Metro. We're not done yet, folks. We still need one more here. And I'm not calling it Karakiyunlu. How far along can you come? Ooh, well, that's nice. You're going to want to come out that way. No, no, they won't. they're not going to want to come out that way. It's a superfluous road right there. It's here they'd want to come out, but they cannot. Uh, Napa Sop Metro. Right, we shouldn't need any more Greenlander names for some time. But what we will need are trains running on this metro, and signals. Mm, yeah, I do need signals. Doing this wouldn't really work with um, with vanilla signaling. Because I wouldn't be able to do it through the tunnels. Mm 
In fact, this would be a signal-less setup, which probably wouldn't be great for me. Okay, I think I've got it all signaled, and I even think I've got it signaled correctly. It's going to go around... Uh, clockwise? Yeah, the way the clock goes. Right. Let's start with the passengers, shall we? It's very simple. Go there, 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 there. Should be eight stops in total, then plus one for service if needed. We want you automated, and I'm going to want probably eight of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I want the male guys, which I'll probably also want eight of. That's going to get a little awkward, but okay. Hopefully they space themselves out properly. They might not. Right. You are going to be sharing orders with them, which you can, which is excellent. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do, 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 do. Can I switch your orders at all? No. Hmm. I can already see this causing problems with them not automating out the way I want them to. Right, don't worry though, I have a plan, and it's a good one. But it might not be very good. I'm gonna sell most of the tram, uh, most of the trains that I just made. Until I'm left with only two. Then I'm going to clone them. You, 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 you. Uh, I wish it told me the number that I had. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah. going in the order that I'm wanting it here. Tell you what, spacing this out better would like this would help us out. Where's it going on the list that I do that? Hmm. <laughs> I don't I don't understand this list anymore. Whatever. There. Activate. Let's see if you remain spade, uh, spaced out. You're right, these signals are the wrong way around, aren't they? So they're going to come up and over and in for that uh, maintenance. And we can see little shadows of those uh, trains running around. Little metro trains. Now, in a way, it's a shame because all this land is not being used at all, but it will be. And this enhanced growth of... Well, actually, Jinx. Just as enhanced as it can get. The tunnel is still wrong. Really? Looks pretty good to me. They're flowing fine. They come through to there, through to there, through to there. They make their way around. Ah, the tunnel. The tunnel is wrong. There we go. Now they can go through the tunnel. That explains why they were all going in for maintenance. I mean, I do want them alt alternating, but it's not a huge deal if they don't. I couldn't help but notice that those are all male trams going through, aren't they? Uh, hard to say. They all look the same, don't they? Oh, what I assumed was male trams was not. Oh, at a glance they look the same. Anyway, that is overkill, but it's there for when Greenland expands. We're thinking about the future here. And when they do grow, I will feel warm and fuzzy knowing that they already have a state-of-the-art PAX network waiting for them. The question is, is the Southern Greenland PAX network holding up? 
We'll take a spot check on the station. Actually, I might as well just check all the stations, right? If any of them have, say, over 200 passengers or mail, then I know they are being under fulfilled. I'm not too worried about seeing clog ups like this. It's probably going to naturally happen due to breakdowns and whatnot. Or it could be anyone having a malfunction that lowers their maximum speed. That's okay, they go in for maintenance as they need it. And just to be sure, their vehicle depot is not overloading there. The maintenance period for road vehicles is uh, reasonable enough that they should be able to do several laps before they need to go in for maintenance. But dang, look at that. Greenland just is so pampered. Incredible set of inner city links. Central is well taken care of. They have their own airport. They have multiple docks. They have all the raw goods coming out. And they are a hefty exporter of food and goods and alcohol. Not only that, the ratings are pretty excellent around here. I always feel that those goods pile up a bit too much, but that's exactly why we have these uh, sand and chemical cruisers. You pick up goods on the way back? Yeah, you do. Okay, the chemical cruisers also take the goods. Just as well, because damn, do we get the goods. Mm-mm-mm. Still feel like not enough goods come out of here. What would I have? A dedicated goods convoy that also hauls them over to Labrador? And I thought I already had that, but no, I've got... Uh, Hmm, alcohol people that run empty. Why don't I just have you refit to available goods? There's always going to be food, goods, or alcohol there. I've never tried refit to available. Let's see, you guys are meant to do... Are you meant to do food? I thought I had ones that are meant to do alcohol. Those are the ones I'm more concerned about because food's less of an issue. You love corny voice acting from the 90s? Sure, why not? Corny is good if it doesn't take itself too seriously. Yeah, the goods still back up a bit too much. Coming in with those chemicals, you offload the chemicals, you pick up the goods. Ugh, it's a problem that balances itself out. Occasionally the goods amount uh, goes a little too high. It drops down, there are fewer goods, they pick up what's left and away they go. Still doesn't change the fact that there are mountains of goods flowing out of Greenland's glassworks, so it's not too much for us to be concerned about. I do want to make sure that these farms that we linked up to Greenland are working fine, and I always want to keep my eyes open for new opportunities for linking more goods into Greenland. I am shocked that... Oh, right. I was wondering why there was over a hundred livestock waiting there, but no, they are actively being piled into the... piled into the train and ready and waiting to be taken to a magical, mystical place. Mm, there's not enough... not enough farm goods being taken over there. You're meant to be gung-ho, but you don't give me enough farm supplies. But surely that number is going to increase because of how much I see to it. Surely. You'd think the numbers kind of balance out if they all get seen to, right? No. Farm supplies are just always under-produced, really? Let's take a third place to check that. Oh. Interesting. Insufficient farm supplies being produced per month to keep these guys... Oh, really? 357 farm supplies. That's a thousand... Uh, a thousand every three months. You'd think the... I think the farms would share them, right? I'll tell you what, I bet my problem is that there's too much uh, being brought to you. You get oversupplied with this stuff. Uh, with the farm supplies. So you are actually going to go to Depot and be destroyed. Well, actually, not destroyed. I'm going to have you... Stop sharing your orders. Get rid of your orders. And I'm actually going to have you get on those orders instead. You're going to assist the southern farms. 
because the southern farms clearly don't get quite enough to stay in gung-ho mode all the time. Enhanced is nice, but I want all of those delicious... what are they again? <laughs> Horses and pigs over to Greenland to be chopped up. Yeah, I know, I, I generally shelve Arnold's ideas, because they're all going to be terrible. But every so often people that have terrible ideas have great ideas, so it's a dangerous, dangerous assumption to make. I like the station design. It definitely would crumble under pressure from lots of trains coming in, but given the awkwardness of positioning, I couldn't push the station tiles any further in this direction. And this is her only reasonable way to come in. Eh, not really. I suppose we could have come out more from the north and swooped around, but I like this. It's a vague cock and bollocks design of it, which is just befitting. Especially around the cider mill here. Keep that alcohol flowing, please. I just love seeing these things coming in with all this dosh for me. Grab the food, give me the chemicals. Hope that there's no spillage around here. Boats are great. I love their ethereal nature and their enormous capacities. Trains can compete in a lot of ways, but they just cannot beat the amount of capacity these boats have and the throughput. And the speed of my uh, speed of my trains here definitely suffers. Making this an electric line was a huge waste of money. That's a shame they slither out of here and don't get up to full speed by the time they come out. I should have leveled this out more to give us more space, but I didn't, and it's not busy enough for me to worry about that. What I would consider is if there are any more resources to be brought along this way to uh, further plug into Greenland. The food is probably infinitely scalable. In fact, I have so much food coming in here that maybe I'm going to want more of the, uh, the food liners. Wouldn't hurt to be ready, because I do plan on bringing in more food to Greenland whenever possible. I swear there was something around here. Oh yeah, there was this, the Orchard and Piggery. But it's just a regular producer there, I don't think I want to link you up. Would be nice if Nunavut had more industry popping up in the north here. You could truck some food into Greenland. No, he does say Greenland. No, Greenland, okay. Surely there's a hotel and or general store. Uh, there's no real need to though. Um, Greenland is already well serviced by alcohol. Does, it, does Greenland also get food? It doesn't give me the breakdown here, but I would be surprised if every month they get 2,500 units of alcohol coming in, considering that they all come in by plane. I mean, your capacity for alcohol is only 225, so either these, uh, either these planes can make two journeys a month, and I don't think they're that fast, or I do have food or goods coming in from some other way, but it's no big deal. They get all they need, and these are the things they need the least of out of everything, so it's fine. No room for a hotel or a store, they get in the way of all the metro stations. Actually, if I gave Greenland a hotel, it would um, it would make this metro station a bit more um, reasonable in its existence at this point. Because currently only two metro stations actually pick up any passengers. Yeah, yeah, everything's outside of your range there. Uh, also, I can't give them a hotel, they already have a hotel. Uh, can they have multiple hotels, I wonder? And I do wonder. Normally you try to found an industry and it says, this city already has this industry. We'll see if that's still the case here. Yeah, only one hotel allowed per town, same goes for all industries. So we just have to wait for Greenland to naturally expand, but it feels good. Normally you're chasing your packs, they grow and you need to put your, in, uh, put your infrastructure around them, not Greenland. Greenland is growing around my network and it feels so good. They're even growing around this airport. Downside I suppose is that the Greenland, uh, Greenland airport only takes mail, it does not take um, passengers, nor do I intend for it to, to take passengers. But I really would love Metropolitan, it has two runways instead of one. Twice the throughput is good throughput. That's still not enough alcohol. What is your problem, Alaska? 
I'm dumping all this fruit here. And you've got high ratings, so you're making it into as much alcohol as possible. I think the problem is the orchards. It doesn't have gung-ho production, so it's not... Um, it's not making triple the fruit. But these farming supplies are unexploited. I could make that gung-ho for more alcohol to Greenland. Not that it's needed, as we saw Greenland gets plenty of alcohol, food and goods, but I just feel so wrong having the dedicated plane network for alcohol and barely having it justify the cost of the infrastructure. So if we look at the infrastructure cost for our airports, airports 1.4 million a year. Last year those planes made 1.6 million. Subway to nowhere is level of infrastructure foresight I wish for in real life. Nobody would take that kind of plunge, I'm sure. So there you go. Well, you're half full, but I wish you were fully full. And you certainly go at a good enough speed that we don't need to worry about um, not making the maximum money on your journey there. Right, what would Brian Boitano do? What he would do is check and see if these can be refitted for not fruit. Yes, I've got an idea, and it's a, it's a good one. They're all good ideas, but this one's good. Alaska Valley, give you a place for maintenance if you need. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a ship set up for farming supplies. Just a modest sized one should suffice. And then again, big is good. Vehicle ferry. Um, really does not need to be fast, you know. But it's hard to argue with that capacity. Anyway, you simply pull load cargo over there. And then you go to the Alaska docks where you unload and, and leave empty and back and forth. Easy peasy. Then these fruit trucks at the Alaska Orchard. Well, first off I need to make sure they can be refritted. What are you? Uh, ooh, refrigerated trucks. Probably not what I'm looking for. It's not even that, it's the Merivale one, isn't it? Yeah, not what I need. I need fruit, but also farm supplies. A courier truck? Only carries 25 tons, this one does 30. But you, you go at a staggering 120 kilometers per hour, which is pretty cool. And you take both of what I need. Right, we're doing Goldmire courier trucks then. And we're also... Hmm... Can I make you guys one way, by the way? Right, I would like to take our fruity road vehicles, which, ah, jeez. Ah, jeez, ah, jeez. Um, some of them are the guys over there. Whatever, let's change them all so they're mega fast. Replace these vehicles with that suspicious looking Goldmire courier truck. And we can also take these guys and tell them all to go for a servicing. That way they'll all go and switch out. Da 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 da. And now we're going to give them that order at the Alaska or uh, Orchards. We want them to refit to fruit. And then when they're at the Alaska docks, we want them to refit to farm supplies. They'll collect the farm supplies that are dropped off by the boat. Has the boat already been and gone? No, because I never activated it. There we go. Now you'll actually start pumping out those gung-ho farm supplies for me. A bit slow, but once they get there it'll all be fine. You're on your way back, so hopefully you're fitted for farm supplies. Look at you go! Losing speed on the corner and the uphill, but we can live with that. Look at 
those guys vroom vroom around. Now I suspect I'm going to need more of them, because this is going to be a gung-ho fruit supply now. And they're just on automated spreading out, aren't they? Yep, but that's okay. As soon as we have somebody start bringing in those farming supplies, which is taking its sweet time, but that's okay. I'm curious if we make any money on your transfer. Go back, I think I saw a dick for. Uh, I see where that's going, Rick. I had to double check just in case that was a truck. Americans do love to call things dick. That's a good strong name. There we go, we've got the transfer going, and there's going to be a little bit of rating drop for the farm supplies because of the time it takes you to go back there and back again, but nothing to be worth our time. You go and pick up the goods, all is well. I'm also going to make sure this is one way. Uh, one way. There we go. And now, when you start dropping off the supplies here, for actual money, wow, decent money as well. Uh, these guys are now gung-ho, and next month, bang, oh bang. There we go, the fruit should hopefully either start piling up, or our vehicles will take good care of it. Yeah, looking at it, this was overkill in terms of the size of the, um, the depot. Just in case... I will add a few more. I will add six more. They're not that expensive to run, are they? 20,000 a year actually isn't that cheap, but still. I just want all that fruit coming in. I want the alcohol from that fruit. And that alcohol gets picked up by our plane. Glop. And away it goes. So there we go, that has a few knock-on effects. I'm making money and hopefully improving the output of farm supplies here. Although I'm very suspicious. I'm starting to think some furs industries don't just grow due to being uh, seen to. I don't know, need to look into that. Maybe there's some kind of community of people that know these this game and these mods inside out. Anyway, if nothing else, it profiteers off of those farming supplies. Uh, don't pay attention to that. It's do oh god, actually, maybe he isn't doing that great. Spends a lot of time sitting around. I could definitely use a much cheaper vehicle for you, couldn't I? Yeah, you spend a lot of time sitting around. Whatever, not important. Uh, I'll somewhat profiteer off of those farm supplies. We'll have more fruit, which again we profit off of, and then alcohol so that our planes run even better gulping up that alcohol and away they go with it. And on top of that, if for some Greenland for some reason Greenland didn't feel like they were getting enough booze, they certainly are now. There we go. Napa Sox finally getting a bit of coverage. So now we have three metro stations that actually do service someone. I think the game does overdo sound effects at uh, to some degree, and yeah, look at that red. It's kind of it kind of hurts to look at, don't you think? Maybe it's just me. I'm very sensitive to bright things. Mm -hmm. How are you looking in terms of packs movement? There we go. So we were struggling at about one third of the packs being moved around, and now look at us. We are very healthily up there. It'll be a long time before that drops off to the point where we can't uh, get enough of them. And proportionally, we should do even better. There are gaps in this network here that we're not seeing to, but there are not a lot of gaps, if any gaps, for this. Okay, tiny little bits in the center parts here, but as it grows, we should have more and more of the packs taken care of proportionally. It's a very gaudy red. Yeah. I think red just stands out because Generally, the color scheme is so muted in this game. I think dark, uh, dark blues, dark greens, browns, and then this red comes along. I think it's because it's such an inorganic color compared to everything else this game uses. Oh well, the the worst culprits are these uh, hideous bridges. 
Okay, I think we've fiddled around with money making and infrastructure for cargo long enough. Let's finish off North America. We have very few places to link up. It should be an easy job, but we still need to get it done. First off is Nova Scotia. I can't imagine Nova Scotia being all that enormous, so let's just give it a wee one. No, we should make them medium, because if they're wee, they might spawn so small that they don't grow at all. Uh, Nova Scotia. Random layout, definitely not a city, and... Can I just put you here? Sight unusable. I'll be the judge of that. There you grow. That's quite the Nova Scotia to pop out. God knows how they're going to grow. But they still need to be uh, brought into the greater Pax Americana. As I've said, I'm not allowed to establish any new city without folding it into the Pax Americana. And that specifically means that it has to join up to the Great American Railway. The one that stretches from California to Maryland and has all the offshoots. Doesn't necessarily have to be into it by rail. For example, the Caribbean islands here are serviced by boats that take them to the USCA. And that brings them into the Pax Americana via Mexico into Arizona. I will eventually link them up to probably Maryland and Florida. But Florida itself is long overdue being folded into the Great Collective. It's just Florida does its own thing and it does it very well. I don't even know how. I mean, Florida has the most bare bones public network it could possibly have. These little brass monkeys and uh, double decker buses just don't even cover everything here. But really, Florida's only there so I can exploit the boneyard. Oh, goodness. Almost unthinkably, the boneyard is overflowing, so we need even more boats to take care of it. Here's another six. And that's at low, um, low amount transported. That rating will grow as we have more boats join in for that. Hopefully I don't have a similar problem down in Terra de Fuego. No, we got the alcohol. How are these ships doing? Four years and lifetime earnings already seven million dollars. I love to see it. Red is contrasting to the green grass background. I wonder if there's a way to just change that red, just mute it down a bit. It's so overpowering. Rech, Nova Scotia. Really, I just need you linked into Quebec. I sincerely doubt you're going to grow to be anything that amazing of your own accord. Uh, but how? How, how, how do we link you into Quebec? There are plenty of options, but which one do we like? I kind of like the idea of the a little crisscross bridge running into a modest railway here. So if we make a two-track, five-length railway station right here... And yeah, this is Stronghold music again. I know you're. I know you're wondering. That doesn't poke in enough. What if we just didn't have some of this, and had a bit more of that, and a bit less of you, and a bit more of this? Ooh, Neptune doesn't love coming here. I could flatten you out if you're so desiring. A bit more? Can I be that cheeky? If you're gonna be a little cheeky. You should go all the way, right? Flatland require. Oh, what, what if this isn't flat enough for you? There we go. Yeah. Feels bad spending all that money on Nova Scotia and just eradicating most of it, but I wanted good coverage with my train station. Covers almost all of Nova Scotia. That's just what we're looking for. And let's get you crisscrossed here. Uh, I don't like that. Let's try and even you out a bit more. Give you the wee crissy cross and. Actually, I was thinking of going over, but I could honestly go under here. That is a long, long bit of um, tunnel. Very expensive in maintenance to have long tunnels. That's cool, though. We can handle it. We'll do anything for Nova Scotia. 
probably, within reason. Right, you still need to be connected up here. Yeah, it's actually a pretty poor place to put you, isn't it? Probably better to hug you up a little tighter in case I want that other space for another station. Unfortunately, this is now going to cause me issues, isn't it? Well, not necessarily. You can still crisscross. And then you just gotta come down here. And then make a... Uh, make a turn that would snap any real train in half, but we don't talk about that in Open TTD. We accept the limitations of the 45 degree turns. And it's very, very simple. Out you go that way. Out you go that way. And what about service? What about service? Um... we do a somewhat more elaborate run around here where they actually come and get their service done like so someone someone somewhere will like this get over this somehow, but it might be a little high for it. What it, I wonder, I wonder. Oh man, I can't crisscross on a slope thing. Hmm. But what if I could? Let's just do the same thing, but coming out a bit more. Get ourselves our maintenance. Bear with me, I just want to do it because I think it's kind of cool. Probably extremely dangerous. I don't know if this is going to be causing us some problems, probably. Could this potentially lead to a deadlock? Don't know. Jake, how full is a RimWorld meter? DLC 10 state not long. Um. Hmm. So these are pointing the wrong way around, aren't they? There we go. Uh, don't know. With RimWorld, I kind of want the DLC to mellow out a bit so the mods can catch up and the uh, initial issues of the release can be ironed out. Ideology and the other one certainly needed their own time. I don't know if this is going to work, but I want to try it anyway. Right, let's get ourselves those new vehicles. What do we have? Electro Diesel. Does that run on... Well, it's going to run on diesel, right? But what do we have for packs here? Anyway, I won't be covering it on release, that's for sure. But probably shortly after, when mods and things have caught up, I can see that happening. This is a booster. I wonder if it doesn't work on its own. I don't know, but it's like, ooh, the Falcon. I think I've been I've been using the Dragon so far. Though maybe I should just. Uh, clone an existing train. They seem to work just fine. And then I just check what uh, what you're all about. Okay, we're using the Firebird diesel train. That doesn't seem right. But whatever. I'm sure it'll do the job just marvelously. Nova Scotia. 
to Quebec Central and go to the train depot if and only if you need any kind of maintenance. And we're going to want uh, yeah, four of you running this. And let's just see how that goes. Goes out and around just fine. Now let's imagine you needed maintenance. And let's imagine that you are followed by someone else that needs maintenance. It goes around, it really slows down there a bit, which is a little unfortunate. On comes our maintenance needing friend. You're all well and good, thanks for having maintenance, out you go. Now, don't crash on me, because that would be unpleasant. You've already reserved that, so you come to a pause here. You go in there, and then once that is no longer taken care of, in you go. Elegant. I mean, someone somewhere is going to have a problem with this, but not me. Although I'm sure we'll be made aware if there's a horrible crash and all of that. How are you feeling, Nova Scotia? I'm sure Nova Scotia's fine. I'll tell you what, though, I can delete that sign, though. It could technically deadlock if three maintain... If three time maint well enough. So if someone's coming out... But if someone's coming out, someone can already be going in. No, no, that's not true at all. That's not true at all. Someone could be coming out and stopped here. Mm, I'm not convinced. Not convinced. Well, you know what? Let's try it. You, stop. Oh, too late. Okay, we'll grab the next one then. You there. Stop right there, Yuan Shao. Okay. Let's say go to maintenance. Oh, well, well, okay. You do go to maintenance. I think by clicking it a second time I ended it. So this is worst case scenario according to Marvin. Three of them need to go for maintenance at once. Except you should be coming out of there. Okay, there's enough space for you to enter though. I suspect if they had tried to come in, that would be a problem, because then they'd be blocking this way. So to that effect, what should happen is that I should eliminate this signal. That way they'll never wait here. They will always wait here until this is free. Hopefully that doesn't just cause crashes, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Not sure how much of a clown car depots are for maintenance. Yes, but you block the main line. Eh, only if someone is coming out here. And even then, this is not the busiest line in the world. If it was a real busy line, like one of my main lines, say, going to South America, there's no way I'd have a maintenance thing like this. I just wanted to try something different since the the entrance to Nova Scotia was so mm, unusually fernickety. Nova Scotia does not deserve better. That's not fair. Anyway, Nova Scotia, you want fish, fruit, or livestock? I sincerely doubt you'll get any of those. I think when it comes to those goods, I'm only going to care about the star children. And that includes Tierra de Fuego. It's big. It's out of control. It wants chemicals, engineering supplies, or steel now, and it doesn't have the capacity for any of those. I could give it a steel yard, or I could give it a... something like a sand bank? No, I can't give it raw. I can't give it raw goods producers, can I? Sand bank comes under that. Chemicals are needed in a glass works, I think. Maybe a metal workshop as well. Yeah. But there's no port around here to bring chemicals to them. It's one thing that South America incredibly lacks our raw resources. If we look at the map of the world and check all industries here, goodness there's not a lot. 
Hey, they finally got some orchards going on, but we already bring some food down to them. What interests me the most are ports. They're incredibly powerful. And we do have one, two, three, four, five of them in North America. In fact, we don't have any across the rest of the world now. Fascinating. Mm, but we said Tierra, uh, Tierra de Fuego will be one of our super metropoli, so it still needs one of these goods. It does produce steel, so if I gave it a steel industry that will use that, then that should be okay. But, and there's always a but, it, um... Hmm. It'll take away the steel that these guys already bring back up. So look at that, they unload their massive amounts of goods. It's instantly turned into steel. It could be turned into more steel. Can I do a double check on the map and see if we finally managed to get ourselves a well-placed coal mine? No, no new New World coal mines. What about iron mines? The game just hates giving me resources in the New World now, especially South America. Oh, the beating hearth of Murica is doing amazing because I sorted out the god-awful steel input and output here. It is backing up in terms of steel over here, though. That tells me I need more steel haulers. Who hauls steel? You do steel refitting. I think they all just do uh, do refitting stuff, don't they? Refit to steel, refit to scrap metal. Refit to scrap metal. I don't know why they have different orders. It was probably something that made sense to me at the time. Point is, there's not enough steel coming out of here, so... More. There we go. Drink that steel. Mmm. America demands it. But yes, the, beef, the beating hearth of America puts out an ungodly amount of steel. And God knows what we're even making that into. We use a stamp and plate, but we don't elaborate further. Old Jake was surely right. Mm -hmm. Let's not question that. Texas is still doing very well just with its own local tax transportation, but I think Texas gets goods, doesn't it? Yeah, it gets uh, fish, fruit, or livestock, I forget which. And I do like a big Texas because it gives me a big scrapyard to use. Why is its rating so... Oh, good lord. You're meant to be bringing all that scrap to the beating hearth, and you don't bring enough of it. Right, well that's easily solved. More. Uh, they probably went out to the other direction first, didn't they? Uh, either that or I accidentally made coal rather than, uh, than the, uh, the scrappies here. Still a lot of scrap metal though. Yeah, just one lane, bro. Just one more lane. Where's the colliery again? It was around here, was it not? Ah, there we go. Nice and backed up as expected. It's at gung ho, but I think I just have way too many of these um, of these trucks now. They're good and fast and have decent um, decent capacity, so. What's my what's my best way around this? I could send them all to a depot and then just get rid of lots of them. Yeah, I'll just send to depot and purge quite a few. Right. You guys can get back to it. I will purge 15 of you. And then the rest of you can get back to your jobs. Uh, I think what we have is sufficient, so I'll purge the rest of you as well. And there was still somebody in a depot that I missed. I'm sure the game will pop up periodically and tell me about them, though. 
Did we handle Texas's scrapyard? No, I don't actually think I duplicated the right vehicle. I mean, you guys are the right one, right? You go to the Texas scrapyard, and you are equipped for the right thing, right? Yeah, scrap metal. What's your problem, guys? Get out there and get me that scrap metal. There we go. Start to be taken care of. Dark Young feigning his interest in Open TTD. It's going very well, I'll have you know. Nova Scotia is up and running. It's even growing periodically. You know what would make it grow better? Giant statue of me. And I don't know where it went. Ah, there it is. Overlooking the station of Nova Scotia. I do quite like this design. It does just barely clear the main line in time. And it doesn't disrupt the main line coming back in. Oh my goodness, that's, dare I say, elegant. Sweet. And you're not backed up with people, are you? No, far from it. How about you? I'm actually very impressed at how the PAX network is holding up. There must be some places that are out the door with uh, passengers, though. Let's... The passengers sort by awaiting cargo. Terra de Fuego is backed up massively. And that's because they want to go to the plazas, not because they want to go to other places. So that tells me that, unsurprisingly, the uh, uh, ten times growth of Terra de Fuego has been unkind to its existing PAX network. But, when in doubt, just multiply and move on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On you go. Ring a ding ding. And that should eat its way through those passengers and mail. As they get through that. One round, two round. As long as it's trending down, it's okay. It's kind of stuck at three seven, three five. Go down faster, damn you. Yeah, it's kind of trending down, so I'll accept that. Is this Greenland South? In a manner of speaking, yes. It's going to be our, or it is our next uh, project for making huge. The downside is it doesn't have any chemicals, engineering supplies, or steel, and no alcohol, food, or goods. The food could actually be taken care of, couldn't it? Because we have the fish market here. Oh, Cribbins, we've been bringing that fish here and we haven't actually been moving the food. I think I said I'd move the food and in the end I did not. Hmm. Okay, well that's something that's going to be fixed here and now. Let's get that food down there. Best thing for bringing food around at reasonable speed. Tiger Shark is fast. But it's very low capacity. Although I do want low capacity. The Hammerhead's capacity is too large for regular movement. Might be the tiger head. Yeah, let's do it, tiger head. We want you to go to the fish market, down to the boy, the other boy. Didn't want to click on that ship because then it would have um, copied its orders. Down here, and then we run into a small problem. We don't know if they actually want food here. They say they do. Ah, of course, there's a hotel here. We know we're okay then. All right, then go and. Dump your food and then head on back. And I will want you timetabled for this. And I want a bunch of you doing it. How many is a bunch? I don't know. Activate timetable and let's say... Eight of you. I should space it out nicely. Hopefully the shoals are being well taken care of. They are. They don't seem to be growing very much, but... Again, I need to look into how growth works for fares economies. Just look at that. Way more boats than we need. Still making profit, but I could definitely do with fewer of them. To the point where I'm going to take two of them and just tell them to head on back from here. And then purge them. And I will do the same for you two. Off you go. And just purge. There we go. Feels like I'm running a company here. 
Ruthlessly efficient. They're no longer needed, so you must go. Where are those boats that I just made? I did activate them, right? Yes, it's just that they are busy trying to space themselves out by making the journey a few times. That's okay, though. That will get Terra de Fuego its food, but it does not solve the chemicals, engineer supply, or steel problem. Oh, hello. They got their own shoals. Not really sure I want to bring those over, though. I'll keep those around, though. Might be useful in the future. The problem is... There are all these industries over in the old world, which just spawn. There's nothing I can do to stop them, but just destroy them. And it's going to stop... Oh god, collieries. Putting collieries just where I don't want them. Such a... such a cruel device. But yeah, between the saves I go to the old world and I delete these... Um, delete these industries that pop up. Eventually, that won't be a problem, because eventually we'll be everywhere in the world, but right now, in case you don't understand why I'm deleting these, it's doing things like making Greenland's orchard and piggery over in uh, Africa, because technically that's closer to Greenland than any other city, and it's a free space to spawn it. The game doesn't, for some reason, doesn't do any kind of distance checks to a city when it spawns industry. So yeah, we end up with this stockyard. Whose stockyard is this? Dominican Republic's African stockyard. I think not. So that can be a bit disheartening, because I really want collieries that I can use, but not these. But it's all the more incentive for us to go colonizing, and once we finish up with South America, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'll put it to a vote. You'll be able to decide if we go to Europe, Oceania, or Africa. I think I'll save Asia for later because it's not really anywhere that's directly accessible from America as we are. Europe is a... Well, Europe's within spitting distance and at this rate Greenland might end up being colonizing Europe of their own devices. God, that's so much PAX. I love it. Yeah, Africa is right there again, especially when we have South America done. And Oceania is simple enough because we can do a bit of leapfrogging off of South Africa to get over there. If I were to do Oceania, I'd establish South Africa as a um, anchor point. Well, we have a city named Scotland spanning all of Great Britain. We'll have a Scotland, an England, and an Ireland, and we'll see who does the best in that battle royale. Kind of like Haiti versus Dominican Republic. In this case, though, both of them are doing terribly, and I don't have a good explanation for why. They both have excellent coverage by their docks. Dominican Republic's 100% covered. Haiti is... Not 100% covered, oddly enough. Is that something we want to improve? I can actually do that. Haiti can have another dock there. Even so, though, the growth rate's pathetic. Jamaica filled up their tiny island pretty fast. Cuba has just constantly failed to grow for reasons that escape me. I mean, I can extend their road in the hopes that that helps them. There you go, Cuba, do something with this. You got all the space you could need. Use it. Mighty of shoals. Unexploited shoals. Lord, I would like those shoals. Grab the old Quantong. We'll tell it to full load there. Go to the boy. Unload your food here. Head back. And we'll have two of them. Since they're on full load, they don't need to be told to um they don't need to be told to timetable. Two is probably overkill, but it's good to always have a boat loading up around here. Keeps the rating better. Your statue hampering natural growth, maybe. Maybe. I don't want to get rid of my statue, though. I like my statue. If Cuba can't handle it, then too bad for them. What's more likely is that Cuba can't handle the rugged terrain around here. Which, again, I could help them with. I could lower this down quite a bit. Give Cuba some actual Lebensraum. 
hills are a huge inconvenience for the AI in terms of uh, spreading themselves. Well, it's, I suppose it's not really an AI issue, it's a gameplay issue. It's very awkward having things built on hills. But here's the thing, there's, there's none of that problem for Haiti and Dominican Republic, they're still floundering about. They can't even grow large enough for me to s supplement their growth with fish and things. They are, they are brought people. Look at all these passengers getting dropped off at cost to me. Then again, via lifetime, we have actually made money Josephine trawlering people over to Haiti and uh, the other Caribbean islands. Yeah, I don't know why it shows that 0 out of 13 passengers. I've certainly delivered them lots of passengers and mail. Same here. Look, I got one coming along right now delivering 15 bags of mail. And even so, it's just going to go, uh, I haven't had any mail, boss. I don't have an explanation for that. But I think that's something we'll see elsewhere, right? Oh, well, not in Florida. <laughs> Florida's had 10,000 passengers moved around. How is that even possible? Who's going there? Basically, I have no idea how this is calculated. What does Greenland have on that? Greenland has had 31,000 passengers and mail delivered, apparently. God knows. I see the no terraforming lobby in Dire Straits. Well... It'd be hell in high water to have anything growing around here without terraforming. Simple tram driving between the two would stimulate some growth. You mean between uh, Haiti and Dominican Republic? Oh, I don't know about that. I'm not sure they'd even approve of such a thing. But anything for Marvin, right? you up with the Haiti docks and meet you up with the Dominican Republic docks I'm blowing that up because it doesn't like having intersections whenever you put down these um, put down these tram stations there we go this won't work without someone actually delivering us trams. And okay, well, we'll just have a simple mail one. We'll go for the faster one. Why not? You go from there to there. And we'll also have a passenger one that does much the same. You go there to there. Activate. Ding, 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 ding. I wasn't thinking it through, but it's a good thing I put the male one in front because the... Um, because of the positioning of the freight one as opposed to the tram one. But between maintenance, that could get completely messed up. Now, are these values going to update? Somewhat doubt they will. I'm also not really seeing anyone getting picked up here. Tiny amounts. Oh, there we go now. The passenger vehicles in front. Turn of the month, any change? 0 out of 7? 0 out of 15? Yeah, I have no idea how those numbers work. Best not to think about it. I give these things all that they need, and it's still not enough. Ah. Hmm. Money situation is looking good. Anyway, I said I was going to link up and colonize all of North America. I didn't get around to it. Not that there's much to do. There's British Columbia and there's Saskatchewan. We'll do both. British Columbia is very simple. It's just going to have a dock connection over to the Wellington docks. It's not very flat here, though, so I'll help them out with that. Because if I didn't help them out with it, the AI would be completely incapable of growing there their village. Sorry, 
denizens of British Columbia if I'm treading all over your ancestors' graves or whatnot, but let's be reasonable. New Worlders don't have ancestors, certainly not ones worth worrying about in terms of desecrating these graves. Right, British Columbia, what are we going to have with you? As I said, just a wee one will do. Found town, small town. British Columbia. Random layout, new town, and there you go. 22, <laughs> that's pathetically small. All right, well, it's on you to grow from there. We'll give British Columbia a pair of docks that way it's actually going to cover most of the island and a very simple way to just tread over to Washington Docks. Washington Docks has its own metro service that brings them over to the Idaho Central and that connects them up with the entire Pax Americana. First thing to do is make the whole island Dutch flat and beautiful. Quite a lot of passengers around here but there's no... Okay, there's no overburdening of uh, the vehicles going this way. I might as well take another quick look at my PAX network to make sure nothing is overburdened. PAX is the one that I really care about, as long as it's not inner city stuff. Passengers, mail... It's getting a little hairy going south out of Arizona. That's slightly overloaded. Otherwise, the PAX network holds very strong. Again, some inner city things that are overburdened. And again, not my problem. I will eventually do a pass around all of America to make sure their inner cities are working fine. But that's a big task and I really want to start colonizing the old world at some point. Still though, what is the problem here? If I had to guess, they're having some issue with... Uh... Well, didn't I fix your orders? No, I didn't make them direct. Probably a bit of clogging happening somewhere along the line, but how? All these passengers wanting to go to Mexico and not enough trains bringing them over. There's space for more trains here, so you'd think we could just add more trains to the network. Why are you going so slow? Yeah, two breakdowns since last time. Go and get some bleeding service. They're not going for service, I beg your pardon. You've had two breakdowns. How, are you, how is your speed not limited now, then? You didn't go for a service. Anyway, I'm seeing plenty more space for trains along this. It doesn't look anywhere near as packed as it could be. So, if it starts from Mexico and then goes to... Um, if it starts from Arizona and goes down to Mexico, then that means you are the one. And we're just going to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 more trains and say off you go. The airports look overburdened from Alaska to Greenland. I should hope not. I don't even do packs. Well, no, I do mail on that, don't I? Uh, the, the alcohol isn't a problem. That's okay. The mail on the way back I could see being a problem, though. Uh, there you are, Greenland. Don't know how I missed you. Probably just too covered in massive buildings. Also... We almost have business over the uh, Saprut Metro. Actually, I'll have to flatten this down a bit so the Metro can make good use of the land above. I love, love, love the network that I've made for Greenland. Simple and effective. Anyway, you were saying that uh, Greenland is oversaturated on the airport. It is not. Don't know why you thought it was. Let's have a look. Let's have a better look. No, that looks pretty green to me, which says that it is saturated or less. Saturated is perfect. Unused is its own problem. This is clogged just because I threw all those new trains in, but that's okay. It'll take care of itself. This is another problem. What's going on down here? No, I need to link up my British Columbia or else I'll forget about it. New ship, very simple. Um, bring passengers quickly between the two places. So just go to docks, go to docks, off you go, and then I will do the same with a small amount of mail very quickly. 
30 bags of mail, that's insufficient. Let's have the, the Quang Tung that can handle a fair few. But what about the Tiger Shark? It's even faster and has decent capacity enough, or decent enough. There you go. Do -do 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 -do. Now, I have a funny feeling that, well they could do a statue of me, but I have a funny feeling that this is going to be insufficient for growing British Columbia. They do generate passengers, so you'd think it might start growing, but... Look, it's got a church, a single house, and their very own rugby field. Turn of the month, is it going to start growing? Town is not growing. Right, tell you what, let me help you out. Oh, oh, why did that turn to 87? And why is it in green? I, I don't understand. I'm going to give it another month and see what happens. I, I think some people are being moved. Look, you just loaded up to 12%. We got 258, so they are trying their damnedest to spawn passengers. There we go, look at that. They now have 12 passengers that want to leave, including one person that wants to go to Tolhun. Four people want to go to Terra, uh, Tierra de Fuego. Nobody wants to go to Greenland, but oh well, fair enough. Greenland's a fair distance. I still don't want to grow, though. I really think we need to grow them to a certain point before they actually start doing anything. For some reason, this setting never saves. Stored and save is a lie. Even if you turn it on, it will turn off next time you try to do it. Anyway, do it. Grow, grow, you bugger. There we go. If it just builds another couple... Oh, no, don't tear down... Don't tear down the rugby stadium. You need that. Alright, there we go. It's kind of building some buildings, so British Columbia should be alright with that. Now, lastly, Sakashwan. I don't just want you, I would quite like a bypass around here. Or, we link you up with your own dedicated route to each of these places so you can spread out whichever way. Well, maybe not whichever way, but uh, Mantioba and Alberta being options for you are reasonable. Could I do, say, something like this? So that we have Alberta running up, stopping in through you. And then you make your way out to here, where you somehow connect up into Mantioba Central. It's unpleasant. Mantioba, we're going to have a bit of a remodeling. Okay. Out you come, and then we'll get you into here. Don't mind me, just pirating this land. Dread to think what my maintenance costs are by now. But I still dread to think that my airplanes aren't paying for them, so no, okay. By switching them out to mail and having them run for a bit, the airports are actually paying for their infrastructure now and then making a tidy million on top of that every year. Which is good, because we need to keep making lots and lots of money. Right, out you come, like so. And then you, just in you go, go. And you'll of course be coming out this route. Very simple way to link up the last of the Canadians. Oh, man, that has such a ring to it. The last of them. Now you 
coming in on that side, that's fine. No special treatment necessary, nor will be given. We come together, come down along here, and they are sorted. However, now we need some maintenance for them. And you know what? I can just have a single maintenance stop around here where they will get if needed. Maybe a little insufficient, but if it if there's really such a problem with slowdown in that, it'll be okay. That I'm sure. Uh, hold on there. I like to do my signaling first. Out you come. Oh, out you come. Signals pointing into station. Along you go. And then along you go. Go figure, it doesn't want to fit in there, but that will. And down you go. Well, with this, North America is certainly going to be done and dusted. very insufficient for getting their um, their maintenance, but so be it. Let's see if we can't steal that train design from somewhere. Can we steal the South American one? There you are. It's a very simple job for you. I want you to go to Mantioba. Oh, oh, crikey. Delete the existing orders. I'm giving you some proper ones. Mantioba. Uh, I need to rename that Mantioba, but that's okay. Back you go, and then over to there, and then there if need be. And that is service if needed. And how many are we going to need on this? I don't know, but six should be plenty, you'd think. Even so, I'm going to make eight. And off you go. Anything else I need to sort out here? I hope not. <laughs> okay, what's the problem here? I still had one errant signal there from when I guffed up the order. And that should be fine. That gets them out. Ooh, not sufficiently to let somebody else in, but probably not my problem. Now, Mantioba Heights is not the right name for you. You are actually... Oh god, did I tell you to go until fool? Whoa, now. Certainly not. I must have been control clicking as I went along. I did want them to go non-stop, though. And you are Saskatchewan Central. And with the pack set up, we can now build the town around it. We'll make it medium-sized. Um, not that stingy around here. And again, I like the random town layout, adds a bit of soul. If we wanted everything to be fully efficient, we would have nothing but 3x3 three three setups, I would dare to say. Fairly sufficiently covered by the station, I like to imagine. And we'll just see how you handle that, Sashuan. I don't have a problem with these being Northwest Territories, uh things here, nor with that being Alberta, so I don't think there's any errant industry to tear down. We'll just see if they can am amount to anything of their own accord. I'm also curious if many people are going to make this change. It is a nice bypass to get to Alberta without taking a long way across the north and switching at Yukon. Similar for anybody who say they want to go from Idaho over to Quebec and they didn't want to do any switching around here or go north to Yukon. They can switch over to this station and head along, and indeed it's being used already. Who is using it? Um, okay, it's people that want to go to Idaho, actually. But where are they from? Oh, we have people from the United States of Central America here already. Oh, good job on them. And still plenty of people generated from the station itself. Love it. 
uh, the uh, destination source. Just keeps everything nice and tidy. If you start by just saying what's your destination, the list gets pretty long pretty fast. And this is a brand new station. What's a really busy station? Arizona. Oh wow, we've got it empty. We are good. Uh, show me a busy station game. Fort Worth Plaza is busy. Wait, Fort Worth Plaza? That's a bad example because that's stuck in Texas. What's a less bad example? Yukon Central. A thousand passengers. And yeah, the list of where they want to go with cargo distribution on is pretty hefty. Surprisingly large amount to want to go to Northwest Territory. So that's why I have via destination source just tells me what their next destination is. So instantly I can go, oh, most of them want to go to Northwest Territories. Meaning that we probably don't have enough trains servicing this. How many trains do we have servicing this? It, it, wrong example. 60 is the wrong number. 20 is the right number. So 20 trains going from Quebec to Yukon is insufficient. What's their first destination? Yukon to Northwest. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to clone that train. I'm going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 more of them. Now go! Choo 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 choo. Go and drink Yukon dry of passengers. There we go. Pax Master right here. Don't want to not give credit where credit is due. Lord Seru noticed my mishap with the signalling. So much to do that mishaps will certainly happen. Oh god, this is a mishap. Look at all these milk trains. Okay, I think I've thoroughly milked these teats to the point of being stalactites. I could probably... Uh, I should probably get rid of all or most of these. Here we go to go to depot. There are too many of you. I need to I need to have a purge. I uh, I added far too many. Five of you should be sufficient. I'll get rid of the rest. Well, even five is probably too many, but hey, there you go. At least it's not as absurdly high as the last event we had in. Did we ever build Ontario and New Brunswick, or have they been consigned to the dustbin? They went to the dustbin. Uh, there was too much overlap between Nova Scotia and uh, New Brunswick, and I'm not even going to pretend to remember where Ontario was. Probably here. I didn't want it to crowd between Michigan and Quebec. Plus, that was giving just a bit too many states to Canada. On the other hand, Baron, I don't know if you've got it in you or not, but I'm going to need a provincial breakup of Russia. The largest landmass on the planet's going to need some real attention. That's not to say it needs to be absolutely full, but I do need some places to put down. Some of them are going to be huge. I wouldn't be surprised if like this entire area has one settlement, but I need my options. Believe it or not, there's supposed to be a third province next to Nova Scotia. But where? Also, Nova Scotia is already growing quite quickly. They have a demand for fish, but they don't have an industry for fish, so... Uh, I could give them a fishy industry, but... Who's going to give it to them? Maybe the Nova Scotia Shoals could give themselves some fish. On you go, then. Let's give Nova Scotia industry. It'll help promote their growth considerably. So, fund industry. We'll give them their own fishing harbour. It will go... Can we put it here? Oh... Um, but it's such a cool place for it. There you go then. Which will of course necessitate a bit of a dock. That's a lock, not a dock. And if I can get it linked up with you to further increase the reach of Nova Scotia to promote more growth. In fact, I could even double dock, give the boats more options and give better growth opportunities. And then it's just a case of getting over to Nova Scotia. I'll give them two halfway houses. I'll give them maintenance by the shoals and halfway and by their homelands here. 
And then we're going to get uh, what kind of production are we looking at out of Nova Scotia? Two two uh, two eight eight two eight eight. Damn, that is good. In that case, let's grab ourselves that fish trawler, the Quang Tung. Don't know what that's based on, but uh, it's a pretty great fishing vessel. Over you go, over you go, dunk it, and back you go go. And I suspect we will do well with three of you. The question is what to do with the food that comes out of Nova Scotia. There's nowhere else that we're really trying to dunk loads of food into. I'm happy to see Maryland grow. Maryland had stunted growth for a long time. But they were, they were given all those chemical fumes in the air to make them big and strong. Okay, gung-ho. Things are piling out. What's the pack situation here? Lots of mail wanting to go around in New York and nowhere near enough little vans taking care of it. Well, I should think not. I've given you barely any of these. Don't worry, I've got your back. More brass monkeys to help you out. Hell, I'll give you more of these as well. Proud those New York cities with uh, lovely diesel fumes. Still have a fair few bat. Nah, it's not that bad. Unless it was a few thousand, then I'd be concerned. And again, lots of passengers want to go to New York. Well, I'm pretty sure this is the brigade coming in right now. Why, oh why, is it not spread out? I have you automated. You're meant to be auto-separating. They just have a very strange idea of separation. Maybe I should change them out for the faster ones. I think I will. They're just a bit too slow and crappy. 31 kilometers per hour. Yeah, let's let's do away with those old crappy ones. They were great in the hands of it, now they gotta go. Packs. They are under my packs network, right? Yeah, and they're the only time that I use them. So let us replace these Frederick things with... Jeez, what exactly? Hmm... Well, it needs to be replaced with something that can carry passengers. Holy crippin', this hammerhead carries a thousand passengers. It doesn't go much faster, though. Maybe I'll just give them the, the nice, snazzy, quick one here. There we go. Start replacing those. And I will also order all of these boats to go for servicing, which will force them to get replaced. And then, look at them go! There we go, the people of New York and Maryland can be excited about getting a real upgrade in their pack service. And they think, what, are we finally going to get a connecting railway? Or maybe one of these trams or subways I've heard of. It's like, no. No, your boat now skims along the water. Would be a pretty cool way of traveling, though. I'd like to... I've been on, um... Would you even call them hover boats? Not really, just the boats with a giant fan on the back. Is that not what these things are? Anyway, uh, you used to be able to just hire them in Florida and uh, and go around alligator infested waters in them, but I haven't noticed that available so much these days. Airboats, yeah, probably not quite the same, but still good fun and obnoxiously loud, which can be cool and fun in its own way. There we go, look at that actual money coming in. Never thought we'd see the day. So with that, North America is complete. I would list all the places, but the map is so cluttered, but maybe I can anyway. There we go, what do we have? We've got Alaska, you can, actually, screw it, this will take forever. You can see them, you can read them. Look at that light green on slightly darker green text for you. There's a little bit of a disservice done in Central America. Mexico is big and I'm sure some people find it very important, but I just felt like putting down one Mexico. It was also early in the campaign where we only had money for one city, so... Too bad. Maybe if Mexico had won the Mexican War, then we'd think about them a bit highly. But no. Thanks to them losing, we end up with Texas and California. So, a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. South America, however, is not done, and we should now have the money to actually make it a reality. We've got a lot of places to put in, and I need to count on them. Venezuela, Trinidad, Tobago, Guyana, Suriname, 
Amazonas, that's five. Para, Serra, Pernambuco, Pahia, Brasilia, Bolivia, 11, Paraguay, Minas Gerais, Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo, Parana, I think that's 16, 17, 18, 19 places. Well, that's $2 billion to make it right there, but... Hmm. Well, some will be small. Actually, only one of them will be small. That's Trinidad and Tobago. TNT will be a poor place. Probably. There's barely anything to put there. But at least I can just very simply give them a... Uh, probably have to be a boat service over to... Um, either Venezuela or Guyana. Just for protocol, Jake, I did not submit two weeks... Oh. There was someone completely different. No way to red list them. Very good at it. You're a bit full of yourself, Arnold. But hey, that can be a good thing. Right. I need a bit more money to extend this, but maybe I could do part of it. Perhaps I could do the outside of it first. That would spare me one, two, three, four hundred million dollars of building up the center. And it would give me the biggest reach outside in terms of resources. If there are shoals or sandbanks that appear around here, at least I can put them to use because it'll be like the uh, Bahia sandbanks over here. I cannot accept things like the Peru shoals over there. Mm -hmm. No Uruguay. We have Uruguay Central already made, we just don't have Uruguay. Same with Argentina. We built these up ages ago. But it is going to be one long line that heads all the way up to Colombia. Potentially, it might make more sense if it stops in maybe Pernambuco. I want that colliery, but I can't justify that being Peru's colliery. What else do we have that is completely unjustifiable? Tarapasa, no, that would have to be Bolivia's or Brasilia's. Peru, yeah, not on my watch, uh, not on my watch. Look, you can have your wonderful orchard and piggery right here, which I'm not sure I'll make use of, but it would be nice to have a dedicated freight line that runs up and down Brazil. In fact, I'll probably need it because Terra de Fuego is going to need to drink up all the resources of South America. How we get it to them, I don't know. Perhaps a freight train can run in through here, and we can have industry here. Not entirely sure yet. Certainly a lot of passengers wanted to get out of here, but the whole train line here is very under underfilled. It's going to need more filling soon enough. Where's your first destination? Colombia to Ecuador, so... Did I already give you guys instructions to stop at depots if need be? Yes, yes I did. Good, and that makes it a lot easier on my conscience to just start cloning you willy-nilly. And you will be cloned willy-nilly. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. And with that, there are 42 trains doing this. 40, in fact. Two are the metro. You're not backing up here at all, are you? No, because I fixed my signaling. And you do auto-separate? You do auto-separate. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay. God damn Brazil, what is this? Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo, and Parana right next to each other. I can only assume with no real infrastructure. Admit you know, if I wouldn't, if I wasn't going to have New Brunswick and um, and Nova Scotia both on the map, why would I have all four of these sharing the same bleeding area? I don't know. Apparently, they're very large and populous, but we can't really have hill dwellers, so I need to flatten this out a bit. I'm sure Brazil cares much about its verdant greenery and glorious rolling hills, but too bad. I might just have one big station with links to all of these, and then we'll see which uh, which one grows to be the best. 
Same with Rio Grande de Sul. You can be a glorified extension of Uruguay. You don't deserve your own station here. This does deserve to be a big tonking station, however. Let's get ourselves the old six tracker. I might even make more. I might make an eight tracker. Sheer amount of people that are going to be in here. Mm, it's hard to justify, so I won't. There we go. And what is this going to be? TBW Central. TBW is probably from one of these places, I don't know. I'm, I'm not warm, I don't keep an active spreadsheet of all the intimate details of community members. And that's going to lead up to Bahia and Pernambuco, which is probably going to be a northern terminal. The Brazilian walls. <laughs> Right, Bahia. Let's get you sorted out as well. It's going to be difficult for Bahia to grow around here, but what's not going to be difficult around here? And then, yeah, you're also going to be a little difficult. Forgive me, I'm just going to take a knife and do a Brazilectomy here. I don't think that was enough of a Brazilectomy. I could chop another layer or two off of you and still be quite happy with it. Oh, maybe a, maybe a layer too much. That, that didn't work out quite how I wanted it to. Never does. Never does. There we go. We'll let nature reclaim some of that so it doesn't look like I really brutalized the place too badly. It's okay, time heals all wounds. Does it though? I think it makes some of them worse. Right. However you cut it, this is going to be the terminal here. And it will need good old terminal space. So you're going to be crossing along here, coming along and then bringing together here. God, I haven't built a terminal so far today. Follow-up question, do I actually want a terminal here? Might be a lot easier just to carry on. There's no good reason why we can't just have a train running all the way up. Even if you dump and turn around. If you just continue going, I don't think there's really going to be any issue. And with that thought, he decided against making Peru North. Peru North? No, Pernambuco. A terminal. It will just pop out and continue its way along uh, northern South America. Let's take Kera. Down with the no terraforming lobby. A good clean run over to Para. Then up its way to Suriname. Are these all meant to be uh, six wide? I guess so. Good on, good on throughput to be that wide. If it's down to four, it just feels a little too insufficient for my needs. And similar story for Guiana. Trinidad and Tobago can find their own way over there. And Venezuela, there you go. Just flatten this out so Venezuela actually has room to grow. I've missed a whole lot. Has Jake announced any bold plans for enormous multi-continent train lines? Or is this continent now at the mercy of the wood economy? There's a limit to how far you can make your train lines uh, in terms of bridging. So I wouldn't be able to bridge over to Europe, for example, unless I rose little bits of land, but I don't want to do that. I, I don't like long train lines, uh, link, long train bridges rather. This is already egregious, but I want it so that I can feed Greenland. Speaking of Greenland, mm, they just don't quite want to be part of Satut Metro. 
But it continues to grow. And it continues to get drowned in resources to facilitate this growth. I still really like this, um... This train station. What I need to do is hoover up more North American resources so that I can justify using it to its capacity. Yeah, Greenland is great, but Terra de Fuego is going to be in hot pursuit. They still don't have their chemicals or things. Chemicals, engineering supplies, and whatnot. I guess I just have to hope that they get another industry around here that I can shunt goods into. No, that's not true. I can build them an industry that uses some of that stuff. I just don't want to. Because chemicals are an awkward thing to bring over without a reasonably nearby port. I think our nearest port is... This one. Oh my. Those engineering supplies and farm supplies are horrifically underutilized. But what uses engineering supplies? Tell me again, game. Is there anything I can build that uses engineering supplies? No, 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 and no. All of these are primary goods producers, so I can't build those myself. Well, I gave it the slightest bit of thought. Do you consider trying Transport Fever games? I will be giving Transport Fever a second shot after this campaign is over. I've played it before, I was not impressed, but I'll be, be trying it again. Simple as. Right, these should all be very simple stations to make. So simple that um, I'm going to be a little saddened that this game doesn't have a copy-paste feature because this is exactly where it would be very handy. The real pain of doing all this isn't so much the stations, it's where I'm going to put the servicing depots. But I reckon I will just do the uh, the barest minimum, and I will tell the trains to use the service depots if they so require or desire. So you're meant to be going down there, so actually we can have you link up and then just go wee. Have you come together like so? to think. In order to leave South America, you are forced to find your own way to Colombia. Never been, never been to South America, period, but I can imagine. Right, come into any of those that you so desire, and similarly... You come... Or rather, you'll be coming out from this end. Uh, no, I'll keep them close together like that. A little bit of a dead zone here, but rather than a big rectangular dead zone there. You'll pop out here, and then it's down from Sarah. Not Sarah, Guiana. I saw the sea in Colombia and just assumed that I was in Kera, but of course I'm not. Right, Suriname. What do we do to you? Poor Guiana's going to be really pressed up against the wall at this rate. Suppose I could have you... Bridge over like so. It's going to be awkward, but I don't see a not awkward solution to this. <laughs> I definitely don't see a not awkward solution to this. Hang on, I might just have one. We 
needs to be coming in here some way, somehow. Gotta remember that's uh, your job to get in that way. Jake, have you oh my god, you have no idea how many times I have been asked about Terra Invictica. No, I'm not interested. It's early access. I have said so many times, and you know this, I don't do early access. You're just being a cheeky bugger, aren't you? Alright, just spoiling the view of South America with our enormous amount of bridges. And it is just a straight up no early access. I don't even go, ooh, early access, let me just fire this up and have a look at it. Maybe I'll want it when... No, it's just early access, instant ignore. I'll have a look at it when it releases, and not a moment before. The exceptions to that are only exceptions to prove the rule. Thinking of it, that included Factorio... I think I actually waited for RimWorld's full release. I choose to believe I did, at least. Now, down to Para, aka Ecuador East. At least the game is churning along during this time, continuing to generate money for me. It's going to be unpleasant for you, you're going to be pressed up against the, the wall here, so to speak. I don't like that. I like you guys getting together as soon as possible. I mean, to that effect, would I want you to come out like so, then only to do that? Seems a little backwards, but at least keeps my, keeps my stuff nice and close together. too much about the the need for maintenance just yet. Uh, and this is a need for bridges though. It's hard to really tell the levels involved though. Depth perception not helping out here. What is that? Getaway viewport. Not at same level. Well what is same level? That is, okay. God, that just makes this little, little dip here just not feel right. Fortunately though, we can bridge along like so, and get rid of the little bump there. And then continue our merry way down to Para. Suspiciously happy music for building around South America here. Gotta remember, South America isn't all Brazil. It's just mostly Brazil. I feel like we've had our opinions coloured thanks to the very colourful characters that we have from Brazil around here. And again, you have to wonder about the kind of place that can spawn them. Shabby. Wish I had another design to try out for this this kind of multi-station, but I can't think of anything that wouldn't just be a variant of this. Did your time working at Paradox decrease your enjoyment of Paradox games or grand strategy? Nope, not at all. I continued to love them for playing and for working on whilst I was there. And for a while after I left. It's 
Is that connected? Yeah, that connects up just fine. I don't play EU4 these days because I feel that I've done everything that that game has to offer. And I don't think any of the new stuff coming out really revamps the game to the point where I would change my mind on that. All the flavor packs and that are all good and well, but mechanically, I've wrung that game dry. But yeah, thank god I can be in the position to have that opinion. If I was still working there and had no alternative, my god, could you imagine having to work on a game that you, uh, you don't really want to play anymore? Yeah, no thanks. I suppose that goes for any job, like having to work on something you don't have any passion for. Oh no, thank you. Be the scariest, uh, scariest day imaginable for me if I woke up one day and just went, I hate video games. What would I do? Like, what in the world would I do? Fortunately, though, I don't perceive that being a risk even remotely. Be scary though, wouldn't it? I'd have to ask Marvin what that's like. You'd boot up RimWorld and get hooked, that's what you'd do. <laughs> I do love me some RimWorld. Yeah, I need to think what to do with the new holy cribbins. Seems like late 1978 is the day of a lot of new things. The coal hauler, a large aeroplane. I wonder if I could switch out my existing um, alcohol jet for that. Okay, Ching's done all that and it's only connecting up northern South America. It's, um, east to southern South America still awaits us. I feel like I've messed some of this up. I've kind of gone a bit uh, brain dead making these. Probably because I haven't had my dindons. Isn't that sort of what happened to Sawyer after working on these games and then he hated games? I don't know. I mean, I think he... I was reading some... Was I reading something? I might have imagined it. I thought he was getting a bit disillusioned with games as a whole, with, uh, with them becoming too violent and action-y, but... Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to posit that I know the opinions of people that I don't know whatsoever. And we get here. I don't delete rivers, don't like that kind of terraforming going on, but come now. Where does that even flow to or from? Maybe I actually accidentally trimmed it off earlier without realizing it. But well, too bad for them. give these guys a large area here. What am I doing? This is completely the wrong way to be coming in for you. You should be coming in like so. That makes so much more sense. There we go. Give Paranabuco the space it needs to grow around its brand new central. And I will get around to renaming these shortly. Alright, that was more than halfway really because I already linked us up to uh, Uruguay and these guys are just getting TBW Central and nothing beyond that. At least then I'll know exactly where it is. It might be easier if I linked you out this way, huh? Oh, 
I always make them four length here where possible. That gives us access to the steel girdery thing, which is easier to work with. Thank goodness this uh, relaxing playlist. I'd feel under pressure to make this look a lot more exciting than it is if I had uh, something a lot more rock and roll here. Yeah, maybe that's not true. I seldom feel that pressure for anything I stream. does it. Along we come. Ah, oh, man. Just exactly the relaxing way to spend my whatever day it is that I'm after. It's, what, ten, not even ten days, nine days until I do the big emigration. Not even remotely prepared for that, but much of the important stuff is at least taken care of. We go, go. You gonna take your PC this time? No, 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 no. That's a lot of places to drag a PC around with. Mm. Is that gonna work? That will work, I suppose. Excellent. I'll have my laptop. The laptop should be good enough for streaming, although that's something that I will put to the test at some point this week, I reckon. If I suddenly find out that what, for whatever reason it is definitely not up to that task, I'll have to come up with a quick backup plan. Well, that's okay. I'm good at coming up with nonsense on the fly. That red color, man. Holy cribbins. TBW Central's going to have a lot of bits coming out of it, I reckon. Although, how am I... These are essentially going to be one city merged into one. Why is Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo even a different city? I wonder if they have uh, ridiculous rivalries between themselves. Oh, I'd probably be probably reminded that they are not trivial in any way. Gonna connect up. Of course, that's gonna connect up. Sweet. All right, TBW Central. We just need you down to Uruguay, and we are good to go. Uh, that was the wrong part to have one bit sticking out of. Unnecessary. Only one of them was explored in January. Where are you moving to again? Well, I'm initially moving into Austria. I will be traveling around Austria, trying to find where there is uh, suitable for living more long term. I'll give Hungary the same treatment, and if the stars align, I'll do the same for Japan. After a few months of that, I suspect I'll have somewhere in mind, and I go, yeah, this place is perfect, and then I suspect I will rent somewhere there for a few months. A few months. Uh, more than a few months, considerably more. A couple of years, maybe. And then, if after a couple of years I, I don't pull a Sweden, then that'll be game, set, and match. I like this one. I need to make a sharp turn out. I like that. Yeah, they come in like so, so why not just have them do something like that? That still gets them all in rapidly quick. Yeah, just do it that way. Don't sweat the small stuff. Of 
very courageous, hardly. I've done more courageous slash stupid things before in terms of moving. I've moved into cities uh, without even having seen, well, anything of the place and nothing of the home that I'm going to be living in. One time I just, uh, my friend went to have a look at it and if he said it was okay I went for it. In hindsight, terrible. He's an incredibly incompetent individual in many regards, so trusting him for that was a bit of a mistake. And in a way it was, that place was pretty awful. Freezing cold, massively high energy bills, had rising damp in the walls. But hey, come on, we're all young and foolhardy. We could handle it. You're the one poking out at this point, so get you together and then up to Daisy. There's your Uruguay connection. Did you get disillusioned with Sweden or just not what you're looking for? <sighs> Hard to say Sweden really because I spent all my time in Stockholm. But I don't like living in a city. Sweden is way too expensive. The Swedish way of life and thinking just isn't really for me. Work out right. I'm gonna reckon that works out right. We'll see how, we'll see how the signaling goes, and then I'll give it uh, one or two maintenance spots. Despite being a long distance, I don't think it really deserves more than just one or two. So you come out this way, which is already signaled. Up we go. Follow it along, and out we go. Up we go. And out we go. Up we go. I feel like I messed up the signals here. No, I didn't. It was just a feeling after all. Austria will get more expensive. Austria is cheaper than Sweden. Uh, well, I was in Austria and that was my impression. It did feel cheaper than Sweden, even in Vienna. And now Vienna. Vienna's going to be ex well. Vienna is an expensive place, but it was still it still felt cheaper than uh, Stockholm. But more than anything, I just uh, absolutely do not want to live in a city. I'm not a city person. I thought I would be because I grew up in the absolute sticks. There was nothing where I grew up. There were some some farms scattered about, the occasional house, usually with uh, with English runaways there. A lot of English folks move up to rural Scotland to get away from it all. Not a bad choice, really. Got nothing nothing against that at all. So I figured, you know, if you grow up with that, you're going to want to go to the big cities, right? Well, no, no, Stockholm is not a big city and it's still much too big for me. Right, am I still going the right way? The perspective has changed, but I think I'm still signaling correctly. Along we go, along you go. Point in. Point in. And continue on your merry way. Oh god, it even does a switch over. Why did I do that? Just to confuse myself. Probably. Hopefully with all the time it's been passing by, I'll be able to establish these cities, because they're gonna need their uh, they're gonna need their route real soon. I wouldn't live in a city if I was paid to, says Pan. That's kinda how I'm feeling as well. I don't think any amount of money could convince me to stay in somewhere like Krakow for any length of time. Jesus, Poland, get your act together. That was such an unpleasant place to be wandering around in. I feel like this is reverse. No, that's fine. You're coming in that way, that way, and that way. No big deal. And then out you go along there. There, that was what confused me. No, uh, no signals there. Right then. 
That's all well and good, but where in the world do they get maintenance? It's length 5, so it doesn't have to be that extreme. That's a long way to go, though, so... I think there's a lot to be said for them getting maintenance around here. they've got maintenance along this side as well because then I could just have the maintenance being done there and say around here that way it's uh, yeah. not super so I should probably have three stops on one side and three stops on the other so if I also had one around here sufficient. It's still going to block the main line, I think. And then again, they are like... Nah, it'll be fine. Believe. Think of Parappa the Rapper. He just got to believe. Also, wrong signaling. So it's fine. There. There. And something around here would be ideal too. Yeah, no foul to people that like living in cities, but it's not for me. I think the ones at the first depot were wrong as well. It would not surprise me. Uh, where did I even put that first depot? Over here. Yeah, you can even see that they're the wrong way around. S for signal, R for deleting, and bloop, and bloop. There we go, go. And one more for this side, maybe just coming out of Uruguay. Okay, groovy. Now it just needs it on the other side. It will signal it correctly. Gotta remember to add these as part of the orders as well. This is a pretty good place for it, because they won't have much speed coming out of this station, so they're not gonna cause anybody any grief, or so I hope. Oh boy. This might seem like a lot of work, but looking at it the other way, we're covering essentially a continent here, and it's not taking that long. I've already done it there, I've done it there now, and one last one somewhere around here would be nice. Mm. You know what would be kind of fun? If we use this island for it. I want to do something just a bit wacky because otherwise I've been mean, just kind of building the same kind of stuff over and over. Except getting back on here is going to be more of an issue than I thought. Why did I think this would be a good idea? There you go. That's surely what our trains want. Okay. 
Okay, now to get the ball proverbially rolling. I'll need to start spawning them somewhere relatively close to Colombia. Thinking about it, this is actually quite a long stretch without maintenance, isn't it? If they break down along here, they gotta go all the way to Colombia, turn around, go all the way through all this, all the way back to that island. Might not be the worst idea, just to have one around here or so. Okay, now then. Let's have you start here, and we're going to, of course, clone the South American style train, which is made of what exactly? The Dragon Diesel and Firebird coaches. You know, I can't help but feel we can do better than that. Couldn't we have a faster kind of train? Because the carriages can go even faster. Carriages can go 181. Do we have a locomotive capable of 181? Show me the maximum speed. Diesel Firebird can handle it. It also has capacity for passengers. Yep, we're having that then. And that means we have to turf one of these, but that's okay because, as we said, that Firebird can handle passengers itself. Good high speed rail service across South America, the thing that I do for these people. Right, your first job is not to do anything listed there. I want you to go um, here to Tierra de Fuego. Then you're going to come out of Tierra de Fuego and you're going to go to Argentina, Uruguay, stop for maintenance if required. What the heck is this? Oh, did I give them more maintenance here? How did I... It was going through my head when I did both. God knows, but there you go. You've got options now. Go to either of those if you need the service. Go to TBW Central. Go to Tarapaca. Go and get that maintenance if required. I was worried that was a 90 degree turn, but it is not. Go to Peru. Go to Peru. I'll be changing these names, don't worry. Ecuador exchange, go get maintenance there if required. Colombia, and then do a weird switcheroo into the Colombian halt. Colombia north, Colombia proper, back to Colombia. There if needed. Here, there, not even, gonna, not even gonna go with names anymore. Just here and there, here and there. Just keeping my eyes open for a maintenance station. I would hate to, hate to miss them. But no, we got that weird island one. Uh, what did I last do? Peru, Tarapasa, oop. And go there if you need maintenance, oops. There we go. TBW Central. Maintenance if needed. And we're almost home free. Back you go. Oof, 30 orders. How many trains are going to need to do this? I'm thinking a lot. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 40. Go. And for the love of God, make sure that timetable has automated auto separation. Signals might be wrong on the island maintenance too. Now you mention it, they are completely wrong. Fortunately, we can get that sorted before our trains actually arrive. Signal, delete, none of that, and none of that. Come on, you can do it. There we go. And there we go. <laughs> I like that wee island maintenance thing. Oh, it's worth noting that there are no actual cities for them to go to, but we'll rename them first. 
So first of all, this is Venezuela Central. We always call them Central if it's a train station. Well, maybe not always, but if it's the main train station of a city, we'll call it their Central. Uh, this is, well, of course, Guiana. We all knew that. Guiana Central. Good thing I didn't say Surin. There'd be, there'd be some people unhappy if I was calling Guiana Surinam. Probably not people that come here, though. Probably not people. Surinam Central. Para. Brazil is one of the only South American countries we deem important enough to differentiate into uh, multiple stops rather than just having Brazil City. See, so, yeah, oh, I don't have that fancy little A. Can I do a copy paste here? No. Could somebody type that weird A in chat so I can copy paste it? Because otherwise, I don't even know how to type it. Maybe someday I will, though. South America ready for PAX. It is getting ready for PAX. Thank you. This game does indeed support copy paste. Be surprised the amount of games that do not. Sierra. Ah. Um, Central. And the train's coming around wondering why they're not actually having anything to pick up or drop off. Pernambuco. Central. Ah, yeah. Central. Oh, it might be Alt G R A on your. I don't have a G R key. T B W. Probably the only central we have named after someone in the community so far. What's up with this? Why are they all going in there? They shouldn't. They should only be going in there if they need the. Um, if they need the servicing, and they certainly don't. Did I do something weird to them? Well, I think I spawned them all in a very wrong place. Also, they're all going through implicit stuff. That's fine. They'll need some time to figure that out anyway. There's no broken track here or anything. I'm wondering why they all decided to go into here. This is a uh, Santiago train depot. And they're only told to go there if required. Oh, there's no Antarctica barcode battler, thankfully. Uh, right. Uruguay Central is already named, as is Argentina. Okay. Time to establish some cities and hope that something works with my trains here. I don't like those implicit orders, but they'll be sorted out once they actually manage to do a full loop. Currently, they're trying desperately to get to Tierra de Fuego because I... Well, I just did it all wrong. It's okay, though. Just let time pass whilst we make these cities, starting with Venezuela. Found town. They're all, they'll all be medium-sized and I'll eventually run out of money, such as the South American experience. Venezuela. Go. He will be Guiana. Go. Oh, well, this one will not be. Trinidad and Tobago. Small. Go. Pathetic. Still can't do large towns. I don't know when that becomes an option for us. Suriname. Shit, there's no Antarctica. You could have called it the... Have you heard about FP2 Gula? Oh, Frostpunk 2. What a, what a weird thing. Announced so long ago and we still have nothing to know about it. Ah. Ooh, ballsy way of growing there, but I quite like it. Sarah. Se Very small town place. Got that money of mine is just whittling away with this. 
Pernambuco. It's an investment in the future. I'm not worried about it. Bar here. I can't just call this one TBW. We've got a bunch of different places to make here. Minas Jerez. Rio D. Is D in D capitalized? Rio de Janeiro. It is not, says Nico. Well, I'll need to go and fix that at some point. Sao Paulo. And Parana. Yet another Rio Grande. The Southern Great River. Yeah, I know, I know my languages here. <laughs> I'll make a uselessly expensive bridge for that one guy living over there. Uh, that's right, I'll need Uruguay here as well. Bye bye, money. Uruguay is a go. And Argentina is only important enough to have one city too. Ooh. There goes the great South American expansion. We need another 400 million to deal with the center, but we're not far off of having that. Well, let's go and sort out some things. For one, Rio de Janeiro, not having a capital D. And also I can get rid of these things that I made. I put them there. So how I came up with where to place things was I actually asked people that know these countries far better than me. A Brazilian by the name of TBW gave me a map of the best locations for these places. And it's important to me that we don't use city names for the cities. Just a convention that I'm using, nothing more. The only time that it's going to be acceptable is when it is a coincidence. For example, this is New York State. But New York City is a real thing, and we're calling it New York. But otherwise, that's why we have Florida here, or Greenland as a city, or uh, Nova Scotia. I don't actually know if Nova Scotia is a city. Anyway, provinces is a naming convention I'm sticking with here. Like most things I do, it's arbitrary. And like most of my arbitrations, it works well. And these signs were just put in just so I'd know exactly where to put them, and they can be deleted later. There's no gameplay impact in it. You could fill your entire map with all these signs, and probably bother other players if you're in multiplayer. You'll certainly be bothering yourself. Also helps me with the spelling, although I'm sure I guffed something up. Will you try clan folk? Yeah, I've been messaged about clan folk as well, but again, it's early access. Really shouldn't even bother asking me about early access games, because it's always the same. Right, now there are actually little bits of passengers and mail to pick up. But these guys aren't linked up, they're going to need some kind of inner city stuff. In fact, some of them really need to uh, connect it up to the railways. But they will be. It won't be forever. Oh, we don't know that. We do not know that. Right, Trinidad, and so-called Tobago. We need to connect you up to somewhere. Can, do I even have what it takes to link you up to somewhere? Yeah, sure, you can join Guyana. I'll give you an incredibly simplistic patch service. Cheapest and easiest passenger thing I have going. Kwantung is actually incredibly cheap and easy. It's very slow, though. But this one's much too expensive for the speed that we get. Same with you. Although it is nice how fast you are. Ah, 100 passengers, a reasonable price. But Kwantung is... Nah, 100 passengers, reasonable price. Uh, not going to get anything done if we don't have a Trinidad and Tobago... Do you just destroyed one of your only homes! Don't... don't do that. Interesting why they do that so quickly, though. Anyway, get that done for passengers, and get that done for mail. And it's instantly going to get some good ratings, because there's not really going to be anything there for them to worry about. At least I'll get them onto the, the Pax Americana. Again, we're not allowed to establish anywhere without connecting them to the Pax Americana. 
and it's a bit bit tight though they gotta go all the way up here what I might end up doing is having a Columbia to Maryland um, boat service that way if there's anybody who wants to go to the east coast of the USA they don't need to go around through the southwest to get there since uh, but there's a small problem with that it's pretty hard to bring the boats to Columbia but that doesn't sound insurmountable does it What's the limit to how far I can bring you in here? Columbia Central could reach out to there, even to there, but not that far. All right, so let's say it's gotta be here. Well, we just gotta believe. We gotta relieve. Right. Columbia is the place to be. Yeah, you just gotta go, man. Same with you. A little bit more. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing here. I think. Gonna be good enough? God, I don't know. There we go. That's just what Colombia was after. It's me sinking half of their land down just so they can get out of here into the glorious USA. Don't know how that's going. You just, you just get out of here. You cause me too many problems. Mm-hmm. I want it to look a little bit more authentic, so we're going to have the road run into you, I think. Okay, no, we're not. Oh, I think well, this is actually lower down than you are. Oh, well, that's even more awkward, but too bad. Also, no real way through here. Easily sorted. And now I just gotta get you linked up to Maryland. Yeah, I might as well get that done now. I was thinking, oh, we'll leave it for later, but no, let's get it sorted out now. And we'll have nice speedy boats as well. As the crow flies, I think it's six and a half a dozen for making your way around Dominican Republic and Haiti. So we'll just use the existing Haiti boy. Come up here, hit up the Maryland boy, and away you go. And we'll make sure that there is capability for you being maintained along the way. Plenty of maintenance stuff around here, but I'll give you a bit more. And now, this we will use speedy boats for. And then again, we have this 90 kilometer per hour, 240 passenger thing. But hey, hard to hard to say no to 400 passengers. Right, Colombia, Colombian boy, Haiti boy, other Haiti boy, other other Haiti boy, and then finally to Freedom boy, and then over to Maryland, good and proper, and of course along the way back. Nice thing is I can copy over this um, this order, so I don't need to don't need to worry. Why would I ever worry to begin with? There we go. Clone that ship. I want uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen of you. And I want you automated, auto separated. And on top of that, I would like you to. Borrow that order, and I'll clone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of you. You'll also automate and spread out and everything. Now get going. Boom. 
It's a ton of them, but they will uh, they will spread out accordingly. And who knows, I might need more of those before I even know it. Do you care about fighting games at all? Do you care about is overselling it, but I have played and enjoyed fighting games. I did a really fun weekly one-shot of Street Fighter 2. That was very enjoyable. But mostly because I was styling on certain people. Right, how are we going to link up these guys? I'm thinking Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro can have a nice simple tram set up. I'm also noting that uh, Sao Paulo uses the 3x3 three three, uh, way of expanding their city, whilst Rio de Janeiro uses the 2x2, two two, so Sao Paulo is already confirmed superior. I like my opportunity for connecting the tramway, though. Can I do something like that? Yes, I can. It's just a little off here. Could we just... Okay. Trains come off a little worse for wear due to that, but... This allows me to do this. Yeah, I wanted to have a nice uh, riverfront run on the tram. And because this will just be wasted space anyway, I'll put the tram depot here. And, 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 and... TBW Central will be linked up uh, appropriately. As opposed to inappropriately. Oh god, now I need cities in Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro? Wait, does that make any sense? Aren't they actually cities already? Someone's taking me for a ride here, I think. Well, I need some names to give this, and I am all but certain we have some South Americans around here. A Sao Paulo and a Rio de Janeiro Plaza are needed. Although, to be fair, actually, what I can just do is call them Sao Paulo Plaza and Rio de Janeiro Plaza. The trouble is later on when we have more. Both are cities now. How about the suburbs? Yeah. When we expand them, I will probably add for I will ask for suburbs, but not right now. Mino Geras, on the other hand, I reckon I could do you well with a metro, a very swift metro. And I'm going to do a boomerang metro. Yeah. Why am I doing a boomerang metro? I don't know. Just suddenly had this inspiration, so I'm going to do it. And I'm going to start by tearing down your precious homes, Minas Geras. This is for me, not for you. This seems acceptable, though. Mm, that seems less acceptable. Down you go. Can I reduce that down a bit? I reckon so. boomerang metro idea, and it is only an idea for now, but it will be done. Doesn't really need to go underground at this point of that, I'm quite certain. Okay. Give you the opportunity for maintenance right here. You can just go and get that whenever you need. Minas Geras Metro. However, this is also going to be Minas Geras Metro. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, probably offending quite a few people with that. That happens quite often. But not nearly as much as I'm sure open TTD players are offended by my egregious use of connecting stations. They just need to get over themselves. Ugh, made 
a stake here. Right, get rid of that. This is meant to be the metro. When I remade it, I connected to the wrong one there. Something feels not right when it's not underground, doesn't it? Let's change that. I know it's incredibly expensive in maintenance to have these underground sections, but not having them just feels wrong. I need you to come out to this point. So, if Minas Geras extends in this direction, we will extend out the boomerang. I suppose this will make a bit more expense, a bit more sense of actually put out the uh, trains here, won't it? Um, and it'll make even more sense if I have waypoints. Can't put them on slopes. Can't put them there. Where can I put them? There we go then. In fact, I can just put them like so. Using with the old stuff in the way. Now, new vehicle. Um, might be a little awkward because there's only... Oh, right. I've suddenly seen the problem in my design here. The trams, the trains can't pass each other. Hmm. Would Boomerang Metro work in any way then? Yes and no. Let's go with yes. Let's go with a very high capacity one, and tell it it works like so. You go there, waypoint there, waypoint there. And there. So, there. Hmm. Okay, now everything's in the way. I'm sure it'll work out fine. Let's just activate it and see what happens. Da -da -dun. 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 Now, just going around and around like a boomerang. And you might reasonably say, well, what about mail? And what about mail? Well, mail can be dealt with above ground. Like, you know, normal. And that will be quite simple, we just need to... Hmm, actually... How am I meant to do that? Um, I could connect you up to this, and then have you drive over to here. Does a two grid like that. Okay, I think I'm onto something here, though. I can get rid of you and have one of the end points, because I rather like the end points. TBW Central, there you go. And then... You just grab the goodies here. And then we have you a go-go. Where's the best mail vehicle that is not articulated? I think this Goldmire Courier truck might actually beat the Brass Monkey these days. It is much faster, higher capacity. I'm gonna miss that brass monkey. Anyway, you need to go to the metro and go to the central. And I'll probably need a couple of you. And I almost certainly want the maintenance place to be better situated. All right, there we go. And I need to take a swift water break so you can watch the birth of Brazil here. I'll be back in just a minute.
trying to wrap my head around what CJ96 is saying here. Connecting station, nothing but these mini hills that go up and down unnerve me. Mini hills going up and down. What are you talking about? Nay no idea. But it's good to see that Minas Geris is already growing. What about the underground stations? I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty great. They have hills that go up and down. What hills that go up and down? I mean, this is a wee hill that goes down underground and then out to here. Maybe you mean this thing? Probably not. But I don't like you. I'm going to get rid of you. So I can bring that back up. That will allow me to tunnel out if necessary. Have a look at the incoming rail to TBW Central that you just edited. You can make the rail straight instead of that odd extra curve you have now. The incoming rail to TB they're all incoming rails! You removed them while I was commenting, Jake. You trolled me hard. What? What the hell are you talking about, CJ? Ah, oh, Jenks, he's, he's gone off the deep end. Or I have, but that's nothing fancy. Minas Geris sounds like a city someone riding a Lord of the Rings would come up with. The Continental Rail coming from the north. Okay, from the north, it comes down and goes in here. I suppose there's this little bump here that's somewhat unnecessary, isn't it? I think I had it there for good reason, but that reason is long dead. Oh, I'm making the wrong kind of rails here. That's a mistake. There you go. Quite liked his attempt at getting in there, though. It's kind of cool. There you go. What I should likely have is another signal right at the entrance here, though, just to maximize the, uh, the smoothness of things going in and out. Alright, so the Minas Geras boomerang is probably far more expensive than we can justify, but it does give the, uh, it does give the service here that they need, and the coverage is pretty great. Pretty damn g uh, great. I didn't line them up. They're off by one. Okay. That would bother other people, but it doesn't bother me. Pretty hard to tell that it's Metro for those yellow lines, and you don't always see them there. Still, though, work hard. There's plenty of Brazil that needs our attention. There's also Prana. How do we bring Prana into all of this? I can't forget that Rio Grande do Sul needs to be linked up with Uruguay. It's far larger, but so unloved. I'm off to bed, sleep well, says Arnold. It's been fun as always, don't go much longer, she needs your sleep also. I don't like being belittled like that. Right, I need you over at TBW Central one way or another, and I think Parana's just going to have a really crummy stagecoach service. I wonder if I could just give them like a ridiculously large central one here that nobody likes or asks for. Something like this. There we go. They just come in, get seen to there, probably clog up the road, something fierce. The coverage isn't even that great. <laughs> In fact, it's still pretty bad. I'm not even sure that'll get sufficient amounts of uh, coverage for all of Parana. That's a terrible idea. So let's have a better idea. Let's get rid of you. Let's make it all... That's the one. Let's make it all for passengers. There's a hotel there, but sod the hotel. 
There we go. Get everybody stuck in there. And then give them a similarly horrible thing elsewhere. Looks like the town might grow out in this direction, so let's go with that. There we go. Why am I creating something so horrible? I don't even know. Just feels like the right thing to do. It's all connected, certainly looks all connected. And now we need to get you over to here, which should just have a similarly horrible place to go. I have you two be part of TBW Central. And let's hope we never come to look at this again, because it already looks all sorts of horrible. Right, what do we have for the mail? We have this one, which is really good, and it works into these. Not articulated, which is great. I really don't like the articulated vehicles so much in this game. Um... I'll give you four of those, and I'll tell you to space them out, and that's all pro already probably going to be way too many of you. And for passengers, well, we've got something new, don't we? The Oxley's Coach. Very fast, very few passengers. But I do like that fast part, so we'll go with that. I want you to get over to there, and then get back to here, and we'll give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of you. Definitely overkill. But that should take care of Parana as it assumedly eventually grows. Did you want to add trains to the line between Rio and Sao Paulo? Uh, yeah, actually adding some trams to it might be a good idea. Just imaginary tram lines that have anything running on it might not be what they're looking for. But what do we know? The Brazilians, nobody understands what they're thinking. Uh, TBW Central to Rio to Sao Paulo and then stop it there if you need maintenance. Should I force it? No, I don't think there's any need to force it, but I do want it automated, and we'll have four of you doing the rounds there, and we'll do similar for the mail, but it goes the other way with the high capacity ones. So you go Sao Paulo to there, to TBW's, oh, 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 oh. to TBW's home, and then stop for maintenance if need be, and really we should only need two of you. And with that, the bulk of the Brazilians should be taken care of with their absolute poverty setups. The trams are going to struggle big time with these hills. Look at this poor bugger, right? He's feeling, feeling fresh, going 72, takes the turn at 35. Continues the ascent at blistering 30-ish. Then finally, can get back up to proper speeds, which he loses on the turns as well. Trams are... Yeah, they are rough stuff, but lots of advantages with trams. Being able to complete a single loop with a single bit of line, well, only roads... Uh, only uh, cars could really do that as well, but trams are better in every conceivable way, right? Hi, is it a old school game? This game is very old school, it's 1990 something. Okay, Piranha, are you actually going to grow a bit? I'm giving you decent service, there we go. They'll start their growth, growth now. Lastly, Rio Grande do Sul needs to be part of Uruguay. Oh, that would put me on lists. How are we going to handle such a thing? <laughs> it would be nice if I could just... Mm. 
I was thinking about metroing it over, but that might not be sufficient. It's going to be a little awkward moving things around here for sure. Might it might just be a lot easier to simply have road vehicles bring them over. We've got this amazing connection over to Uruguay Central that we can have. Just plonk them down like so. Have a road over and all is well, right? Why wouldn't it be? We're going to have an unnecessary tunnel here. There we go. Nothing lost in a tunnel. Except for maintenance. Maintenance is always lost. They're very expensive, those tunnels. And then, very simply, we grab Rio Grande de Sol here and here. That's their plaza. I probably missed calling the other ones plazas, didn't I? don't have TBW around to give decent plaza names here, so we'll make do with what we have, which is not much. And... there you go. Go here, and here. Automate timetable, we shouldn't need more than four of you, actually four is probably overkill. And we'll do the same for this coach. Bada bing, bada boom. Timetable and... I'll have eight of you. Just in case a hotel or something spawns, making loads of uh, passengers want to move around. South of Rio de Janeiro on the tram line. You have you up downhill. There you have you up. You mean this thing? I like that little bit. Gets them real close to the water. Keeps them on their edge. Sure, it kills the speed, but their speed was always going to die down here. Sometimes it's not all about speed, though. It's just about service. Right. Somewhat unbelievably, I think we have all of South America, well, all of coastal South America, taken care of. I just need to do one last pass. To make sure the industries are setting up correctly. I saw something over here, not you, but you are Uruguay's hotel. Terra de Fuego's own dairy farm. To be fair, that's going to be far larger than Argentina, so I don't have any problem keeping it there. But what I really like is a port. We have uh, we've been struggling when it comes to port industry around here. And I'm still not seeing any. Starting to get shoals though, Suriname's own shoals. And is that a colliery I see? Mm-hmm, it's even the correct one. We can finally get some coal down to, um... That Rio Grande Plaza throws me off since we have Rio Grande de Sul over there. But I can finally get some coal down here. Excellent. Now what's the best way to move that coal? Could boat it right over. Could just have a little service around there. Could begin the cross... Um... I think I'll leave the coal mine for now. I will create the center of South America. Link those up. And then I will erect a cross South American industrial siphoning thing whereby Tierra de Fuego sucks up all of the resources of South America and throws it into the beating heart. Though it's kind of like a Sam Vimes heart because it's down at the feet. Why Jake says CJ? What are you talking about? You make so little sense, CJ. Right, only four more of these to add. We did add everything else, right? And they are all growing and connected. Venezuela's little hotel being outside of uh, the zone is a little off-putting, but it's no big deal. It also lessens the 
lessens the burden on the PAX network. Adding in the hotels is actually just, it just creates burden. It generates some money, but mostly burden. Looking at this though, it's early days, but the PAX network seems to be A-OK. -okay. Even the network between Columbia and New York seems to be holding all right. And a lot of people are going to get off at Columbia wanting to go there. Now, this says that there are loads of people wanting to go. Tons of them wanting to go to USCA Central. Less so wanting to go to the east coast of the USA. Could be that there are not enough trains running along this. But look at this, this is already quite saturated. Looks quite saturated. Mm, that could start to be a problem if there are too many people heading up uh, this way. Gotta remember we have a whole continent trying to move up to another continent through our rickety little line. Oof, try not to pay attention to those engineering supplies and farm supplies. I don't even know who picks those up here. Engineering supplies are barely picked up at all. Farming supplies, considerably more actually. Where do you even go to? I think you grab them on some kind of return journey. It's okay though, it's a very self-balancing situation. It's good enough to get what we need. Are you running a substantial profit, Jake? I don't know the UI enough to see if the answer is staring me in the face. Uh, yes, 1.8 million litres of chemicals. We have a port here and we will do more with it. We're just giving the bare minimum to whatever needs it. So if I click on here, I see my budget. Uh, last year, I ran a loss of $1.2 billion. But that's because I spent $1.5 billion building up the cities themselves, which are the big expense in this entire run. Otherwise, we tend to run a very juicy profit of about $130 million each year. In fact, I think it's going to be even higher this year. No unreasonable expenses. Might even be uh, $200 million. Because the year before, we must have established some other city, probably... It wouldn't have been British Columbia, would it? But hey, British Columbia is growing. It's doing not too shabby, I'd even say. Mm. <laughs> they, they want to desperately escape British Columbia. They've built up one of those gaudy bridges for it. But we're taking care of their packs quite nicely. Okay, this is now starting to show that it's a little overburdened. Now, why is that? Who wants to leave where? 167 people wanted to go to Colombia. Well, we're grabbing them, so I don't see why that's a problem. The mail is kind of piling up. Didn't I not build quite as many uh, mail boats? Let's see, you're a mail one. Couldn't hurt to just add another four more of you in. And let's grab a non-mail one. Are you mail? You're also mail. Are they all mail? No, leading one there is passengers, so add another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight passengers. Probably overkill for now, but I have every confidence that Colombia is going to be the PAX center of South America. I suppose a slight problem is the sheer amount of people that are going to want to be moving around and out of Terra, uh, Tierra de Fuego, but I got plans for that. Also, Huzzah! Since it's reached over 8,000 population, they're now going to make use of the alcohol, food and goods that we give them. We don't really give them up that much, we give them food as I recall. Yeah, you're coming in with food right now. They don't need much of it, but they will need it in due time. Still feel bad that I haven't given them the engineering supplies, chemicals or steel. As we know, there are a lot of chemicals floating around in the USCA docks that I haven't been using, and there could be a whole lot more if I actually upped my ratings with them. But Tierra de Fuego would need an industry that relies on chemicals, and there aren't many of those. There's a sand works and a steel works. However, we're probably going to get a lot of sand sifting industries around the, the waterfront here. That's not the right one, that's shoals. Show me industry, disable all, zoom out, and show me specifically dredging sites. Well, 
No, all the dredging sites are in North America, but I have every confidence that eventually there'll be some around South America. And then we could bring those and chemicals down to the beating heart of Tierra de Fuego, and then it will satisfy their need for chemicals. Did you build the Ca Panama Canal? I did build the Panama Canal, and the Panama Canal gets very heavily used. It's got three, four ships going through it right now, with a fifth one approaching. And a sixth one approaching. Also it looks pretty cool having the bridges next to it, although this bridge is ugly beyond sin. Hopefully someday we get uh, better, faster bridges. Alright, South America is a real success story here, and it's not done yet. Mm, I think Panambuco's... Well, oh, gee, I don't actually know how best to link up these folks. Maybe I should just build them and then link them up. We did it the other way around before, now we'll now we'll do it like this. At least they'll already be on the map. Amazonas. Bang. And I can get rid of you. Hmm, reasonable size. Brasilia. And another bang. Paraguay. Nice to see them spawn, actually, with some decent uh, buildings there. A thousand population. Oh, Bolivia. Ernesto Sosa be damned. There you go. Oh, God, it's biggest of the bunch? For real? No, 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 Brasilia's a mini metropolis there. Now, how in the world do we fold you guys into the... into the Great Pax network. It, given the big diversion here, it would actually make a lot of sense for uh, Tarapasa to have a bypass over to, hate to say it, but TBW Central. TBW Central's already pushing for space, but I might just be able to squeeze it in here. We could make it high speed as well, a relatively fast electrified railway construction between two. Um, why does that hotel have to be there? Can I squeeze you all the way out here? I can, I can, I can, I can. Does that mean I could put a four tracker here? Flatlander quite looks pretty flat to me, there we go. There we go. Have an electric bit coming out of here. This will be the bypass. We'll come down. We'll probably make a... I don't know. I might make the Orlov Central here or something. And then have these guys connect in through road vehicles. And then go up to Tarapasa. Amazonas is close enough to Suriname that they could have some special little dedicated rail route out to it. I don't think we care enough about it. Alright, but that makes a lot of sense to me. So let's do it. so close to Paraguay, but okay. The question is how we deal with you. You're unpleasant. Tarapasa. We just level that down a bit. We still have a little bit of a problem here now, don't we? How exactly does Tarapasa make its way down here? We could elongate the, uh, the mountainside here. Not going to be enough though, this is a terminus. I mean, I could do the, the budget connection, where it's just, um... Oh god, even, even this budget hurts. Could do the budget connection where everything connects to everything like so. But that's terrible for throughput, so I'd really rather not. 
How could we get them up here without uh, causing too much of a ruckus? Can you see the average operating speed of a route anywhere? I don't think so. You can see all the vehicles here. You can group them together by their shared orders, and then you could sort them by... Okay, no. I thought maybe you could sort them by speed, but no. Of course, in the end, why would you have vehicles of different speeds on the same line? It's not enough of a gameplay incentive to do that, as far as I'm aware. Right, tell you what. We could stick to what we had earlier. And instead sort our vehicles before they make the ascension. Because I don't like the idea of tearing into this mountain for no good reason. Can we actually come down here like so? to it, but okay. I suppose in the end they could still have their crisscrosses here. But how do they how do they decide where to enter here just yet? So you'll be coming out like so, and I suppose in the end I just need to connect you guys up, don't I? Which might be easier than it might seem because if I just extend it out a little bit like so, and then you like so, uh, not even like so, I just need to bring you in like that, and in fact that's still tighter than necessary, or not tight enough rather, because I can bridge over like so, and like so, and then I did this the wrong way round, as usual. There we go. Don't need you out that much, we'll soon find out. No, that's just right. There we go. They gotta filter out quite early and then make a real uphill struggle. But this should get them up where they need to be. And then, and then, and then. Going out, out, out. Coming in, in, in. This isn't connected, but there you go. Alright, that makes a world of sense. I think. Coming out, da da da. Wait, no, no, wrong way around. Comes in that way. In and in and in and in. Good. Well, I'll believe it's good. There'll be some people shielding their virgin eyes from that, but not me. Jake, one of the bridges can be leveled into the mountain instead of going up and down. Yes. Yes, and that would even look better. It would, however, cost more in maintenance because it's another, another unit of bridge. But let's not worry about that. Oh god, we've got that ugly, ugly red. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? Good old girdered steel doesn't have that problem. Why I make my bridges four length? Girdered steel has good speed capacity. And none of the other nonsense going for it. 
Right, in you go, and out you all go. Mm, oh, sweet, we can get you in like that. How we do the connections here is another story entirely. Okay, now Brasilia Woods, yeah, need to be linked up to all of these somehow, probably just road vehicles, keep it simple, use the KISS method. Why are you only four? You should really be six. I don't know how many people are going to want to use this bypass, but uh, probably a fair few of them. It's alright though, easily sorted if we just go boom, boom, boom. Yeah, you better turn around. Two more tracks. Dump. And knowing how far that comes out tells me that we can have more buses. More buses, more connections. What a happy place for these people to be at, I assume. Don't look that happy, actually. Looks quite miserable. I mean, Jinx, have you ever been at a bus station which you'd describe as happy? I sure as sugar have not. Let's see if we can actually remember how to do one of these good and proper. Has to happen eventually. Come out, 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 and then come together. Right in like that, swell. slightly better. We can have the fork look here, which I quite like. There we go. I don't have enough of that. Feels like wasted space here, but I just like that look. Let us not forget our signals. Uh, uh, there we go. Doesn't really make any odds, actually. I think that looks slightly neater. Six and a half a dozen. Would look even neater if I'd just done it correct to begin with. Now... First and foremost, crisscross. This is good. We're gonna have all of the Americas done and connected. And it didn't take that long. It's not really about the time it takes, it's all enjoyable to do. Out and connected like so, you come out like so, bridge over, bridge over. Thank you, banished music. Oh, that's longer than necessary, but let's not fret it, let's just do it. And then out, out, out. In, in, in. Out guys can have some more going on here and come along and go along. Swell! Of course it uh, needs a bit of maintenance but it's a short route so it doesn't need much maintenance. In fact this little error could become a happy little accident as we bring you in like so. sense to give them similar service opportunities out the other way. Maybe not even at that point though. Maybe coming out of here? Mm. <laughs> Maybe. Disgusting this. Okay. Hey. 
is fine though. If there's one thing we have here in South America, it's plenty of room. So it's not the biggest crime in the world to have this connected up like so. Still pretty criminal though. All right, let's get our trains going. Uh, yeah, the Firebird Diesel bothers me by probably being the best train I have. The Sunshine Coach, however, doesn't take up as much space. Gives me another space for a rail car, um, a wagon rather. That's sort of my maximum speed. Show me introduction date. Attached front or rear train with at least one other engine. Driving cab. Maybe it just adds power with um, with room for people. But that Zibidi gets a good speed going. General Purpose Express Electro Diesel. The zesty one. Nah, let's go with the ZBD. ZBD with one, two, three. We'll bring it up to, to that. And then the rest for mail. Is that how we do it? One, two, three. No, no, no. Surely not. Drag out one of these and give them back another passenger one. Alright, that works. Now, as for you, you need a route. You're going to go here, to here, stop there if you need maintenance, CTBW, go there, stop there for maintenance if you need, and then back again. How many are we going to run here? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go. I'll make sure it works. Out it comes, down it goes, in it goes. This weird filter system. Are they actually losing much speed on that? 120, still 120. Ooh. That's acceptable, although they're going to lose a bit more speed, I reckon, when they're full of passengers. Well, they, they shouldn't, actually. They really shouldn't. That wouldn't make sense, but I don't know if this game models that uh, the fact that you keep your speed better when you're full. I guess we'd find out if there were any passengers to be had, but... I'm not sure if any of these guys will be running with uh, passengers for a while. Well, not least of all because they have nothing connecting them up with Brasilia Woods. So their only hope is to get all these passengers out of Minas Gerais. Many of them want to go to Bahia. Is that a problem? Do we have insufficient trains running on this route? They look awfully spaced out, don't they? Okay, that being the case. 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'll add 20 more trains. It is a very populous route, so more trains are better trains, surely. Oh yeah, you can play OpenTTD on Android. I used to play this on my tablet during the commute to Paradox way back when. I wasn't very good at it though, but it was a it was a fun wee time waster. Now I'm just happy not to have a commute at all. I'd, I'd struggle to go back to it, really. Right, Brasilia Woods. Is Brasilia Woods even a good name for it? No, no, no. This needs to be uh, the Orlov. Whoa. What would you even call it? I'll just call it the Orlov Connection, because that's really what it is. We're just going to be funneling Bolivia, Paraguay, and Brasilia into one place. For all the fun that sounds. And yeah, we'll just do it with road vehicles, simple as. Ooh, I like Brasilia. It's got that 3x3 thing going for it. 3x3 three three is just, uh, I mean, it's gridding, so it's soulless, but it is efficient. So, how are we going to handle you, then? 
very simply, I think. Just with Brasilia Plaza. I mean, in the province of Brasilia, I believe there's the city of Brasilia and probably very little else if I'm understanding what TBW is on about correctly, which I may or may not. Give you a connection up here, and let's just get on with it, right? Uh, give you your stagecoach there and there, and I don't know, I'll give you four of them on an automation. Yeah, four might not be enough. I'll give you eight. What's well, better to overkill than underkill, surely? And then we're going to have you, which does much and such the same thing. I love that auto timetabling. Oh, the aches and pains we had with timetables playing this uh, without the JGR patch. It's like a it's like a distant distant dream, distant nightmare. I really wanted it all to work for me, and it just wouldn't. What, what's not suitable? I just want to build a road here, man. Looks like Paraguay is doing two by twos. Nothing wrong with that. Well, nothing inherently wrong with that. Here you go, Paraguay. And here you go, Paraguay. And this will be your Paraguay Plaza, which will similarly be very cheaply brought over to the Orlov connection. Port passenger two for mail. Maybe three for mail would be more reasonable, but there's loads of space in there for, for people coming in and out. I really like these as opposed to the on-the-road ones. But this isn't even done for profit. This is purely to give those BRs and BR derivatives the services they need. And, of course, to connect them to the Great Pax Americana network. Six as well, six and eight seems about right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Easy peasy. And then finally, Bolivia, a bit more of a distance. They'll probably need a few more vehicles for it, but that's okay. Girded steals a uh, speed limit of 250 kilometers an hour for a road vehicle. Seems a little unnecessary. Speaking of unnecessary, how do we even get in here? There was never a river there. To get through this tunneling would be easier on me. There we go. Again, tunnels are not pleasant on infrastructure maintenance. Terraforming is just so much cheaper it's unreal. I did have a YouTube comment point out something about terraforming. Apparently you had to do it a lot more frequently in the original release of the game. OpenTTD, I'm, I'm kind of inferring it at this point, but there was something about uh, the way you built was harder on the original Open TTD, so you had to do a lot more terraforming, and it was more expensive, and you know, uphill both ways kind of thing. Don't really know what to make of that. As I say, I'm not playing the original; I'm playing Open TTD, which is just so damn good. Right, Bolivian Plaza. At least at this point, our road vehicles are decent enough to the point where it's it's not really a big deal that we have to use them. They're fast, they have good capacities. Early on in the game, man, they can really blow big time, but here... Here the world is ours. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure they're on automated timetable things. And then much the same with the mail. Bolivia to the Orlov connection. Two, three, four, five, six. Go automate. Whoops, auto separate as well. I feel like I missed that on something here. You're sorted. You're sorted. You're sorted. And. Nope, I got them all. I was simply imagining my problems. <laughs> and you there. Right, they do do a little bit of a weird turnaround there, but that's okay, they'll get it sorted. I'll give you the option as well to do a quick turn if needed. But there we go. The Orlov connection might be a little busy since it's sucking up the capacity of three cities. But there we go. In come the trains and they... Well, they'll unload passengers that want to go to Paraguay, Bolivia or whatnot. Otherwise... Seems alright. You're what I missed the automation on. I knew I missed it on something. My common sense was tingling. I will celebrate by adding two more trains. Building on slopes is more forgiving in the version that you are on. How so? I wonder if the original with all the quality of life and improvements OpenTDD and any mods would be a good punishment game. Uh, I wouldn't accept that. I haven't had a punishment game in a while. I've got three on the backlog, just haven't got round to them. What can I say? I am pretty pushed for time these days. It's alright though. These things come and go. It's a reasonable amount of passengers there. A lot of them want to go to Tarapasa, but as the trains spread themselves out, that shouldn't be much of an issue. Although I say that, they are building up. Now nah, there they go, there they go. They're just getting drank out. What's with the delay? It seems like they pause coming in. No, no, I think it was just uh, nothing to worry about, basically. I like seeing this, though. Mmm. Practically all the money is being made on transfers, but it is a big transfer station after all. Pretty sure the original didn't have landfill slopes, so you get building over slopes, so land would have had to fit. I see. Uh, that's probably like when you do that. You've got this kind of landfill in allowing you to do those. Which is good, because this kind of diagonal building is the, the worst part in the, the game, really. Anytime you want to build like this, it's, oh, oh we got things in the way. So we we got to not do that. We've got to bring this down or up or level out in some way. But this is why any any modern iteration of this just give this game shiny, lovely, gooey, pretty much the same features and you're in. But it feels like uh, games that try to mimic this are so feature starved. I certainly don't have the magic that OpenTTD does. Why do you not have signals? There we go. It's not a long enough part here, but I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. wonder if I missed signals on anything else here. Nah, surely not. Surely not. Alright, seems to be holding, and of course we can check our PAX map of South America to show us that it's a little stressed and strained heading up and down and when it gets close to you, Colombia, lots of passengers, lots of mail. They want to go to lots of places, Ecuador and Venezuela. So that tells me both going north and south, there are too few trains servicing the route. How can this be though? I mean, there are 40 trains doing this route. The reason is the route is incredibly long. So of course we need more trains. Your first destination is Colombia, then Ecuador. So this is where you guys come out of. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, hell, just keep clicking. There we go. Trains for days. I hope nobody wants maintenance here. And they're all on 
automatically spreading out and separating. There we go. Somebody has to care about South America, and I am that somebody. What's our global vehicle count up to? We have 395 trains, 863 road vehicles, 424 ships, and 6 aircraft. There's a thought. Our good friends in Tierra de Fuego do not have an airport. Are we able to make metro... Oh, sweet! We can make metropolitan airports now. That changes things a little bit. How is the situation here? Greenland Southern Airport doesn't need to be better, but it could be better, and that's a good enough reason. I want you to go away. I want to see if I can quickly delete you. And then I want to remake you. As a metropolitan one. You are Greenland Southern Airport. There you go. Uh, this plane isn't about to crash, is it? I mean, it was on an approach there. It's a bit confused, but no, it goes in. That's fine, man. I wonder if I can upgrade them. Could I just build this over it. Aircraft in the way is tempting. That might mean that if the aircraft were not in the way... Oh, that's so cool! That's definitely not vanilla. It's also definitely going to increase my maintenance costs on these. Yeah, infrastructure costs for airports just went up by 20-30%. Still though, it'll be able to handle more planes. Although, I would need a lot more um, root being turned into alcohol for that to actually be a concern. What's with the sheer lack of fruit here? I mean, I'm, I'm bringing in what I can. Tell me, game, are there fruit industries that I'm not taking advantage of? We're looking for orchard and piggery. Grabbing all I can around here, it's just not a whole lot on the coast. I guess it doesn't make that a lot of sense that Alaska would have a thriving orchard industry. Good to see those farming supplies being put to good use. These guys are making decent dosh on their run. What do you have building maintenance set to? I remember it being extremely expensive. We have it set to high. There we go. Running costs are on high. Infrastructure maintenance on. And I think just generally costs are high. Time to fly in some fruit, that would be extravagant. However, I do want to give Terra de Fuego some kind of uh, aerial support. Passenger numbers are holding quite well here, which is excellent. It'll hold even better for the central heading north because we just added a ton more trains to the system. Jing South America is looking great. Have I linked up everything then? No, I missed the Amazonas. What do we do with the Amazonas? I could very cheaply link them into Suriname. Not sure how much the Amazons would like that. Because if any Amazon wanted to go to Peru, I'd just be shoving it up there, then they'd have to go around, change, and go down. But I want to leave as much space as possible for the uh, the cross. Yeah, the crossing. I want to have a massive um, intersection here. I just need some resources to spawn in bleeding South America. Right, we'll link you up with Suriname then. Nothing fancy. I'll give you a five length two tracker. Uh, I actually don't like doing it that way, although I keep doing it like that. Get rid of you, destroy you. When I have a, an additional side on, I like to do it single track. That way it doesn't have the roof above it, so I can immediately tell, ah, it's a branching off area. And you will very, very simply just come on down here and hit up the Amazonas. Who themselves have their own problems, but they will be dealt with. That way, two size. Need flat land. Yeah, don't we all? How about you don't have that there? I raise you here. And then there's your Amazonas. 
We're not playing under our goal in the Hanseatic run, where I want everybody to be a certain size. Not least of all because that was a terrible goal. It was good for incentivizing actually building up their growth, but it's far better that the growth itself be something that you want to foster. And in that case we want that because we always need more money. It's going to be very very hard pressed for us to ever be in a situation where we go, oh we have loads of money, no need for war, no need for concern. Because we have the entirety of Eurasia to colonize and don't know if you've ever checked but there's a lot of countries there and a lot of them are so big that they will not just be the country of China or uh, the city of Russia. They're big. But that's all part of the fun. I love playing around with real world maps and games. Here we go, this is that landfill bit coming in to help us out there. This probably would have been a lot more awkward without it. And you know what? I haven't Humpty dumpty in a long time. I want the Humpty Dumpty for a change. What does Jake mean by that? Now oh, we're all wondering. Um, down you go, go. And hell, we can have you go down here as well. And we'll just channel our way through. And am I going to channel my way through here as well? a good reason not to. This is not the way I was thinking of making it, not at all. I was thinking of something much tighter, but this will do. I do like the elegance of this, it's a bit more work though. Especially when you forget that you should build the uh, rails first and then the depot. There we go. You can go under rather than uh, going out too wide. You could compress this down quite a lot, but then I don't think I'd have enough leading rail. At least not nearly as much as I would like. Right, coming out this way. Going along here. Actually, these I should just do manually, shouldn't I? Signal... Remove, hmm? signal remove, not tunnel. Along you go, same with you, along here, and along here. And all is well. Let's get the Amazon as their service. New vehicle, uh, let's just clone one of these existing, ex Ooh, where's our electric rail system? You're not electric rail, you're regular rail. You're electric rail. Clone these guys, but get rid of those orders, because that's definitely not what you're doing. Bend that and delete everything else. Let's get you, get the screen cleared up a bit. This game can get a bit windows, windows, windows at times. Um, for your benefit, I'm playing this game in 1920 by 1080 since that's what I stream at, but whenever I fire up this game myself, I just make it full screen. It works effortlessly with all resizing, and full screen's just more screen real estate, how I likes it. Go there, go there if you need it, go there, go there if you need it. Simple as, how many of these trains could we conceivably need? I don't know. Two, three, four, five, six. Six is overkill, man. Um, surely four is plenty. Love to see the guys behind Factorio have a go at making a direct competitor to TPD. Safe hands for trains done right. Yeah. For sure, but there's some mechanics for trains that you can do with um, circuits, but this is why people use the, what is it, the L something S mod? I was strongly considering it when I was last playing Factoria, but decided against it. Probably, probably for no good reason. Alright, these automatically automate, and the Amazons are instantly sending out people. Curiously, where do you think the first few people of the Amazons want to go to? Nine isn't enough, we need a bigger sample size. Eighteen. Eighteen people in Amazon, and we're 
now that they finally have connection to the outside world, where do they want to go to? Destination. Anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I was getting at, game. Where do you really want to go? There we go. It's a clean spread between Washington, Tolhu and Punta Plaza. It's all the way down in Tierra de Fuego. Rio Grande, Minas Geras, Lima, Hawaii. Haiti, Bolivia, and Bartsville. Coming out of the Amazonas, you think it's beyond, been my life's lifelong dream to go to Oklahoma. How quaint. I haven't uh, saved in forever, so let's change that. I haven't saved in nine years? Nine? Or was that eleven years? Close enough. Remember to space the Amazona rail line. To space it? I don't know what you mean by space it. You did, Jake. Oh, okay. Well, I'll believe you. Oh, that's right. We've got this hotel that we're not actually connected to. Wait, was that always there? Surely I would have noticed it when building my railway station. Anyway, we're too far away for it, and I'm not going to bother. Again, it just generates passengers without any real payoff. Train mechanics are the easy part. Building a compelling game experience on top of that is hard. Well... We'll see if Transport Fever 2 have succeeded. Last time I checked, they had not. Didn't I, yeah, I stream Transport Fever? I think I only streamed the first one though, and the, main, the performance was really bad, so... A game with really poor performance, especially if it's a simulation game, turns me off so hard. That's why I dropped Rise of Industry as hard as I did, rather than trying to fire up a new, more sensible campaign. When I get a game like this, I want to push it as far as I can. At least as far as I'm willing to go. And this game can be pushed a whole lot further than this. This is not the largest map size you can do. Far from it. Dominican Republic Shoals. Mmm. Your influence does not extend that far. Yeah, Railway Empire. Well, uh, Railway Empire was doing good. But it really buckled towards the end. I have heard somebody tell me that they did a similar thing and didn't have problems with the game. But I doubt that's down to uh, down to my computer. It's an old kind of boat to see floating around here. It's also strange to see uh, fill up to full orders, but that must be an old one that I've set up. It matters little though. The money we're making, it's August, and we're looking at uh, it's looking at about 200 million in a year, which is good. That's two new cities every year at that pace. My current run in Transport Fever 2, I'm barely in 1900, the game is already chugging. Granted I'm playing on my laptop, mm. I'm pretty sure Machinki is Early Access Forgotten Freedom, and as I say and say often, I don't touch Early Access stuff. I do recognise the name, but isn't Machinki also like a Germanic card game? German friend when I was rooting through his belongings he had a card game called Mashinki. Well, something that sounds similar to it anyway. Gotta get on those tags, Jake. Pound sign, no early access. Uh. Oh, this is a bit more... Uh. This is a problem telling them to go there for maintenance when needed. Occasionally lots of them have it needed and then... Then you get this. But it's not the end of the world. It all sorts itself out soon enough. Just tells me I need a good leading line into these. Love seeing that clown car approach for those, though. Alright, we got any good dredging sites here? No, South America just refuses to have industry. Please, I need resources, man. I'm not that fussy coal mine here. Hang on, didn't we find a coal mine? Yeah, I did. What was my problem with it? My problem with it was that I wanted to set up my cross American or the South American industrial straw. So I think I'll do that. The slight problem is you're already here. 
I could have a long tunnel leading in. Yeah, the, the position that put you in has put me at a bit of a difficult situation. Although it still could be dropped off and transferred over. There's no big problem with that. And there's plenty of space here for a big old industrial station. It would reach north, get to about here, and then we could have a large interchange. You wanted an airport in Tierra de Fuego. I do want one, but it's not a pressing matter. It might grow to be pressing, though, as the city grows. And God, does it grow. I also had a reason to use chemicals. For that, I'd need sand. I just need a little dredging facility. If there was even a single South American dredging site, then we could get sand here, we'd bring chemicals from Mexico, and then we'd have our industry that requires chemicals, like they say. Engineering supplies, I can't make anything that requires those, and only one thing requires steel, and we always send our steel north for juicy profits that I do not want to eat into. Look at that! This single ship here has made 17 million. It's almost enough to establish a small city on its own. Oh, come now, uh, Max, you know you're asking too much there. But I do enjoy Kerbal Space Program. I just don't return to it. I played it once and thought, hey, this is pretty good. And that was the end of that. Where does the sand go to? Anywhere that we care about? I mean, I could kill off San Diego's glass works and instead move it down to Tierra de Fuego. Wouldn't need to change much out there. You grab Cuban sand, and you grab USCA sand. So if I ruin Santiago's industry and move it down to Tierra de Fuego, I'll have an opening for chemicals and more goods to pump out. Do you guys bring back the goods, or do these goods just do nothing? Oh god, I make all these goods in San Diego and take them nowhere. What a waste of money. I can have them reload on goods here and then bring them jinx just even to Puerto Toro. Even then, that would fulfill our need for goods pretty much forever. Domestic needs. Alright, that's what we'll do then. We'll start by getting our industry. New industry, it will be whatever that is, which I'm pretty sure is a glassworks. Indeed. Glassworks, fund it. Push it down into the industrial center. Industrial center needs leveled out, it seems. Mm, Glassworks is a bit too big for our britches here, I think. Come on, we can do it. There's our glassworks. Then what we do is we grab the ships that are currently going here, and we... I better pause this in case I mess something up horribly. Let's hide away some of this stuff. Now, they go in full load at USCA, and then they go down, and then what we do is we get rid of Santiago Sharp Street. And then we just carry on here. Santiago boy, Santiago other boy, Terra de Fuego boy, then over to the steelworks, and then back again. Ah, 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 ah. Leave that. Here, we want you to refit to goods. I want to make sure that when you're here, you refit to um, to sand, lest this go wrong. Full load with refit to, to sand, refit to goods, and then you'll load at whatever's available. And then after that, we want you to go to Puerto Toro Plaza and just make sure that you unload everything there. Then, 
we want you to head on back your way. And back your way, and back your way. Nice edit, and that's going to severely impact Santiago, but we don't really care about Santiago, we care about Tierra de Fuego. So that'll work for you, one would hope. Although I'll probably need uh, duplicates of you. And then there is a you as well. I need to take your orders and give them the same treatment. Let's see, it's the Cuba Sand Bank instead of the USCA. So once again, we find their Santiago Sharp Street and delete it. And instead we tell them to go to two, 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 Santiago Boy, other Santiago Boy, Tierra de Fuego Boy, Sharp Street, and Toro Plaza, and then back the way you came. Nice, I do like the fact that this kind of editing is not just possible, but very simple to do. Switch you back out for sand. And then when you're at the steel docks, refit for goods. And then when you're at here, unload all. Excellent. On top of that, the journey just became longer, so I suspect we're going to want another clone. Hell, maybe two clones. And where's the other sandbank? Here's the Cuba sand... Well, Cuba sandbank's already being overexploited. They're both already on gung-ho as well. Even so, I will add another ship. I forgot Jake had a YouTube channel. I don't go to YouTube that often. Well, good on you, then. Can you have a maintenance shed adjacent to each other like you can with rail platforms and turn it into a pit lane? I wish, Barcode, I really wish. However, you cannot. Um, well, you cannot is not true. Where, where do I have an example of that already? Here we go. This is what you can have. If a train wants to come in for maintenance... Of course, no one's going to do it now that I want them to. Come on, surely somebody wants to get some maintenance here. You know what? I'm just going to be forcing it. You're going for maintenance. They come in, and then... Whoa! They get to choose which one they go to. This one's choosing the one on the right. Now, when it completes that, and leaves... And it will leave... It's still open here that this other train could come in and go and use this maintenance shed. A very, very nice solution. The problem. I need to, and I haven't found a workaround for this, if I can find a workaround and have these back, that's amazing. I need to tell my trains to specifically go to maintenance stops if they need it. Otherwise, they sometimes just pass through a station without actually using it, because they're desperate to go to a maintenance shed, like they badly need the bathroom. And then when they come out, they've got to go up and down, getting back to the station that they passed by, and oh, the headache. Um, I'm sure there was some other part to that, but yeah, that's a royal pain. That messes up a lot of timetabling and such. Sure are a lot of trains flowing here. But they don't seem to be backing up, I think the only thing causing a backup is a breakdown or some such. Well, if I, tr if I played with breakdowns off like a casual, then uh, this looks like it would be a wonderful network. Well, it still is a wonderful network. Now, after that bit of time has passed, have you got in any sand or goods or anything yet? What are you bringing in anyway? Scrap metal, as expected. And you? Fruit. I'm not sure I could trust alcohol made in this area. It would be pretty hardcore, at least. More scrap metal. 
Good. Even more scrap metal. Not much of it, though. What's your problem, Florida? Perhaps I have too many ships handling this. Well, no, there's loads of scrap metal there. But the rating's still very good, and we still have the boat coming in and drinking it all up. I'd love to see that. Question is, where's the next scrap metal boat? Sometimes I feel like it's not actually spacing out enough. I mean, can I look at the timetable and see how all of these guys are doing? I'm unsure. I'll just trust it to take care of itself. They are making money. What's the weekly one-shot this week? Uh, undecided. I'm too pressed for time to make these decisions. I'm busy dealing with emigration. And uh, I'm going to be very busy tomorrow. It's going to be the Great Purge. Well, I already purged a lot of things, but this will be uh, going through all my cupboards and my clothes and bagging it up and off to the recycle it goes. Huh. Oddly busy on the escape here. Wait, is this causing issues? Because I really don't like this road. I can already see this causing issues, so let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that road. And I'm going to purchase this land to prevent them from building any further road along here. I don't really think that's a problem, though. I just think it's a very busy uh, station here. Extremely busy. Look at that, they're getting all sorts of uh, clogged up here. What's the problem? Could be that there's some kind of signaling error that I haven't picked up on, or it just could be that I've overloaded the section with trains. I did add a lot of trains, but I also really wanted the packs not to uh, give us issues, so what are we looking at here? Well, it seems to have worked. There is no overloaded packs at least in terms of uh, the main network. There are some little attachments or inner city things which are overloaded, but overall, this is a great network for the new world. Wonderful. Now with you set up and getting your sand, I can finally bring chemicals down there. And I will. Uh, how many chemicals are waiting at the dock? 1.2. One million litres of the stuff. Hmm. Slight problem is that those chemicals are meant to be a service to people. The only reason I'd want the chemicals down here is to help Tierra de Fuego with, uh, with its growth and to maximise the amount of goods that come out of here. So, what do I do? I'm thinking of just a small batch of them that come down quite speedily and regularly. So to that end, I want a chemical holding fast boat. 74 kilometer per hour freight boat from almost 20 years ago. Freight hovercraft, quite expensive, very low capacity. It's about my only choice. Kind of a crappy one, but uh, yeah, sure, we'll have you. You will go here, and you'll know what to do with that, and then you just make the journey down south. Simple as. I'm not even going to have you bring goods on the way back. In fact, you can't even carry goods, so my decision is made for me. down. I think my plans of making my big South American rail is going to have to wait until more resources spawn in South America, because currently there's barely anything, so even if I made the rail, nothing to put it into. Does anyone know what year the uh, monorail becomes available, though? Would be cool if our first monorail could be the South American Express Freight. Now this is going to be faster than most of the other boats, so shouldn't need to worry too much about this. I will still automate it though, and 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 of them. Eh, 17, 18, 19, 20 of them. There you go. Look at that. Considerably faster than the competition, but uh, not holding a whole lot. 19.99 on normal mode. Okay, so not sure if we'll be waiting that long. Just depends how long these industries take to pop up. See, we've got ourselves a dairy farm. Quite a decent amount of livestock and milk available there. If that went gung-ho, that'd be great. But I'm really looking for ports. If we could just get some ports or some dredging sites in South America, that would be some swell industry. Just, it doesn't want to happen. Where's our first um, freight hovercraft? There we go. The chemicals are on their way, don't you worry. South Americans can distill this into God knows what in just a moment. There we go. I highly doubt this is going to be cost effective, by the way, in terms of transporting these chemicals. I suppose it didn't take too long. Chemicals don't go off that fast, do they? They're not that volatile, are they? I can't even see them. Let's just compare them to passengers and mail. Chemicals barely go off, but they're also barely worth anything. Gutting. Oh well, show me the money. It was, it was at least a long distance to take them. Wow! You offload them instantly! Although, to be fair, looking at the look at the way the vehicle is, um, look at the way the vehicle is. It's just, God, that looks very haphazardous, doesn't it? A, a cargo ship or a um, crane at a dock could just straight up pick those up and throw them on or off. Okay, so in terms of profitability, that's incredibly sad. Thirty thousand for bringing them this distance. It's just because there were so few of them. I've got cargo ships that can hold 50 times that capacity. In fact, here comes one right now. $30,000, how cute it says. Offloading scrap metal. Takes a while, but hey, you know, don't mind me, just grabbing 1.4 million. <laughs> That's, that really is 50 times right there. Upgrade to Monorail in 2005 as well, called the Millennium Z1. That's not the Magline, is it? No, probably not. Anyway, with those um, with those things coming in, there's plenty of goods to be had. As long as we just have the sand coming in. There we go, hefty amount of the stuff. I do quite like this, just offloading, creation of new goods, bringing them out for more money. And with that, Tierra de Fuego's growth rate will become even better. They have all the packs, all the f raw food, although they are going to outgrow that raw food quite quickly. What do I bring? I bring them fusty old fruit from Mexico, don't I? All the more reason I'm going to need my Pax South Americana Freight Express. Loads of sand and scrap metal, though, and those chemicals will come in regularly enough, I hope. Mm, actually, it probably won't come in regularly enough for those kinds of demands, but... Ugh, it'll be some. And on top of that, they will never starve for goods because we bring them in straight from uh, straight from here. Mm -hmm. Depending on your settings, you can always found a new industry. I refuse to found new raw industry. I think that's just way too much. Because then I would do nothing but set up optimal locations for industry. I can found end industry, but that's pretty necessary and pretty much necessitated by the set goods that any city wants. If a city wants fish but doesn't have a fishing harbor, then you're out of luck. Just like when we find somewhere that wants iron ore, coal, or scrap metal. Well, there's only one industry that takes them, and it takes all of them, and it's the steel mill. The steel industry, I gotta say, it's lucrative stuff though. The goods never really lose value in moving around. They have reasonable prices and mmm, it's good stuff. I love how the displacement to the cargo ships actually changes in the oh yeah, it's great. Displacement of the ships themselves as they onload and offload. 
There we go. Hopefully it brings on enough goods to actually have a visible change here. Nah, not quite enough. But there are plenty of other boats out there that can uh, probably highlight this for us. We got any boats coming in to... Oh, I, I say plenty, now I struggle to actually find the, the boats. Things I don't know where they all go at a glance, do I? Oh, well now they're overlapping with each other. Ah, there, there we can see. It sank down as it brought on its passengers. Must be some real fatties wanting to go to... Where are they going? They're going to Cuba. From Little Rock Plaza. I'm not going to claim to remember where that is, so... Chings, where can I search for my stations? I don't know. Gives us all of these. Well, I suppose I can sort by... Name. Little Rock Plaza. Ah, over in Arkansas. Chains, it's growing. It's growing huge. I bet it has some real PAX problems, inner city PAX problems. Problems we could solve, but I doubt we will. <laughs> All those bags of mail. Half the UX is just boat uh, boxes floating around, it seems. Not really much capacity to increase this either. The um, the subway that I have set up to bring it into wherever this is, Missouri, I mean. I could set up another subway for what it's worth. Just invent email. Yeah, yeah, I love it when I just download some peanut butter on my email. Or get myself a new pair of shoes in an email. It's amazing. Don't know why peanut butter and shoes were the first thing I thought about when it comes to ordering online, but... I've never bought shoes online. I have certainly bought peanut butter online. There was a brand called Nut Shot, which is the best peanut butter I've ever eaten. And it doesn't appear to be made anymore, so such is just how life goes. Email and 3D printers. I love 3D printing myself some peanut butter. Uh, I'm certainly thinking about food, that's for sure, Baron. I'm quite hungry. I was meant to make myself a, a dal this evening. And uh, it's almost tomorrow, so that won't be happening. Okay, tell you what, we have money, and we have linked up all of the New World, and I'm pretty sure I haven't missed anywhere. Well, nowhere that I haven't uh, consciously decided to ignore. It's worth checking in on Greenland. Greenland continues to expand beyond our capacity for moving people around. We still get over 60% of them, though, which is fine. Is there anywhere that's actually truly overloaded here? In terms of packs, our... Oh god, this is almost embarrassing. Our tram network can't keep up with the passengers. Which is crazy. It, the, the tram network is saturated. I can't put more trains on there if I wanted to. Practic well, no, not practically. Every tram stop either has a tram waiting, picking people up, or is on its approach. Uh, oh, wow, this is, getting, this is getting hairy. Fortunately, though, the Metro seems to be holding quite well. But the Metro has insane capacities. James, what am I meant to do about this? It's just so many people, and my trams can't keep up. And these trams are no slouches, either. Hmm... Well... Hmm... <laughs> yeah, what's a man to do here? Um... <sighs> it's only gonna grow and get worse. If I had smaller systems, like a smaller round here and a smaller round here, they probably wouldn't be so uh, quite so choked. Imminent domain, some land, and expand the metro. No, I want to have the metro versus tram competition. It seems like metro is winning, but to be fair, metro only has to deal with this. Tram has to deal with this. It's also worth noting that it's not really a problem. We still fulfill all the requirements to grow the place, and they get far more goods than they could ever need, which explains their one-day growth period. What about uh, Tierra de Fuego? 13 days, it's going down. 
and it's chance based as well. Sometimes they just tear down or build the wrong things. Then again, Tierra de Fuego doesn't even have a metro system, it's only got its trams. It's holding better with the trams though, I think. Oh, I've sort destination, right? Give me Via, please. Looking good, but... Plenty of them want to go to Argentina, telling me that I don't actually have enough trains on that track. Tierra, Argentina. So, let's grab... You, then. And give them another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 more trains. Choo choo! Oh god, I put them on the wrong side. Stop everything. Get rid of all of you. Clone these ones. I think two of them, or maybe three of them, got out. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. There you go. And now the trains that I head up north are going to cause all sorts of problems within. Tr implicit orders. I keep calling them intrinsic. No, they're implicit. I feel bad for all the people I've told about the the worries of intrinsic orders, and they're gonna be like, "What the hell is he talking about?" Busy lines. Still, though, such as uh, such as the nature of the beast when it comes to building up these huge cities. Yeah, the trains coming out of Terra are insanely backed up. I think I've just put too many trains on this uh, this network. They're moving south, fine, but... Maybe the end point gets more clogged than anywhere else. I mean, do we have that problem over here? Oh, they don't really get backed up here. Why would they get backed up in Tierra de Fuego, then? Is there something along here that causes some kind of issue? Maybe some signals missing? Oh, shouldn't press that C button, it does weird things. I think it zooms in at a weird location. Is there anything weird about this? No, they come in and out as normal. Signaling is all normal. Something like not having signals on the way out of a train station could cause this. Well, this is a slight problem here. You are stopping way too early. You should be getting a lot closer before you come to a stop. That's hardly accounting for all of this. Doesn't look like it's a maintenance shack problem. This all seems adequately taken care of. Looks like capacity limit. It certainly does look like capacity limit. Oh well, I'll leave them be. They're, st uh, they're still running fine. If I took away too many of them, then it might be under capacity, which is another kind of problem. Even so, though, Tierra de Fuego seems very well taken care of, and its growth rate will probably go all the way down to one day until it uh, overgrows the amount that I'm able to take care of it. Doesn't look like a lot of empty rail between all those trains, really. I don't know what you mean by that. Probably meaning that we are... It's essentially a sushi belt now, though. That's okay, though. It's good money. Right. Since we've done the new world, the question is where we go from now. Realistically, though, you could say we're... Mm -hmm. Trying to think what percentage of the way through the campaign we'd be at this point. A third seems over the top, but it's... Linking up Europe is probably going to be less work than linking up South... Well, almost certainly less work than South America. Mm, how's Antarctica looking? What Antarctica? It's all melted. Or something. Damn, what, what does it take to get some kind of dredgery or coal around here? South America just so void of resources it's disheartening. Although there's a lot of resources elsewhere in the world that needs to be destroyed. Okay, tell you what, we're gonna take a vote now. We could reasonably make our way over to Europe. It's right there. Be easy enough to link up a nice uh, 
boat network that gets it over to populous areas in the US. Probably not going to have a train station, although some people want that horror show. I don't really have it in me to make these horrible, horrible bridges. Like, it's just going to be massed boats for the people that we get together over here. So, options will be Europe, including the European part of Russia, I suppose. Africa. Going to have to we have to learn all of our African countries here. Maybe not all of them, I'll ignore uh, useless ones like Gabon. Uh, or Oceania, I reckon those are the three options. We'd leapfrog South Cape to do Oceania if that were the case. And then once any of those are done, the, the way to Asia will be opened up. But it'll be up to you. So, which continent is next? Europe, Africa, Oceania. I'm not missing a continent, am I? It's only six continents, as far as I'm aware, as long as there's no Antarctica. Uh, you have precisely two minutes. Make your choice and make it now. And for the benefit of the enlightened future viewers, I will accidentally resize my chat because I didn't hold down the right button. There we go. You'll be able to see how the vote goes. A lot of love for Africa. We're going to set up one enormous Liberia, you say? Well, Liberia is going to have to be one of the one of the places we go to if we do do Africa. But the Aussies have stirred. They demand the subjugation of New Zealand from their glorious Oceania. There's a whole lot of nothing here, yet at the same time, there's a lot of resources to be had if we can control this island and its surrounding. Then we can truly grab the Rio de Janeiro shoals. Get away. Africa has a lot of interesting things going on, says Oof Spirit. Can you train from South America to South Africa? Mm, well, no and yes. We could raise little bits of land to make a train system, but we're not going to do uh, a train network between the old world and the new world. The old world, conversely, can have a train network across all of it. Nothing here is out of the realms of possibility except probably Iceland. Madagascar can have one, no problem. Southeast Asia. Yeah, I suppose New Zealand's also out of the question, but that's what boats exist for. It looks like there is no love for Europe around here, despite being a very Eurocentric channel. It's all between Africa and Oceania, and Oceania holds the lead. I have cousin flying back to Sydney right now. I'd like Oceania to win, says Barcode Battler. There we go. We've even got the sympathetic vote coming in for Oceania. The map does not wrap. No, no, it does not. We can't just go to Asia by going through the Pacific. Imagine if it did wrap, though. <laughs> Imagine if it wrapped up and down as well. We go for full Dominions 5 here. Nothing but a couple of votes in it, and it looks like the deal is sealed on the race for Africa. Huge undertaking. It's kind of like three and a half uh, South Americas melted down into one. Um trying to think of any plus side here. It's a huge amount of natural resources to take when we get it. Sadly, we'll be destroying all of them initially because we've got like the Peru coal mine and the Pernambu steel mill here, which, no, we don't take any egregious industries because they are linked to the city. If I bring steel and chemicals to this Dominican Republic metal workshop, then it will be the Dominican Republic who thinks that they are getting steel and chemicals, so that will help out their growth if they ever get to 4,000 people, which they will not. All right, cheers for voting, which is funny because cheers have now been taken away from voting for reasons that I don't think have been explored. It's a race between Haiti and Dominican Republic and they are insanely slowly growing. It's just really pathetic. And I don't know why it's so slow. I transport everything I can from here. Maybe there's some invisible factors going on that are beyond my comprehension. Maybe maybe cities are more linked in terms of their economies for growing, like if it has industry that you don't see to at all, then it slows its growth down to a crawl. I don't know. I don't have the answers, but maybe somewhere somebody does. In any case, that wraps it up. When I'm back with more Open TTD, we'll be, we will indeed be heading over to Africa. Don't know where our beachhead will be, but Liberia seems a little bit fitting. And yeah, that's going to put more stress on the South American rail lines because anybody who's over here 
and wants to go to Africa for a while, will have to route their way down through mm, Ciara or Pernambuco as they head on over to Liberia. In any case, a future Jake problem. When will I be back with this? Probably Wednesday, but everything's... Oh god, let's not override, override that. As I say, I'm in the middle of moving, moving country, so there's a lot my hands are full with. I'm agitated by the fact that my home is full of boxes, both packed and to be packed. I don't like having clutter around me, but means to an end. In any case, the streams will resume in the week, so until then, it's a cheers and a cheerio.